You're welcome, Night Shifty. My my recommendation is also filled with uh, VTubers. Hell yeah. We love VTubers. Whoa, we love VTubers. Love you. I need to take a day off to actually reconfigure some stuff. How do I rename uh, layouts? Uh, you gotta do it when you click on select layouts. There would be like a little pencil bar next to the name, to the right. So I have like a battle cruiser, dreadnought, stuff like that. Right now we're we're battle cruiser. <laughs> Up now, the cruiser. But the cruiser operational. Oh, 10 stream street cringe. Wait, we've been streaming the same game that long? Oh, fuck, I forgot to reply to my emails.
Having this game up is, not, is like lagging my email. Oh, uh, they, they kind of fix it a little bit. I'm not lagging as much, but this, this game takes tremendous resources in the background. Oh, one. Nice and warm. Stay nice and warm. Get that electricity or heating. Make sure to have a hamster wheel for yourself too, so you can power your house. That's the most important part. I'm just getting rid of some stuff that could potentially lag my PC. Give me a second. No, I really got to slap in that thermal paste. I wonder if thermal paste would actually make a difference because what did the computer have to like take? What did the computer have to take time to overheat? Is that typically how it works? Like, yeah, I don't think I don't think putting a thermal paste is gonna fucking fix the problem, the, the issues I'm I'm like struggling with. Bedroom has an improvement. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, um, I just put a. You see that bed in the very back corner? It's on top of that cannon, the triple cannon, the triple barrel cannon. Yeah, it's it's just right there. It's just right there. I do have another design that I ha I'm currently working on. Um, we'll probably work on that later. It's just I need a Hellfire turret to actually work on that design, uh, so I can measure out some stuff. But yo, what's up, guys and gals? Good morning. I hope you guys are doing absolutely wonderful today. Uh, today we're gonna do a little bit more of um outpost uh tomorrow i'm gonna probably be playing soulstone survivor and maybe outpost right after but we are <laughs> um yeah uh, so, <laughs> uh i forgot about some of the games that i was supposed to stream that i scheduled on and because uh, the game came out um yeah so yeah so uh, we're, we're gonna have to play a little bit of soulstone survivor and whatnot um tomorrow and of course we'll come back to you some more what's this game called outpost infinity siege so yeah it's it's a little it's a little bit uh weird so um, I, I have to keep in mind that i am a variety game streamer we have a huge backlog of games right now i have been reminded multiple times like oh yeah the game's out uh, yeah you gotta start playing or something i don't know I mean, if it was a sponsorship i would immediately have to jump the ship uh, to play the game because it's a paid sponsorship but most of these games are currently in a backlog um because these are devs i typically connect with like we have from glory to Goo, we have hover that hoverboard game that i can't remember the name of we have soulstone survivor oh god dude dwarven realm just reached out to me and they're like oh yeah new season's coming up but we would like you to try, try it out and i'm like ah fuck there's another there's another season already here it's already getting close we only spent one day on dwarven realms it's a kind of interesting game. Did I finish building the outpost? Hell no, I'm saving that for stream content, brother. People are so interested in building outposts, apparently, so I'm always saving that best part for uh, stream. Uh, even though we need to grind a little bit more. I lost my character earlier. I'm, I'm kind of salty today because I, I um my uh, one of my characters got one-tapped. <laughs> I got uh, through armor and all, and I lost her permanently, too, because I can't revive her from the hospital, but at least I kept the equipment um, that was dropped. I somehow duped a stock. I don't, I don't know how, but I duped a red stock. Um, so I got two of the same red stock now, and it's just sitting there in my inventory. Uh, so that's kind of cool. 
Uh, and I got, and I did like huge uh, squad pulls. I, I think that's like the bo most boring thing that I've ever done is pulling like 30 tickets worth because I have to sit there through each animation. But I have this character here that, that we're going to be playing with, uh, obviously, because she has hyperactive um, with three branches of skill. And it, 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 she has some really interesting power slash stuff here. So this is going to be extremely fun uh, to, to play around with. It's just I got to do a quick run here. Uh, make sure that my base is actually the base I want to bring in this time because I brought in the wrong base. I brought in my experimental base, which isn't even fucking ready yet. So yeah, uh, uh, anyways, uh, good morning, uh, Zero Tinga, good morning, Night Shifty, good morning, Handsome, Beignet, Mad Raving Man, Battle Moose, hopefully Outpost is treating you guys well, especially you, Beignet, did you know if you take the Swister, you can fly with it, you can fly with the Swister, You're, are you telling me the fucking recall is actually not bringing you into the air, and keeps you in the air? Are you talking to me or yourself? Well, now I'm talking to you, you little fat bastard. Tomorrow, once human closed beta three starts, if you're planning to check it out, they have a closed beta. Wait, they have closed beta. They haven't even fucking reached out to me yet. Is there something? Is, is there a way some uh, got to sign up for their beta or some shit? Good morning, handsome. Yeah, I said you. Oh, handsome. Oh, 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 oh. I just realized the s. Handsome. Oh, fuck you. All right, uh, let me let me double check. I do want to try out once human because I never played the game before. It looks kind of interesting because I like survival games in general. Uh, so yeah, they don't have closed beta. I might as well like, where where do I sign up? I never really played the uh, closed beta. Do I just sign up in their Discord? Let me double check here. Give me a hot solid second. I like how whenever I click on their Discord link, it just brings me to the Steam page. Like what the fuck? Kind of bugs out a little bit. I think I was supposed to get receive a notice to join the Discord, and it forgot that I was there. <laughs> And then just brings you back to Steam. And like, oh yeah, I, th I think Steam has better, better, like worse ADHD, especially when you're using the client and it brings you to a browser, and the browser is just like trying to load in Steam. Oh, I think I think it's because it's trying to see if I'm logged into Steam online or on the interweb or not. Um, they have a mobile game. I noticed that they have a mobile game. God, their Discord is just full of clutter. Oh God, dude, I don't want to look through this. Game news. Pre-download is now available. Eight minutes for players to news who wants to when you move the build return and place on previous baby would be great to automatic access to three. Uh, using your Oh, is this online stuff too? Uh, I have absolutely no idea how to fucking sign up, but I'm too lazy for it. Mm, make a different decision to cancel the highly anticipated live stream schedule for seven oh. Okay. Oh god, okay, sudden illness. Okay, that's sad. Uh, a live stream. I have absolutely no idea how to sign up for the beta. I would have to like look through all the stuff like later today uh, after stream, but I'm not gonna do it on stream. It's a little bit uh, annoying to look through. Uh, but yeah, so um, I never really got that interested in Once Human, even though it is a survival game. I hope it's not like too like grindy. I mean, then again, I'm playing a game that's literally just pure grinding, uh, so it doesn't make any sense. It's just that if I'm gonna grind in a game, I hope grinding is fun. What's up, Pandorian? How's it going, dude? Time for some more Swiss to go, bird. No, we're waiting for the fucking hell cannon. I can't wait for to get my hell cannon. What are you supposed to use your recruits for? Do you use them on mission instead of fate? Yep. So you level up your recruits, and uh, basically you can make like expedition recruits. Uh, I'm work. I'm currently working on expedition recruits. So basically, just level them up so I have them there, and I can just use, utilize their skill in the middle of a map, or a run, or just bring them over to co-op. Stuff like that. Or um, you love up an operative that specializes in base. Uh, for example, so you grab a specialized, or sorry, specialized operative where he has, let's say, research center efficiency. And then there's two different, so th there's three different tiers of that research efficiency. And that allows me to go, go ahead and just use him alone to boost my research center to the max level. And you need levels for your base for different like perks. Research Center in particular is one of the most important because it uh, allows you to unlock um, higher level tech, which makes it cost less research points to get through um, early on. So that, that was the first one I uh, rushed besides the... Uh, wait, was that the Marketplace? No, uh, the Marketplace was uh, most because you, in this game, you want to try to like make as much money as possible. And then you just roll the fuck out of the shop to make even more money. 
Here's Faye. I'm actually swapping over to Melissa. I believe Melissa is the one with all my gear. I sure hope to fucking God, because it doesn't give me any information if that was the person I fucking geared or not. It's kind of stupid that it doesn't tell you, show you your it, it, other info. Like, this is one of the worst. I, I don't understand how. If there's one thing I really want to complain about this game, is I don't understand how they never bother to test the selecting of operatives. Like, do they never really think that somebody's going to get like 50 operatives and then realize, oh shit. They all have, some of them have the same names. And then, see, I have two Laylas. And these are two really good, solid Laylas, by the way. I have two Melissas. So, like, I, I, the one thing that I've noticed is that I look at the inventory. It's like, if it's full of shit, then I'm like, all right, that's the one I want to play with. But yeah, there, there's, there's just um UI overhaul that they kind of just fucked around with, which they completely forgot about. Uh, but yeah, I need more repeaters, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and do some quick runs here, repeaters, and I think I need one more nano processor before I can actually slap that. Is it nano processor? I believe it's nano processor. I think one more nano processor specifically. Why is that highlighted blue? It looks so weird with the color scheme. But well, I I just need something specifically for uh what's that thing called the Hellfire Cannon. Outpost eleven, launch confirmed. Is Faye just shit then? He's your he's your main character. He's your main character lead. You'll never lose Faye. But yes, I, it's the thing about these operatives that they always come in with their passive traits, and then each operative have different tiers to their traits too, and different types of traits. There's a lot of like RNG involved. Um, town outskirt. What if I want to just. Maybe I should loot one, skip one, loot one, skip one. I think that's what we should do. Loot one, skip one, loot one, skip one. We can fight the final boss too if I really feel like it. Um, I don't want to loot Town Alts here. It's like the worst one, one of the worst ones to actually loot. Oh, I should increase backpack size there so I can just loot more. Uh, Desert Town, I think it's fine. Are you playing a game right now, Battle Boost? Uh, small generation. So this game has an outpost core efficiency. So outpost core basically determines the amount of damage your turrets deal, as well as the radius of that blue circle and how far it can go out. And then later in the game, you can actually get perks that boost yourself that's inside the circle, like increased movement speed, increased attack speed. So your core output actually uh, opens that up. Um, and the core output also increases your scanning radius whenever you use a scanner on your tower. So that allows you, uh, you to, to eventually see the entire map in terms of loot. Um, so what the small generator do, and that's why, why the fuck I spam out of them because one of the cheapest way to spam core output is to get utility walls and small generators because each each small generator gives you 10 core efficiency a core output which is indicated at a top left number right there the yellow number 3000 that's my core efficiency and my turn is just shredding absolutely fucking everything all right doesn't necessarily increase the range of uh your turrets however it still does well enough I need to uh, change out my Zen. Oh, yeah, we're going to do some Zen gambling today, too, if you guys are uh, intro. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my ammo, though. I think it also increases, like, the uh, HP. Oh, I'm going to use this. Yoink. You really enjoy it? Oh, dude, I'm so glad you're liking it a lot, then, Battle Moose. Fuck you, yeah, man. Try flying? Try flying. Wait, flying. Oh, the Swiss. He wants me to show off the Swiss. Uh, I, I, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Give me a second. Just need to empty my entire pockets so full of ammo. I was playing with, like, Velotrix yesterday in co-op for the first time. I never... This is actually pretty fucking fun. Uh, where I just, like, just chillax for a bit. So you can detach your, your Swiss turret and you shoot down. I see. I fucking see. Wow. There goes like most of my bullets too. Holy fucking shit, dude. What a great way to get myself killed. I gotta show these to the other people. <laughs> mm. Have I tried the cruise cannon against the Cyrus boss? Yeah, I have. I almost one tapped him. It, my, 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 my cruise can almost one tap the, the Cyrus boss. I, was, I just looked at it. I was like, huh. Well, I didn't expect it to be this fucking busted. So, 
I think once you get Cruiser Cannon, it, it should make your life a little bit easier for Infinity Mode. So our end game right now is infinite, to climb Infinity Mode as much as we can. Double tap barrel, nice. Something that- oh! Another red armor. Oh, too bad it's garbage. Wait, it's better than the one I have. Upgrade, upgrade, daughters, upgrade, yeah, upgrade. Oh, you idiot. Fucking put it back in my equipment. Turn to equip it, you fucking idiot. Piece of shit. Anyway. I'm going to start grabbing, like, most of the purple item just to keep increasing value or anything that's valuable, at least, just to make money. Um, because we, we really want to make some money. I want to be rich, goddammit. Any electrical, well, electrical ammo is going to be blue. No, I don't, why the fuck is grenades blue? It throws me off. I think grenades should be green. Doesn't really matter. Or uh, if we're for like equipment items, like it, it, not, yeah, yeah, consumables. Consumables should be a different color because it just throws you off completely. Oh, right. I'm gonna have to use sniper rifle. I, I need better like gun upgrades, if possible. The fuck? Wait, what? What the actual fuck? It's glitched. Capacitors, metal slab. I need so many metal slab, liquid metal. I need all of them. I'm so broke. Eventually, we're gonna need data cables, but eh, I think I have like three out of it. I think we should be pod. Sorry, I was about to yell. I was having an aneurysm. Brain aneurysm, sorry. Brain aneurysm. Definitely wasn't trying to look around funny. Wasn't trying to be suspicious at all. This place sucks. There's all the good loot and superconducting material. I'm gonna drop that because I don't need it anymore. I just rather have valuables instead because valuable gives you more gold I can use to gold to build shit. Just as simple. Ah, fuck me in the ass. How much does he himself look? Jesus, get that shit out of you. Get that beta shit out of you. My explosives is always welcome. Yeah, so I'm starting to collect some of these other items just because they're pretty fucking hard to find. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, hard, hard to roll for. 74 for a Matic Reconstructor? Holy crap. I didn't expect to have that much value out of it. I was trying to X. <laughs> red? Not red, but take 7,000 fucking combat rating. I look at combat rating in particular, and then I'll look at the stats later. Was that with or without the damage boost? I didn't put any damage boost on it. Now that I think about it, I forgot about the damage boost. <laughs> I have so many damage boost amplifiers that I need to use. I always tend to forget about it. Unrucky. That 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 that, that item is way too important to me for me. The enemy has spotted you. Right, I just not lose it. All right, then we stack as much money as possible. I actually want to fight the boss because it gives me an ion battery, and I think I need. I need none. I don't need any ion battery right now. I need repeaters. Repeaters require, I think, organic solvent. Yeah, I think we're just stalled by organic solvent alone for repeaters. So, or if I can just find repeaters, that'd be good too. Can I just like send that shit up and then just leave? On non like on non like fighting mission items and defend for thirty seconds. Uh, one hundred percent. Some sweeper would be gauntlet reavers. Those are like one of the easier ones to kill. We can kill them at range too. Why go to total value of all the materials in the storage? But that's only a material. Again, we can make a lot of money through materials. So I'm gonna go ahead and take great force because my money raise no bitch. Four hundred fucking. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have skipped through that. The four hundreds are the ones that you kind of want to go in because there's a lot of loot. Oops. Oh, yep. We missed out on a lot of loot. Oh god, that's so much, dude. A nano chip too. One of the most rare. Like the two hundred eights. Those are the ones that we can kind of just skip through. Uh, yeah, this is not worth it. It's like unnecessary boosting your enemies for very little value. Swiss encrypt on the top of a quarter. What a deal. 
uh, dialect camp. So we're looking specifically for ooh, nice yellow stock. Uh, the military base. The military base is the one with the underground thing that we can actually loot, get some decent loot from. Uh, the max size of the turret, sure. Once I did well, dude, I, it, it takes like, if, if you want to loot the entire map by yourself, it took me three hours. <laughs> it takes a full three hour run to loot fucking everything. Because of the uh, rewards? It is, yes, Arcadio. It is. Please do tell him I told you, Minye. I'll try to remember. My memory's horrible. <laughs> My memory's horrible because I probably won't remember using the Swiss turret again. Unless somebody reminds me in chat. What does instant loot do? It's basically a skip. It's a... It, 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 it skipped the manual looting. Manual looting is always technically better. You get more out of manual looting. But if you're trying to save time, you want to do quick looting, that's where you just skip through. Get a sticky note? Yeah, I'll just take that to my forehead. I wish I had a sticky note. I don't have any. I'll just try to remember in general. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, guys, watch this. Oh, you know what? If, if Kriya shows up, I'm like, I can fight on even grounds. Just bring up the Swiss turret and just shoot myself up. There you go. I wonder what would happen if he rams me. I'll probably die because he could probably ram me off the map. I don't think we want that, do we? <laughs> Alright, time to watch my, uh, battle cruiser literally just melt everything on the map. Oh god, everything's just dying. Oh, there's a red right there. I'm, I'm lagging like shit. I hope to god that's not a fucking cruiser cannon. Because it sure as hell looks like a cruiser cannon. It's a cruiser cannon. Why am I not surprised? Every time I come in here, it's a cruiser cannon. You know what? We'll take it, because we need more. Outpost is under attack. I think somebody's on top of my fucking base again. As in, he's on top of my cataphract. He shouldn't be. If he was on my cataphract, he would have been dead. Is that spamming outpost is under attack? I think we just got hit by artillery. Two cannon nexus? What the fuck? I didn't expect to get two cannon nexus. Damn. She's only level one. Oh, she's level 28. She's level 28 because of the EXE gen, but damn. Almost one tap that uh, door. I think we just need a little bit more attack power. We should be able to one tap that door. Uh, how do I get around this? <laughs> I'm lost! Where am I supposed to go here? Nope. I'm lost in my own base! I need to redesign this shit. This shit's ugly as fuck. I mean, I already, I already am redesigning my base. Turret Nexus! Turret Nexus is baller. Rock collar, money in the bank. Yeah. At least we got ourselves a red item that's typically not fucking useful to me at all, really. What does this do? More moves to be at the start of the day. I'm surprised I didn't really call in the, the homies. I would, I would like it to call in the homies, just, just for funsies. So I can get really annoyed by them calling in the homies. Oh my god, dude, there's so much fucking stuff on the map that I can't really see anything right now. So much detection. Is that a red in there? Is that a red over there? I think I see a red. That's a red drop inside the crater. What the fuck? It's either inside the crater or it's inside that, like, elite bunker. It might be inside the crater instead. Oh, what is that? It's that blue. Leave no blues behind. We are blueberry lovers. Yeah, see, it's either red or it's just a bunch of orange that's kind of overlapping and it's giving me a stronger color just because you're kind of overlapping. And it's confusing the fuck out of me and Lamel. Uh, we don't need comms module. How much does that sell for? 100 gold for a 2x2 two two slot? Eh, whatever. I'd rather just pick the valuables if possible. Vintage comic! Can somebody say vintage comic? We love vintage comic. Yeah, uh, Metal Slab is endgame. There's no- you can't buy Metal Slabs. So, I think one of my, uh, advice to players in this game is always pick up Metal Slab and Organic Solvent, because those are really hard. Or either that, or just pick up Ore on the ground. That works, too. You need a lot of Ore and Fiber to make Metal Slab or Organic Solvent. And that's typically endgame shit. I also realized, yesterday, because I'm a piece of shit, that apparently explosives can, uh, stunlock your allies. Those high explosives? 
Yeah, you just drop it on the ground next to your friends and then you shoot at it and it fucking, uh, it, it fucking ragdolls them. Yeah, I thought that shit was so fucking hilarious. I started ragdolling everyone. And then I saw someone drop a recruitment beacon. I was like, wait a minute. Why the fuck are you keeping this in your inventory? We all get it, I think. Do, do we know if, if you all get recruitment beacons or not? But yeah, uh, yeah, sudden discovery of if you want to troll your feet, uh, the people that you play with, you just get a bunch of high explosives and just put it underneath their feet when they're standing still and just blast the fuck out of it. And then you're going to make enemies that way, but who gives a fuck? Their suffering is my entertainment after all. Good morning, brother Balk. How's it going? Good morning. The fuck I missed? Why is it going up? Why the fuck did that bullet go up? Like above him. Maybe I hit him and I missed. I, I don't know. That was really fucking confusing to me. <laughs> high explosives also value to me because you need high explosives specifically to make ammo crafter the hell is that pressurized container always welcome even though I, I wonder if i have a lot of those already you know what i could do before i go into this fucking room you know what i could do i could just use chain Jane would have killed everything in this fucking room. In this building. For me. And I have to struggle with, like, dealing with all these explosive motherfuckers just blowing them, bla blasting my ass, uh, ass and Naga. Uh, Naga. Uh, Nasa. He's like, why am I thinking of fish at this time? And, you know, do, do I really crave sushi that much? What's to do to this guy? What are you sniping? Uh, apparently let me crouch and make mistakes and then as Sun Tzu has always pointed out uh, Whenever your enemy is making a mistake, don't interrupt them it's Simple really Right Isn't that typical how it works? I'll tell you my last one. I loot seven cataphract core you lucky son of a bitch and was begging for a different red drop You know what? I'll take cataphract cores. You need like well, you don't really need 20, I guess. You need 20 because you only really need to make four cataphract. Unless you somehow want to put all uh, four of each cataphract in for whatever reason. I think that was a weak spot. Pretty sure the weak spot's the engine in the back. Okay, well, I figured out the weak spot for those spiders. I was always been trying to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out at all. Automotive capacitors, which I probably should pick up some more because I can get engines for it. Somebody's throwing grenades at me again. That son of a bitch. It's probably the envoy follower. And that's me job's finished. Put the crate on the way back. Why is there like capacitors all over the goddamn place? <laughs> you know what sucks about being a looter? I ignore chat a lot whenever I uh, loot. I'm just so addicted to looting. I'm like, oh, what's this thing over here? What's that thing over there? What, what is this? What's that? It's probably a fucking toilet soda right there. Uh, yeah, we can probably just ignore toilet soda unless. The rice lads over here want some toilet soda. Y'all, y'all want some uh, toilet sodas? They could be very delicious and full of protein. Actually, you know what? No, it's not even delicious and full of protein. I've the can is just closed off. It's just the fact that it's gonna be fresh because it's inside the toilet and the water's gonna be the water's just gonna be cold. Seven days is the worst. Seven days just fucks me over. It fucks me. It fucks me because there's so much loot in seven days. I guess that's the best part of seven days to die is the looting process, you know? Yeah. 
The looting process of Seven Days to Die. One of my favorites. That's why I spent so many hours on that fucking game. I, I feel like they could definitely up the looting process a little bit more. Just, just a tad bit more. Stop giving me fucking shitty junk. But then again, everything... Imagine looting in game when the shinniest loot is in Twitch chat. Duh. All right. That was Napoleon? Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry, I, I mean Napoleon. It was actually Napoleon. Yep, 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 Napoleon. But, uh, wise word from Napoleon. Uh, 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 yeah, Ice Marge. Wait, that's how I explosive that we want. I keep fucking like they, they gotta change the, the 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 color for that shit. Or the name, not the color. Nuclear fuel rod. Yoink, yoink. Do they stack? They don't stack. Uh, yeah. I might actually just drop some of them because I don't think we need nuclear fuel rod as much anymore. The hell do we need nuclear fuel rod for again? But then again, you can't really you can't really buy them, so maybe we'll keep it. Another one? The hell? What the hell? Yeah, my only issue with just having the radar up at all times is that I'm practically fucking blind. I have no idea exactly where the loot spots are. So I just get really, uh, like, fucking annoyed. Maybe I should stop using the scanner and actually check, like, uh, actual spots. It'll make my life a little bit easier. It makes it a little bit more fun. Knowing exactly where all the good loot is. Could take away a little bit of the excitement. I was like, oh, there's a good loot. There's a fucking red right there. And then I just get blind because of the fucking map. Oh, more? Should I just hear somebody? Oh, the high energy item, the legendary ones. I have, I have like forty of those. Do I really need more if I have forty of them? I don't think I do. It's a yellow over. Oh wait, shit! I haven't really looted that spot yet. Could be a pretty decent item too. Not this one, of course. I just need one more nano processor. Give it to me. It's full. Full of shit, just like vertebra. God damn it! I don't want to use a drone. You can't make me use a drone. God damn it, vertebra! It's all your fault. Can't believe it. I uh. No, oh, apparently there was a golden item over there. I think it's one of the ones I skipped out on accident on purpose. Hello. How did I miss that golden not Oh, it was probably like one of the vintage coin or some shit. Ay, ay, ay. It was not even inside one of the lockers. It was just standing on the outpost or outside. How much does it sell for? 330? It's valuable enough. Wait, can I actually... Do I have an extra backpack space? I don't. Okay, I haven't really expanded my backpack. I actually skipped it on accident. Should have went with a more greedy type of build. It was bigger yesterday because of all the upgrades that we picked up. There's the mines. I was looking for the mines. How did I just pick up there? Probably nothing. What the fuck was that? Wait, what? What? Why did, did I just punch the air while I was looting? Interesting. All right, that should be everything. We're done so here. I'm skedaddling on the fucking air out of here. Should have recovered the moment I left. Ah, shit. Just gotta ignore those purple items in there, all right? Oh, wait, there's a little thing of bubble here. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. It's a switch. You do be switching after all. Can't wait to make my gun not. I just need... Is it really one nano processor? Let me... Let me yeah, we, we definitely need one more nano... I'm, I'm confusing between ion batteries and nano processor. 
But you need five nano processors to make the Hellfire Cannon. And I only need one to start designing my Dreadnought. It allows me to just put structures where I need to. Um... Scritchy, scratchy, scritchy, scratchy. That's where auto loot kind of comes in. So I just get buffs and then loot the big spot instead. Uh, double three stacks of valuables randomly. Who cares about that? I'd rather have more gear. Oh, uh, Forest Town can actually give us some decent loot. I'm gonna go in this one because it's above 200. So I assume there's more buildings for us. I, so like, I feel like the way power is utilized is the amount of poise inside the map and the amount of different. Sorry, and the and the quality of the poi. Right. You don't know what boy is point of interest. But uh yeah, so that's what I assume. That's why like all these super loot areas is like around four hundred to five hundred auto loot. I might need more core power. I wonder how much I, I wonder how little power I can like consume if I just keep bumping up my core power. Well, then again, we still need to upgrade our core power anyway so we can consume less power. I forgot to mention the fact that core power does in fact, make it where you use less power whenever you go through each map through auto mode. Why am I so fast? Right, the first upgrade though. All right, I'll be going. Let's check this bunker over here. Pretty sure that's a bunker. It is indeed a bunker. Oh, oh, core gun, core gun. Red core gun, yeah? Oh, it's a Zen chest, sorry, I spoke too soon. Uh, another fucking cannon thing, dude. I'm so tired of looking at cannon. How, how much the space is? 500 fucking gold for that shit. It's 100 gold per double tile, or two by two, which is, isn't really worth it in my opinion. 125, actually. Turret base, don't care. Gregment's better. How much does that sell for? 61? That's pretty, that's pretty much shit. Why am I thinking this is, whatever, it's valuable. Why is that so shit? 61 gold for that? Really? Huh. There's like no use for it either. I mean, this, this cannon's already making me a lot more money. This, okay, so me, I feel like I should grab all the matter reconstructor because they can actually stack up and you make a shit ton of money off. Wait, is it because Greg Banners can be also be stacked? And it's gone. Alright, never mind. Okay, so most of these blue items can actually be stacked up so you can make a lot more money value out of it. You can keep stacking them up. Uh, we'll keep the cannon nexus there, though. That means cannon nexus isn't really as uh, good. All right, so most blue odd. Uh, okay, so what what I should look out for is what I can stack. Stack in terms of value. You want to make money in particular. Five hundred and eighty goddamn gold. Yeah. Damn. Electronic components is always a win-win for me. You know, I don't know why I'm picking up electro ammo when I can just buy it. I don't need efficiency anymore. I've still been here already at home. And I found a different way of farming efficiency. You can just go to infinity mode if you really want efficiency. Pyro ammo box, reactive mine. Yummy, yum, yum. Oh, shit. Three Zen blocks? Dude, what a deal. I might actually get rid of, like, most of my, like, low-level Zens, too. Like, all, all purple, so I can just try to get reds and yellows. Don't know if that's going to be efficient or not, but, you know, I'm a gambler, so we gamble. This is the gambling stream, after all. We, we were addicted to gambling. Sorry about that. My oh, fuck. I should have looked up. Oh, there's a red right there, I think. I, 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 okay, so you know what? I, I feel like it's the color code. That's like confusing me. Alright, so chain. Kills all the spider mines. Fucking, it's it's so good to have. I love that weapon. Why do I have like no lockpick left? I forgot to bring us a lockpick. The start of every area, it makes me blind and deaf. <laughs> High energy matter, 520 for a 3 by 3 2 by 3 slots to be fair. You smell that? You smell that, guys? Rice lads? It's the smell of testosterone in here from all that projectiles coming out. Oh, yeah, baby. I've just noticed that it tells you exactly how many slot these uh, items uh, take up. 
I'm not the only one that's going crazy here, am I? I think I am. How many slots does that take? Five? Oh my god, you can actually stack quite a bit for that too. Xenium ore, 118, we can stack two. We always need more Xenium ore. We need Xenium ore specifically for dropping it because I want these key cards instead, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know why I want all these key cards. It's just that they can just save, I guess, a little bit of power. How the fuck do you not die? Ooh, small care package. I don't have enough space for Xenium. All right, so... I'm gonna... I don't... I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, fuck data relayers. That's gonna hurt someone on the inside because they're looking for data relayer. Hello there, buddy. He's getting hard. We have time between waves to set up more defenses than uh, loot. You mean Infinity Siege? Is that just Infinity Siege? <laughs> oh, 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 you're explaining you're explaining it to someone. Sorry. Sorry. I is idiot. Ignore my idiot. So do you think I'm stupid or something? Do I look stupid to you? Yes, very stupid, obviously, right? But I'm not that dumb. I'm still missing out on some loot. I saw I missed out on a yellow item. That wasn't a cannon nexus, was it? Ah, this is in the outside, though. 105 millimeter. I don't really use artillery. It's probably one of the worst. The burr at the start of every area is very nice to hear. You could have just redeemed to TT. Wait, it's 500 points for TTS. I wonder if you have that point. <laughs> I, heard, I saw it. Burr, burr. 416, Town Ruins. Oh, God, dude, that's, that's a fat loot area. And yes, it's very nice to listen to. Wait till you hear the cruiser can, no. The cruiser can sounds even sexier. It scares the fuck out of you, too. We still saw it? I know. I saw the last one, though. It's not the first time you said it. By all chatting with people in the outpost Discord, apparently you can cheese boss if you use Light Zen with a ton of those modifiers and do percent damage. You can melt the bosses fast. Oh my god. All these builds, dude. That's insane. Skill issue. So Light Zen with a ton of modifiers that do percent damage. I don't think I've... What, what the fuck is a percent damage? Weakness? Is it the one that does, like, uh, not light? I guess it would be light, yeah? I don't know. Oh, I see a red item! Two red items! Two red items, guys! Yes, 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 yes! I'm so fast as fuck, boy! <gasps> it's in this building again. That means there's a cruiser cannon, probably. Come on, come on, come on. Cataphract core, fuck! Cataphract core, fuck! Fuckity fuck fuck Mick fuck Actually scammed Fuck <laughs> Could have been a nanoprocessor But it chose not to be a nanoprocessor Let's proceed box Hi uh you I don't know who I'm gonna blame for this Vertibok. I don't know why, I just feel like blaming him instead. Vertibok, fuck you. <laughs> You're the reason why my luck is so bad right now. What the f did I miss? Okay, well, at least I got a key card I can use. Oh, it's Cannon Nexus. How the hell did that not show up in my thing, my bulb? Okay, hilarious. All right, these lockers. This building's my favorite, anyways, because these lockers can provide uh, red loot and you can find nanoprocessors inside of them. So it's like my, one of my absolute favorites to have. Someone blasting me, or at least trying to. Drum core. <gasps> Speak it up. Hey, look at that. Already got one. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Drum core is a 3x3, three three, right? Yeah. Oh. 
Fuck you. Fuck you again. Do not shoot that me. Take my coral lock. Well, to be fair, I am looking to make one more ranger. I have two ranger cataphracts already. I need a third. So this is valuable loot to me anyways, right? I have too many consumables. Love how enemy in this game just immediately fully aggroes you and you can't really do anything like to get away from him at all. You can bring him back to your base instead. I'm bringing him back! What the hell? Wait, what the fuck? I just realized something. Where's the switch? <laughs> okay, then, I guess. I'm uh, just not gonna get anything in there. You found the switch. Oh, there's two red items. Oh, I didn't know these guys can just hide items from you just, just like that. It's just that easy for them, huh? Hello there. Goodbye. My other hair character can actually reduce the cooldown of her X by killing when you kill an enemy. That means I can infinitely uh, spam X. But I think I'm gonna go. This this character here uh, has three charges of X, in which I can use X or uh, my uh, skill, my charge skill, to just get to places. I believe she also have a range extender too, if I remember correctly. For the charge, I don't remember. So many really useful section AOE. Data relayers. Someone was complaining about finding data relayers yesterday, and here I am just getting non-stop data relayers. Is it just RNG? Yeah, I'm just lucky. Who knows? You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that Cat on Mars isn't playing this game. He has so many VTuber homies playing this, and then he's, like, one of the very few that's not playing it. It's kind of surprising to me. Controller module. Especially if you're some kind of loot whore. Like me, myself. Me turret? You don't have to tell me twice. I'm almost out of power. Almost. The enemy has spotted you. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> wow, guys. Rice lads, we found two red. Oh, it'd be a shame if it was just soil. It'd be a fucking shame. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a repeater. PCI chip. Be a fucking shame. Fucked? Listen, I'm always fucked every day. I don't think my ass can take it. Oh shit, wow, well, where we are. We are actually really full. Why not pick up that player? I'll just go pick up a little rest later. Give me a second. Be a run moving slower. Why do I feel like I'm so slow right now? Oh, I don't have movement speed boots. That's why. We don't have movement speed burst boots. Fuck. I lost my other boots because I died uh, this morning when I was doing a quick run. 
and I realized, oh shit, this is the wrong outpost. It was my weaker one, really weak one, with like only five turrets and no ammo maker at all, because I was designing my dreadnought. And I'm like, ah, oh, well, this is the, this is how we end. And you know what? I still had all my shield. I was doing perfectly okay. And then I got one tapped, and I was like, oh, okay. And I somehow forgot to, I forgot to insure my boots. So now we're looking for new boots. Big sedge. Just doing a quick little double checky. What I mean, the fuck is that over there? That was too close. Oh, You're yeah, alright. Taking a breather of this. That was me with the data layers. I wanted to make it a sign for large artillery. As soon as I made it, it was available to buy for 3.5k. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Maybe you have to craft it first before you can actually like buy it from the shop. Is that how it works, I wonder? Cause you have the technology and they can just make it. Wait, fuck, what was the other one? I wasn't paying attention. Uh Miner's dormitory, one of my least favorite. Wow, we didn't get any money. We didn't, we didn't get any men money makers. Oh, there's another fucking big outpost over here. Shit. I wasted too much time. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. Well, I didn't find any nano processor. I don't know if I should be salty as hell. Because we didn't find a single nano processor, and I, I wanted to do this quick run so we can get it, but I, I guess we won't. <laughs> but at least we got two cataphract core and a bunch of soil, baby! Let's go, guys! Oh, whoa, we love soil! And I get 100% of that loot, so I get 30, I get paid in 33,000. Nice. 10,000 valuables and 22,000 component regions. Hell yo. Wait, so what counts as building materials? Scrap metal? Scrap? Whatever the fuck? Does anybody know? You were able to buy a drum before I made one? Oh yeah, true, true. I was able to buy an auto reloader before I was able to made one, make one. Not the advanced one, the uh, the regular. Joe's loot, no loot, Morna. Yep, what's up, Blast? How's it going, dude? I've been getting more luck playing off stream. I did one run yesterday. I did one fat run yesterday. I, I found three nano processors and two ion batteries. I was like, damn, this is like the luck is ever gone. And a, a red stock. We also made a red stock and I was super happy I got a red stock, only to die. And then somehow duplicated, duplicated that red stock, and I was like, wait a minute, how the fuck did I get two? This isn't supposed to happen. And then, um, yeah, I was like, huh? So the show was just really weird to me. Oh, so is my stream lagging today at all? Or has it not been lagging today? I did an AFK. I just, I just got one tap by something that did electrical dam damage. I also didn't really have a full base. I, I wasn't able, able, able to AFK that base. We had no ammo. Production. I died trying to fucking survive. If I survive, I'd be running to my death for whatever reason. Appreciate. I forgot about the ammo crafter, Lamel. That's not like we really needed. Did you scream? No, more like I just fucking... I wasn't screaming. I was doing fine. I just got one tap out of nowhere. I had full armor. Just straight up 100% HP to zero. I don't know what killed me. Today's such a weird day for me right now. Say hello to my Ranger Cataphract. The fuck is that? A recovery kit? I like how they get stuck up here. So easy for my, my, my mech to just get stuck randomly.
I'm lagging pretty fucking hard. What is this? Cover key, right? Yeah. What the fuck is that hip? I'm floating, am I? No, I'm not floating, sorry. I was all about to say, I was like, am I floating? That's all right, all right. Drop. I'm not hitting weak spot. We got a break, guys. We're back. Okay, so shit's lagging right now really hard. Dude, my CPU's maxed out with, like, the lowest of all graphics. It's kind of fucking hilarious how bad my game already looks, and it looks even worse just because how fucking, like, insane it is. I spoke too soon. I think my shadow is up in medium. That's normal. Do I make my game ugly? Will this help? It does not. Global illumination? That's how I made my CPU worse. Wait, global illumination made my CPU worse. What? Normal makes it maxed out. Medium is the only one that doesn't make it maxed out. Or my CPU is just maxed out randomly. I, I don't know. Uh, God, do we have to go high performance here? That doesn't do anything. My CPU is just completely fucked right now. Medium distance? That doesn't do much. Definitely made the game a lot brighter. What's the background noise? That's uh, my Swiss shirt making Swiss cheese. My Sea Wiz. Maybe special effect quality? There we go, that made it a little bit better. Reflection quality, that can also go to lowest. That was what was making the noise. Uh, Maverick from YouTube. So when I pause, everything moves slow-mo, apparently. Okay, never mind. Now, now it's just... Not moving slow, but wait, why does the sound go off when I'm like in the the, the the settings? It doesn't feel like it's moving slow, but all the bullets are frozen. It is one of those. Pausing solo? No, last time I played solo, it did not pause. Remember when I was in the mech yesterday and my mech was taking damage? So I'm, I'm still ch uh, trying to fix this up. I probably have to go high performance. See how ugly it looks. It looks really ugly. Oh my God, what happened to my texture? So this is what high performance looks like. Dumb shit. But hey, I got 40 frames. So I'm barely lagging. We're going back to regular performance. Was that reflection quality I turned off that caused that issue? anti aliasing Still 100 CPU. Frame still at 30 per second. It's so bright. But I'm no longer like I'm no I'm no longer super laggy. Maybe changing a new update. I think something in the new update changed something else. I don't know. 
I mean, it's always been this laggy. That's because I put everything into medium, but now everything runs smoothly now. I'm pretty sure I'm just not allowed to like look at good graphics. Not with this PC stuff. He had a shield. Had, by the way. Turn down Gamma? Bro, I wish I can. Does this game even have Gamma? It doesn't have Gamma. Does it? Sharpening? Sharpening is like dead zero. Motion blur, minimap zoom. This game doesn't have Gamma at all. Do you know how to turn down Gamma RQ? RQ? I'm actually back and they're like, great job. Oh yeah, yeah they're, they're saying great job because you're still alive. Never mind, my game is starting to lag again. Nah, yeah, so I can't really turn down Gamma, it's way too bright. You have a ship gun now? I sure do. It's just I can't use it yet. Well, I mean, I can't use it. It's just that I'm gonna use it during the boss. It has limited shells. Any new booters? Yeah, I know what the Shadow Slaughter is used for. That's why I bring it to medium whenever I can. But I can't bring it to medium because Shadow is the worst in terms of processing power. If I turn uh, my shadow to medium, then uh, it takes up 40% of my CPU space and then I don't think I could be able to stream. Elemental scattershot, comp components, yada yada yada, fucking autoloadive. Money, 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 hard disk. More money. I love money. This is a money loving stream. Money! Regular stock. What a deal. Gold cup. Grenade. Advanced medicine. Actually, bring out the advanced medicine. It's money. It's a 48 for a 2 slaughter. Even though it's not as effective compared to most of the stuff I picked up. But it is what it is, I guess. March on. Advanced medicine again. Matter destructor. Do, 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 do. Fucking lag. Can't even look. Can't even loot. Because it's so laggy. Wait, how many data, ca data cables can I stack? Five? You can stack up to 400 data cable worth of loot. Money. Capacitors, not as important. Data cable. Yum, yum. Money, money, money. Attack tech points. Oh, God. What the fuck was that? What just happened? Did you know that holding ship in commander mode you do the same action for all selected components? Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you. That's extremely useful now. I did not know that at all. I mean, I should have. As someone who plays a lot of arts, yes, I should know. Maybe. Well, welcome to my automated base until we run into infinity mode, of course. Infinity siege, baby. What the fuck? Was that a tank that decided to ram my fucking uh, outpost for whatever reason? They haven't really destroyed any of my Promethean core. Because I don't think they can. So you're telling me I can launch all my missiles at once? Trying to find a good spot. Normally there'll be a lot of tanks over here. I'm gonna look for a tank uh, squad. Probably to the right. Those, those guys have the highest cover, maybe? Nope, they're getting obliterated the moment they walk around. Let's find these guys over here. Beautiful.
Nope. Oh no, you have to hold shift. There we go. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. So good to know. We're always learning. I think my game just had a little brain lag. Yeah, today we're only able to destroy this Promethean core over here just because I don't really have a lot of uh, cover on it. Not with this fucking thing in the way. But it's fine. I've also noticed that Apostles just always have a hard point spawn. So you don't even need a breach for an Apostle to spawn up here. Any goodies? Any red goodies? There's no red goodies. I picked up the ye only yellow goodies. Uh, I'm too lazy to give a fuck about the purple shit that's on the ground right now. Oh, already used most of my missiles. Unlucky. He's already dead. One in front's already almost dead. One to the right, already dead. One in front's now dead. <laughs> okay, the one in the front took fucking forever to die. For whatever reason. Is it because he's just tankier? Oh, boss man spawn time! Y'all ready? Y'all ready to see some action? Changing to electrical ammo. Also, another thing is you can hold down R and change ammo this way. Uh, I learned that through Velatrix. We're gonna fight fire with fire. Min Yan, by the way, taught me this. Oh, it doesn't keep you up when you're falling down. How do I... There we go. Don't fall down. Oh, it's Kronos! Oh shit, he's dead! Fuck him up, cruiser cannon! Meanwhile, you're fucking him up! I have the high ground! Murray! There's like a backslip on how far you can go up. Oh, don't shoot this way. So, uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now I need to show that to my friends. <laughs> Cruiser cannon OP, wait till I get four of them. Four cruiser cannon. We need four cruiser cannons specifically for Infinity Siege. And I have a way to build it, I think. Awesomeness. Oh, we're done here. I'm gonna call in the evac whenever it comes up. Well, okay, I killed that boss maybe a little bit too fast because I still got 140 seconds to wait through. Anyways, is there any loot? We killed another set of apostles and I don't see any yellow loot, so maybe not. The fact that apostles can drop purple loot kind of grinds my gear a little. Actually, those are like pressurized containers. That's uh, a little bit of value, I guess, but I don't really have enough part those space container thing, whatever. You can stack them, yay! How much do they cost for a uh, slot? 200? So you can get up to 600 taking up a 3x4? Interesting. Well, if I want to maximize the profit, I can just slap it in here.
Daughters, yep. Yeah. Rich money, your daughters, yep. Money, 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 money. It's a money loving stream after all. We, we, we rich, boys. We rich. Filthy. Stinking. Not really rich. Not rich, but. I tell myself that I'm rich every day, so you forget the fact that I have to deal with taxes. Too rich for taxes? Say no more. Oh, didn't expect to find a diamond in there. Was, was that not a medical box? I thought that was a medical box. That's a low key, a little bit hilarious. a little bit salty that I didn't get uh, the fucking Prius too. Because the Prius is supposed to give me an ion battery every time I kill it. I don't think that Kronos does either. He oh, yep. Oh, you're supposed to press the start button. Oh. Every time I put stuff in there, I forgot to press the start button. Oops. Oopsie. Dedicated to the comm module for the Guardian Fabricator mission. Yeah, you're, you're not going to find any in the forest by them. They have a fairly low uh, spawn rate in the snow biome. And they have an incredibly high spawn rate in the ruined biome. You just, the, the, the higher up you go, the uh, the things that you're like struggling to find, is it gets easier. And I assume there's a biome right after ruins, but it's still in their development currently. So... Eventually, I'll get to the point that, you know, nanoprocessors, reprocessors, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, hopefully, it's easily found in a new biome. Ba -da -ba -ba. Game's still lag as fuck. Chasers drop data cables consistently? They do? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, so if you want to, like, if you, if you want, like, chasers to come out... Uh, what I would do is grab a melee character and just bust down a lot of doors. You can also use the, uh, melee character to just kill stuff, too. You're right. Good comms, good comms. As in, uh, God damn it, I'm copying someone else that says that. <laughs> oh, damn, 7,000 power for that? Another 7,000 power? We're rich. 7,000 power again... I've always looked at 7,000 power, but let's take a look at what other stuff we can look at here. Sell that. Sell lightweight stock. Turbine barrel. What barrel do I have right now? Regular barrel? I think regular barrel is fine to have, unless I want heavy barrel. It does increase the firing interval, though, which isn't really worth it. The same exact regular barrel. Huh. Did I dupe that one on accident, too? Yeah, I figured out a dupe bug. It's it's something with insuring your like items, and then uh, dying, and then sometimes it'll just duplicate. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. So I got this red stock. It's the same exact stock. Now, did I do it on purpose? Of course not. I didn't do it on purpose. No, I didn't. I need movement speed. Do I want double jumps? I'm gonna have uh, power boots instead of double jump because we, 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 we do have mechanical claws. And I have X, so I have a lot of, like, uh, mobility already. So I think I'd rather just have that 7.5% extra movement speed and uh, less stamina cost, just so I can just plow through the map. Wait, I have better boots right here. The fuck? Why is that boot so fucking low? Uh, low level, holy crap. Oh, because this boot's level 5. Oh, I'm going to train that one soon. Oh, hey, evasion boots. Allows me to evade. Yeah. Hell yeah, 120 movement speed. There you go. Alright, well, we should be able to just sprint through each map. I gotta I gotta do another run just because I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> I really I really want my Zen processor, but it's not giving me the Zen processor. Unless we want to do like a quick loot run. Where I try to look for like red items only instead of just trying to like force everything else out. XL hyperactive. It's more stamina. I like that weakness thing. Gain a stack of weakness bonus that uh, lasts for two seconds every time you jump. Stacks up to 20 time. Every time I jump, 
But you lose, though. More skill charge. Up to three. Power slash explodes set the area on fire. Power slash distance travel plus 50%. Next shot does not consume bullets. Oh, he doesn't have the um, power slash cooldown increase. Unlucky. I think there's one for that uh, subtraction cooldown by five seconds. More the barrack skills. The hell? Is my game still dying? Why am I 82% CPU looking at this screen? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, maybe my CPU really is dying here. Please be a gear trader. Please be a gear trader. Please be a gear trader. It's not a gear trader. I already have enough electronic components. So yeah, one more nano processor. It's gonna take some time, man. How much? How, how about Ranger Hanger? I need three more for a Ranger Hanger. I may try to go for four Ranger Hangers, or should I just do two Vanguard and two Rangers? I'm gonna go four Rangers first, and then probably two of each. Uh, nothing to build yet. I need to go back into the mission. Um, so I have another character. Oh, I want to show her off real quick here. We can also try to level her up, but I'm going to get, try to get an EXP booster. So her trait is relatively the same, except no branches for hyperactive. But she has no cooldown. She has this thing where you can actually increase dash, dash distance. And killing an enemy with a power slash reduces his cooldown by 10 seconds. Does this tell you how much cooldown it has? No, I think I have to use it in game to see how much cooldown it has. But yeah, you instantly get a, like a cooldown back and just keep using power slash to kill enemies with it. And it's stacked that with hyperactive, you're just gonna keep killing stuff. That might be like really big for DPS. So I'm I'm, 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 I'm kind of curious of how she's gonna play. Uh, I wouldn't do the Zen thing once I finish my base. I want new Zens. I don't think my Zen's good enough. But then again, I can just use X to kill most of my enemies, so I think we'll be fine. Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. Try to bring an ammo. I always try to bring an ammo now just because I have so much of it. Yeah, I need to get rid of the ammo itself. As you can see here, we get most of our ammo back from bottle looting, anyways. Early on, I think you're going to struggle a little bit. Oh, uh, whatever you can, if you have excess power on the final map, use that power to, uh, to, to cut wood. If you're a new player, get lots of lumber. You always need lumber because it increases your material capacity. And then once you get to the uh, second tier of the uh, uh, material capacity, it gives you core power. So always try to co uh, collect lumber whenever you can. Make sure you have the right character. We have the right outpost. Okay, it's a double boiny. Oh, that's one of the smaller ones. Oh, well. All right, we skip this to town outpost. Guardian, engineering helmet. I want to go down and around first. Well, not anymore. I should I should have started down here so we get like extra perks so we can loot faster. But it's a gas station. It should be fun. Hey, what's up, good dude? Good the morning. How's it going? Hope you do well. Excuse me. Oh god. Yeah, you do, Pandorian. Uh, you lose your insurance only if you die. Insurance carries through. So the last the, this morning when I died early, I have to reinsure all my gear. I'm gonna be more careful. I don't know exactly what what's happening through the shield, but a stash in that 
we just got to play carefully, I guess. You blast that motherfucker on top of that wall. Who gives a shit about him? Show what's up. Don't touch the ground. Look for something to stand on. Oh, it's 10 seconds. It's 10 second cooldown. Uh, what the fuck? That could be a little bit annoying for my skill. <laughs> oh no. My ex now leaves a burning fire pool. Oh, that's going to be fun. Fun, 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 fun. Come on, weapon crate, scatter shot, barrel. I forgot about that again. I always forget about my ammo. I don't have double jump anymore, so I'll be uh, used to it. Then we get another double jump, of course. So I'm used to having double jump, but I don't need double jump anymore since I have X that kind of just launches me through the sky. You know what? I think I need double jump specifically for my um for my build. I do. So we're gonna have to get a burst, another burst. Try to look, keep an eye out for a burst boot. Sorry. Someone trying to blast at me because I killed his friend. Oh no! He's, he's not really happy with what I did. I mean, I was, I was trying to give the pl uh, place a paint job. But is, is it really my fault? Oh god damn it! All right, it, it it makes me blind from looting too. <laughs> uh, is there a way to unlearn some perks? Well, hey, at least we do a lot of damage if I decide to go on a rampage. <laughs> My time is so far, no. Nope, 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 give that back. It is a 7,000. I mean, I do need to sell, so we, we, we can also bring stuff back to sell, like, uh, equipment. Uh, just the insurance points, because when you insure, you're using equipment points. I can't see anything. Oh, still using electric ammo. I keep forgetting about the R part. Hold R to pay your respect. It's a capacitor. I'm stuck. Okay, I'm so used to having double jump. I'm not really a fan of this at all. Ooh, evasion boots. Mission armor. This build might be a little tad bit too busted. Assuming it decks out a large amount of DPS. There's a blueprint up there, if anybody's wondering. Oh my god, I shouldn't use mechanical claws. What does button do? The enemy has spotted you. Oh no. So I'd say mechanical cables? More speed? Always need more speed. Y'all need something out there? Knock, knock, who's there? I didn't hit that barrel, did I? Game, please let me loot. Guess not. Drop. May need to reorganize my inventory. 
Well, premium beverage is not worth it. It's 28 gold. Advanced me med uh, medicine is not worth it anymore. Call modules. Also not really worth it. Stream. Shoot the shells? I'm not looking for scrap metal. You can scrap metal too, but I'm not looking for scrap metal. I buy scrap metal. I might have money. Oh, hey. These doorables died. The fuck? <laughs> Do I really need key cards anymore? I feel like if I carry key cards around, it'll just take up inventory space and it's not really worth it. That'll, oh, nano chip, nice. Got nano chip for days. Nano machine, son. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I can't really stack it. Nor do I really give enough shit to try to stack it. I don't really want to come back here, so we're trying to make it a one trip uh, bogey. One projection module again. Zedium vial. That. Oh, you have so much ore, so do we really need that many ore? Holy fucking shit! Sheesh! Alright, you know what? I'll just do a second run back here. It's fine. I'm fast as fuck, anyways. I really do miss the fact that I have a double jump. So, I'll probably have to bring back burst boots or just equip a lower level burst boot. I don't know how much movement speed I'm losing out on, though, with the amount of flat movement speed that we have right now. Uh, bring in the full stacks. Anything that takes and it's not fully stacked yet. I'll just take these in. One of the more rare stuff that we can't even find anyways. Holy shit, all right, there's more Xenia more. Got any more Xenia more? Can't believe I'm back to being a glue goblin again, even though we're looking for nanoprocessors. Oh, gee, yeah, another chain. Hell yeah. Low key, can, can you actually equip multiple like chains? I wonder. Like three different chain, three three different red uh dents. Yeah, We don't have space. I miss one. I I don't think I can play this game without double burst or a burst boot. 
Oh yeah, I'm done with the main mission. I finished it like a while ago. It is Gonzo, Gonzo, Gonzo. Finish galore. Don't have to worry about mission anymore. There is an end to the mission. I think we're supposed to wait for more content in terms of mission. Because when I get back to the main screen, it'll show you you're like the next set of quests is just upgrade your turrets and that's it. Let's just have fun. Just play the game how it's supposed to be. Mess around with Infinity Siege, uh, which is basically infinite mode, which we're going to do later today once I decide to test out the Dreadnought. If I can test out the Dreadnought, I'm pretty sure I can, but it's just I'm not going to have a lot of like Hellfire Cannon, which we, we, we really want more of. I haven't been able to find any nano processors just yet. I just need one. Just one so I can design my fucking base. Just takes a lot of time to get the stuff you want. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Pawn recovery, gain gold equal to 200% total value. Oh, no, say no more, fam. Oh, yeah, all right. Lab Ruins is my least favorite fucking spot. Not a fan of Lab Ruins. Never has been. You just have this area above, up there in that hill that takes forever to get to. Well, actually, there's a different uh, way to get up there. You can actually scale the hills. Just wish I had double burst boot, but I guess having X, the three different X's at once. Yeah, I have full, I have everything researched, Pando. Everything's researched. I'm just grinding resources for endgame turrets. My endgame goal is to get four cruiser cannons, uh, four hellfire turrets. Maybe at least three different nukes. I just like the, the reason why I'm playing this game is just to so I can just mess around with base building. I just enjoy base building a lot when it's actually really fun, and this game actually offers a I don't know cutting edge technology whenever you're just making a base. Makes the base building a little bit more interactive, even though you can use a lot of quality of life. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hello, Conab. How's it going? What the fuck thing just rebounded off of it? How's Conab doing? Hope Conab is doing okay-ish. Always trying to do better, maybe. You know what? Maybe the lab building will be one of my favorites, just because there's a bunch of lockers right below. Do I even have to run to use X? I don't think I do. I'm already building movements. Two control modules. That is going to take a large chunk of my inventory slot there. I'll just ignore that. Makes me like drown in water. I'm about to run out of water, so this next uh, break here, we're going to have to like wait for or get some water refill. Oh. Well, that's one way to keep key cards. It's envoy key cards. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. The enemy My has spotted you. I'm gonna drop pressure on containers. I have so many of those already. You fucking like looting pressurized container whenever I see him. Even though you can super stack him too. Is it really worth the stack right now? Well, actually, we'll keep it in the inventory just in case I need to drop something. Then I'll probably drop the pressurized container. Please give me red. Oh, that's not the red I was looking for, but thanks for the red, I guess. Capacitors. Automotive capacitors. You can make some inventory space before I drop that ammo. Oh no, the enemy has spotted me. Whatever shall I do? Max out battery reconstructor. No, how, how nice. Got something. Maybe we should make a second trip up here. Yeah, let's make a second trip up here. Too much fucking loot.
Diving into hell? Fuck yeah. Gotta find the last two blueprints in Snowlands? You just gotta explore. Sometimes you just find it randomly. Uh, my Discord actually has the uh, blueprint. If you want me to link you the blueprint thing, I can. We have a blueprint link now. Someone made a wiki for all blueprint location. So yeah, if, if you struggle with that type of shit, I can uh, just post that link. For anybody that's interested. I won't show it off on street, obviously, because it's spoilers, unless you want to get the exploration yourself. The fact that we already have a blueprint, uh... Not a blueprint, yeah, no, sorry. A wiki for this game. It's kind of absolutely insane. On Discord? Yeah, it's on Discord. I pinned it. I've already pinned it, so you can actually just check the pin in the Outpost Discord channel. Portable artillery can as well. So that was the goal that was up here that caught my eyes. If I had any. Me, you can see. A little nice little electrical go uh, component. Not electrical components, sorry, electrical ammo. What a waste. Now, now I think about it, this chain thing only shoots everything that's on the same floor or above, but not below. Well, shit. I don't want that. So I think it's a lot better to just shoot it from below instead. Game, please. What the fuck? How do you get caught, caught on wires? I mean, yes, you're supposed to get caught on wires, realistically speaking. Moshi mosh. Oh, it's not highlighting all the fucking loot over here. I'm not seeing all the loot on this side. Interesting. Maybe I'm living by right. Oh wait, does it does it not show the explosive chest? I guess it doesn't show the explosive chest. It sure is. No! My double jump! Yoink. Nano processor, son. Any nano processor in this room? There has to be, man. There has to be a fucking nano processor. Do you know how many lockers I've opened up already? Like I'm actually physically getting scammed. Little processor, please. I deserve it. You know how many people I carried? I believe in good karma. Come on, be a good old chap. Place that there, my lord. Wait, it doesn't have an HP bar. <laughs> doesn't have a fucking HP bar at all. Be quiet out there! They're hunting me! Shut up!
You carry it to less people? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> you think they carried me? I've never felt such insult. You dare insult me. You bastard. Oh, inventory is really fucking full. And I still got one more spot to check. Then again, I can just use the drones on the side. Extract some goodies. Alright, that should be decent enough. Sure, I carried. Oh, even though it was our first special time together that we beat the flying boss, was that not special enough for you, Rice Lats? Was it? I've never felt so offended. Oh wow, that's a pretty far range of me killing that nebula. Hello there. Did you just jump from underground? Son of a... What a piece of shit. Where do you go? Let me add him. Go away, shoot. I don't want to be friends with you, shoot. Be gone, spot of darkness. I really should have not grabbed the fire thing. It's not even that good. Why is the thing so fucking beefy? They're also fucking beefy. Do I do like no fucking damage? What happened to my damage? That was almost a lost mission? Okay, to be fair, Field Mather did kind of carry my base by keeping it alive. <laughs> Who knew that having a critical support character would come a long way? Throw boss as MVP on the first fly you died. I didn't die, but base died, but I lived. I ran away, remember? I flew I ran like ran away like a bitch. I almost got squashed though. Bullet drop? He's supposed to be getting one time because he's like super far away. Uh-oh, double value boos. Powerful gear can be found during this tour. Kick is a lie. Kick is always a lie. This is always a fucking lie. But I'll, you know, I'll take it. Fuck it. Uh, 208. We can instantly get that. 200% of valuables worth. Not really worth it. You want the entire crate to be buffed up. Not just the uh, loot itself. Forest Town? Hmm. 256 for you. I mean, this, this map is kind of tiny. Still haven't found anything that uh, any of the things I really wanted, which is basically nano processor. Maybe I actually should just go inside and loot for nano processors. The value of the items in the containers recovered. This is the one that we want. Love how the enemy's called Xenos. Zip to town. 
Use power cost on element to gain 5% increased range. Oh damn, 5% is kind of huge. Lakeside Town? Oh god, w w why does this cost a little power? <laughs> there must not be a lot of resources inside. Because the backpack space of all combatants. I don't want an extra guardian. Alright, what about you? Old barracks? Old barracks! You found it! There it is! We can potentially get great loot spots! Yes, 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 yes! Please, please! Please fill up that one hidden uh, compartment with just a bunch of red. Please! Just one more nano processor, and I can just focus on building my base. That's all I asked for. Oh yeah, you right. I'm always right. I'm never wrong. I never die. And if I die, um, we just pretend that the character was never there. See, the reason why I can uh, prove this is because I still got my gear, so I never died. Every time my gun shoots, I just lag. It just fucking lags, that's it. Uh, let me invoice followers and take a little looky look at this map here. Alright, I don't see anything that's red. It's rather unfortunate. Oh, nope, I see one. It's behind something. A couple of gear container, possibly? Is this the one with sentries? Yes, it is. Fast as fuck, boy. There's something back here. There's a first aid box in the back. <laughs> oh, wow. We once had that thing. Holy shit. Nano chip. Say no more. Electronic components. Military container. Oh, my God. I can always loot this last two. I mean, typically speaking, these are the type of areas that does have quite a bit of loot. Or not. Maybe I'm bragging. Maybe I'm speaking too highly of this area. But it had lockers. Obviously, lockers and great loot. Oh, that's why I was one tapping because I had the movement speed buff right, right at the beginning. Sorry about that. Jumping in front of turrets killed you? Yeah, you're asking for a friendly fire in this game that... Oh, hey, we got it. Friendly fire in this game? That's a lot of grief for a game that makes it where you lose everything when you die. Coronavir is always coming to my stream, always angry for no absolutely no reason and wishing the worst out of me. Unlucky, but you know what? Your anger has been beneficial to me. Thank you for giving me this nano processor. Fucker. I don't think that killed him. I got a bunch of angry robots outside of the house. Get away from the house! Ooh, another cataphract core. Nice. Uh, how's backspace? Backspace is looking kind of eh. A little bit effy. Downstairs, that's downstairs. I'm, I'm being very confused in this goddamn fucking map. Hate that there's a downstairs and an upstairs.
Fuck you. I'm not moving fast enough. Oh wow, that does like no damage. Yeah, we gotta get double burst boost. Double burst boost was the only thing that like allows me to get more damage out. Not pretty she cold off, what's up call me? Where to find advanced battery and material stock? Can't find them? Uh, the material... Wait, material stock? What the hell is that? Are you talking about material storage? Where to find the material storage? Uh, so... That's gonna be the snow... It should be either in the snow biome or the first area of ruins. Wait, I think there's a lock lock. Like, you can't open it by force. Yeah, so, uh... If you need blueprint help, I do have a link. Do you want me to post a link? Or do you just want to join the Discord to find the link in there instead? Otherwise, you can just copy and paste the link real quick and give it to you to find blueprints. Uh, can we? The link? Alright. Good thing I pinned it. I mean, I can also make the command for this, too. Here. Add com. Um. Outpost blue BP. I'm definitely going to forget. <laughs> but that is it. There you go. Have fun. Just for anybody that's missing, like, blueprints, y'all need help, because I, I can't... I don't even remember where, uh... I don't even know what I ate this early this morning. So I'm definitely not going to remember all the blueprints I found. It's just that I explore a lot, so I tend to just find blueprints as I go. And typically speaking, as someone who has not used a wiki to find all his blueprint, I actually rely more on power. So you know how I notice how I've always like scanned, uh, have my scanner up. Yeah, that's what I depend more on. What is that over there? Where did I come in from? I've noticed that whenever I do a slide and a double jump, my movement speed increases drastically. Did I kill everything? Now we did. Everything coming from. I can't really see whatever I use my skill because it's a fucking infernal. It just blinds my movement. Maybe we should try out the other character instead. You know what? We should. Just get her leveled up. Cause I'm not really liking the way that fucking the, the, the way that thing blinds me. She can be my co-op skill, uh, user. Oh, oh, I'm battery too? Hell yeah. Can't ever say no to ion batteries. Uh, explosives. Zim Zayn, um, I'm kind of fucky fuck.
Alright, there's an ad break going on right now. I do need to use rush and get some water real quick, but let's go to head back to base first. So my decoy and the Barrage character can get four charges, I guess. Lamel with doing electro damage so I can make stuff go kaput. Gotta test some build now. Let's fucking go. Make everything go kaput. Dude, I, I have a really decked out um, rocket launcher guy. He had so many different traits. I, I really want to like see what traits he had uh, later. But we do have ad breaks, so give me a second. Welcome back, Rice Lads. I need to make a cutscene screen. 200% of valuables worth. The enemy gains 30% more attack and HP. You know what? Buff him. It's time to greed a little bit. Give him some love, you know. I mean, we have, uh, whoa, that's, that's we get 14,000 from that. Uh, total 60,000. So we 60,000. Oh, sorry. It's times four. 120. I'm making 134k from this. 134 fucking k. Hell yeah. I, 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 there's one thing I would like to see is there's there's probably more gold sinks. I don't I don't know. I, I wonder how gold sink would work. So Velatrix was saying something like investing gold into manufacturing, and I want to know your honest darn opinion. How would you guys like it if manufacturing cost a little bit of gold? Right, because I feel like it's so easy to make gold in this game when you're able to farm, especially when they allow you to auto farm now. You can just treat the game like a turret defense, right? It feels like it does stall the game a little bit, but I just make so much goddamn money when you get the perks that you get, right? Um, Bye. I'm not going to die yet, but good night, Minye. Sleep tight. Minye fucking taught me how to fly with a fucking Swiss turret. <laughs> You shoot down, uh, oh yeah, fuck, I forgot to shout you out. Wait, but give me a second here. Time to forget, Mr. Uh, Min Ye here is another streamer of Outpost Infinity Siege. If you want to check him out and give him a little follow. In case you guys are always looking out for more Outpost Infinity Siege streamer, we always need more if possible. Get the community growing on Twitch, of course. Don't forget the Swiss thing. I already said it! To remind me. Bastard. Peppy, what's up? Peppy! I, I love, dude, 
Um, sub so United Overlord, how's it uh, uh, going? Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Uh, yep, many games have gold in them, but they don't have much use for gold in the longer run. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I feel like I have so much gold, and all I do is just reroll the shop, and most of the items I can't really, that, that I need, can't really be bought from the shop. So, like, I feel like there should be some things that should be utilized. I think we have enough cataphracts to make, cataphract cords to make a range of cataphract, but I'm not too particularly sure here. Oh, apparently I forgot to make ammo, Lamel. That's an A Lamel moment. Give me a lot of me. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there you are. Then you get stuck here because for some reason the pathfinding is like blocked randomly. Goliath online. High level bat seller with a huge penalty on reroll. Huge penalty on reroll will just make it extremely expensive. Like, I feel like red items should probably cost him like the 10,000, 20,000s, probably. Especially like the super rare stuff, like maybe, um, maybe, maybe even a hundred thousand. I don't know. They're super rare to find in game, like nano processor, ion batteries. You get an ion batteries for killing the Kree, it's a free one. But those things should be like up there somewhere, fifty thousand maybe. Oh, Guardian, I appreciate the follow, dude. Thank you. Peppy, whenever I see your name, there's this. So there's this YouTube. I don't know if you watch YouTube. And you, you know anything about prairie dogs, like black tail prairie dogs? There, there's YouTube. There's YouTube shorts I watch. Uh, on, um, there's this shorts I watch on YouTube that shows a Perry dog, and her name is Poppy. And this guy that's filming is always like, Poppy! And the Perry dog would just Yahoo at him. And whenever I see your name, Peppy Willie, it just reminds me of that. So you, you're gonna have to Yahoo at me every time I say Peppy! Instead of Poppy. Oh, I forgot to drop off some stuff. Oopsie, crazy easy. Well, it is what it is, then. Anyways, I'm gonna go off there and just loot, be a little loot goblin. It's gonna be myself, make some extra money. Can't believe I have to empty out my inventory. And I love parry dogs. I would love to get a parry dog if possible, but I got myself another hamster. He's dead. She's adorbs. The new hamster that I have is a sweet addition to the fa uh, the rice family. Very adorable. Bites the. F she bit the fuck out of me earlier today. She bit the fuck out of me because I was trying to like put my hand next to her. Why she's just chilling, and then she just turned around, sniffed me funny, and then fucking bit the shit out of it. And I'm like, all right, well, uh, that's a start. That means she's not running away from me anymore. That's always a good start because I always find the fact that hamsters that runs away extremely easily are the one that's are much harder to tame because they're frightful. I prefer a hamster that immediately starts biting the fuck out of me because you can teach them that you're not really a threat to them, so they'll just start biting you. Eventually, that is, or at least I would hope so. My game is lagging because it's so many shit going on right now. Holy fucking shit. Can't wait to make my dread. No. What the fuck? Hello? I believe I can fly. My tarts on fire! Oh, you know what I can do? Fabricate another army, because why the fuck not? You know what? I want to make a bunch of bombards. Shift control C? Oh, damn, they all came at the same time. Hell yeah. Go, my bombard cannons. Blast them. Wait, what do I have five? Oh, I have a fourth. Are they auto loader grabbing ammo from the box? Yes, these are advanced auto loaders. They will automatically grab any ammo that's in this little square thing here. So they are immediately grabbing the ammo. Oh, he's already done. 
thought these guys would be a little bit more tankier. These are dead too. Oh, they're already all dead. Fuck. What a waste of a bunch of missiles. Oh, Percy's got no one touch. By end design, we'll have automated uh, ammo production. It's gonna be glorious! But if you really want, like, um, I don't know. I can't get belt on the next floor. I think that's gonna be our main issue, is that we can't get belts up to the second floor. Or the third floor, I guess, in this uh, case. Yeah, it's probably gonna call it to me. Oh, God. My game's lagging. My game is starting to crash more often just because I leave the game up and just allowing all my guns to just bar uh, go barrage. The old one needs belt? No, the first, the first, um, the first auto loader does not use belts. This first auto loader doesn't even have an automatic pickup. You have to manually pick up ammo with it, which is uh, annoying as shit. Um, so I don't bother worrying about that. Uh, but the automatic loader will do it automatically, and then that's where you utilize belts and ammo, uh, auto ammo produ production. Otherwise, right now, it's just much more efficient for me to just use regular ammo maker. Yeah, the regular auto loader will have this pickup sign, but they do it automatically. It's reinforcement mechanics. You can spend gold to make part of your base stronger. Yeah, I guess. Consumables. Maybe spend gold to buy those roguelike cards, Pandorian. I think that's a great idea. Start production from the top. Let the ammunition drop down. You know what? You know what? Yes! That is smart! Why do I think of that? Why do I think of that at all? Holy crap! That's a thing! I should have done that instead! Well, man! Mad raving man! You, you fucking insane lad, dude. I really don't want to put belts down because they consume a lot of frames, I think. On my guns? Are you talking about these guns or my gear gun? Which gun are you talking about? This thing right here? Yeah, I have like two different weapon Zens. Two red Zens I can use. Uh, one long range Zen, which is this thing. It, it's a one tapper, and then I have the short uh, missile. He's already dead. I can't really blast him when he's dead. I'm just gonna shoot him. It, it, normally, would one tap. If you hit a weak spot, that is. Also, I think there's no crit rate mechanic. The turrets? No. Nah. Well, yeah, I do have modification from the roguelike map. They're getting extra DPS, bigger, like, ammo capacity, all that type of stuff. If you're looking at my configuration, I max out the range. And, then, of course, I have them target missile first and massive unit, large unit, medium unit, small units. Uh, that's the simple stuff. Uh, I don't think you can replace the ammo info. I believe that's untouchable. Oh, the nice apostles already here? No, they're getting close. I'm just bored. <laughs> I just want to use missiles. Welcome to fully automated defense, baby. I can't wait to redesign my base here. Now I need to grind for auto ammo crafters. But I think we can start using Dreadnought soon. I just gotta get ready for uh, ammo crafting design. Now that I think about it, remember when there was a horde moment on the cinematics? Why did they get rid of that? Was it just because of bad, um... Was it because of, like, bad frame rates by having too many enemies on the map at the same time? I wonder. Got myself a ranger, can't wait. Let's fall game go. Woo! Thank you, go, dude. How do you replenish missiles? You have to bring it in yourself. That's one reason why I don't like artillery, except the cruiser cannons. The cruiser cannons can focus on the bigger type of units. Whereas the smaller artillery, they're not really worth building, in my opinion. Because you can't automate their uh, ammo production. At least I don't think you can. I've never really seen an ammo 
crate that can make missiles, unless there's a missile production type of uh, building that I hit. Are mortars bad? I actually use a little bit of mortars. I think I set the mortars specifically to target either large, which is the tanks, or the um, or medium units. They're much better against medium units. But typically speaking, they all have a thousand range. And they, I haven't focusing on medium units. My Swiss is already ki killing most of the enemies out there, and they are much more bullet efficient, in my opinion. Oh, it's boss time. Let's fucking go. I mean, why you guys are just dilly dell on a route? I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick up all these goodies. I hope it's the Chris. Sure hope it's the Chris. More like the flying Prius. Hey, there's a gold item up there. Let's walk in. Oh, yes, yes. We love gold item. What happened to all? Oh, there they are. All right. Uh, I was like, wait a minute. What happened to all of my fabricated you? Did I just lose them all all of a sudden? Uh, that's a lucky. I'm lucky for them, that is. What you got there, fella? Smart sight, 7,000? Not really a smart sight person. I actually rather have a scope for my gun just because I am blind as shit and I can't really hit far targets. But typically speaking, I hit mostly far targets. Oh, I see something over here that needs to die. Where are you, you little fat bastard? Where is he? There you are. It's Kronos. I like how all of them missed. Alright, I didn't get to see the fucking uh, giant turret shoot. There it goes. Oh, look at him melt. Look at him melt, boys. One more barrage and he's gone. And it's out of ammo. <laughs> well, there it is, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, rice lads and uh, ladies. Kronos kind of just take a little nappy wappy. Oh, assemblers can make them? Oh, shit. I never knew that. Wait. Maybe I should put some assemblers down there if I want to make missiles. Okay, fuck. Okay, okay. Uh, good call. Good call. Don't know exactly where I should put the assemblers and how many assemblers I should place down, Blasian. You know, I never really bothered to place down the assembler because I thought it was just useless. I thought it was using, uh, used to make, like, um, high explosion types. My guns don't do damage anymore here. I think I'd rather just go in and just use X. If I don't get one tap, that is. Fixing bayonets. It's time to join a little bit of the fun. That just took out half my shield. He's trying to do the fucking superhero land. I don't think I'll let him. Sorry, I'm at the bottom. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a top. <laughs> See how many will stand against cruise cannons? Oh, uh, we'll find that out in infinity mode. So you need gold and ammo crates to make artillery shells. It's all manual but instant. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, that's that's easy. Oh damn, you can't really auto make it. I mean, it makes sense. These these guns are kind of fucking busted as hell. Busted as in busted a nut. Busted nut. Busted nut. Busted nut. Busted nut. Hello. I want to fight Krius, man. Krius has the items that I need, which is not on batteries. They give you a guaranteed drop. It is not giving it to me. I think I need uh, five ion batteries per cruiser cannons, aside from the artillery uh, cannons. It's one of my favorite weapons. So I've noticed about the Hellfire Rockets, the Hellfire Rockets do not actually cluster out uh, unless you're shooting like five meters away, I think. Let me check that out. Unless you have to shoot from the ground up. I think it's based off of elevation. Love how there's just so many barrels. It's one of my favorite weapons. Come on now, any day. There we go. So it did it, it, it spread out, I think. 
Chain's one of my favorite weapons, though. Chain, Chain's a nice little AoE clear. Even those lab types, because they're just filled with spiders, and I hate spiders. Unless you have, like, a really big AoE skill. That can just nuke the entire building. Took a shot to the face and still lived. Ten more headshots. I guess not. Might get rid of the missile weapon I have here and just convert that back to light. I don't know for sure yet. I'm gonna go ahead and call in the AVAC. We're done here. I don't want to loot. Also, if you haven't tested out yet, you can get squashed by the aircraft. <laughs> the thing can land on you. It already uh, it squashed me once. I, I lived, but it took out my entire shield. Oh, you got money. Yeah, I got a hundred thousand gold in pay. Liquid gold. Liquid, liquid gold. Here it comes. Here it comes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh yeah, baby. Give me that cash. I can't wait to see what we extract it with. I'm pretty sure it's like around 140,000 uh, gold worth. Yeah, I know. Okay, so the thing about mortars is that even if they use uh, normal ammo, they take 40 uh, ammo per shot, and they don't really do that much damage. At least in my opinion, unless you have enough core strength, I guess. So I extracted with a total of 35,000. That's a lot more money I think I'm going to get here. 140k. So I was right. See, I'm good at math. Never touched an Asian math. We always win. All right, so we're going to be uh, moving our gear. Actually, I'm going to sell some stuff here real quick. Gear-wise, 7,000. We'll keep you. It's quite a bit of barrels that we're keeping. I mean, they could be valuable bar uh, barrels. 5,000 for boots, 7,000, 7,000 attachments of the purple burst boots. Did say I was going to swap out some boots. I think I had another burst boot somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the burst boot without uh, movement speed. Oh, shit. I don't have any burst boot with movement speed. I think I'm just going to have to deal with the burst. Well, I want to keep burst boot. I think it might be slower. Yeah, I think it might be slower with a double jump. It just feels a lot better to have. 2,000 gloves. Don't need it. We need better helmets. Helmets that offers more than 2,000 power. So stock, munition armor. Armor needs to be... Ooh, it's actually one of the better armor. Might be better than the one I'm using. It's plus five. All right, so we're swimming out our gear from Melissa. We're bringing... I think we're moving it to carry. Carrie has a really unique type of item, or a weapon, or a skill that, or just skill traits that I want to use. Love how I equipped it instead of uh, equipping my stuff. Don't really have EXP gain for her. Take a little looky look. What if I just want to bring in power ammo? I have so much power ammo that I don't even use, so I might as well just bring it in then. Like two stacks of electro ammo, which I should have swapped over to the boss, but eh. My cruiser cannon kills the boss. We're probably gonna need a lot more of these electro ammo specifically for uh infinity siege. And then a couple shields. Two shields should be decent enough. Where's my luck picks? We always need luck picks. If I can find my lockpicks, that is. The green slot somewhere. There you are. Ah, oh, that's right. I lost a full stack of lockpicks and I died. Son of a bitch. Um, I don't know if I want to bring an ammo box just yet. Let's see what we can manufacture here. Hopefully we got enough metal slack. I can make another Vanguard hanger. What a deal. What a deal. Oh, it takes nano processor. It does? I could have had more? Oh, it does Vanguard. Sorry. Hellfire turret. That's why I'm struggling so much of these Hellfire Charts, because I need five nano processor. So expensive. Hi, uh... Uh... 
what do we need for nuclear missiles? I think we need uh, ion batteries. I need three more nano chips, two more ion batteries, and then we can make ourselves a nuclear missile. I, I like the fact that I always find more uranium than most of the other resources I particularly need. We need two more cataphract core, and we can make ourselves another ranger. Probably make it a little more sis here. Convert them all to Swiss. Uh, you know what? Let's give me like six Swiss. Two more ammo crafter. Two auto reloader. What is preventing me from making two more auto reloaders? Because I need at least two more. Two more repeaters, which we don't have enough liquid metal. Yeah, I can probably just refresh the shop multiple times and see if I can buy myself liquid metal. Sure, why not? Yo, Gobo, appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Come one, come all. We're about to start making our dreadnought. Dreadnought making stream hype. Can't fucking wait. Let's buy more machine gun barrels, automotive doors. I'm gonna try to buy too much shit that I don't really particularly need. Um, sir, 3020, yo, I appreciate the follow as well. Welcome on in. Hope you enjoy a little bit of your stay. But I might say so myself. Could be, could always need more of those. Organic solvent, liquid metal. Or, you know, just, just increase the stash line for all these uh, liquid metals so you can buy them all at once, if you know what I'm saying. Turn Nexus. Those are one of the harder ones to find. Skippy skip. Creepy beacon. Machine gun turret. Small generator. All right, automotive. Capacitors. Get batteries. Why the hell not? Damage amplifiers. I buy a ball out. I have 172k gold, so I might as well just buy as much as I can here. That's the one I try to get more. Well, we always need more liquid metal if possible. Or just at least give me some uh, higher tier materials. Okay, we don't really need to buy these other stuff anymore. Like, I don't know why I bought a comm module there. We find so many of those, too. It's just liquid metal that's, like, kind of stalling us the most here. You need liquid metal for, like, utility walls. <laughs> and you need more utility walls to get more core power. It's just, it's just a uh, revolving process of things that you always particularly need. Assembler boss? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we gotta make the assembler, too. Probably make, like, two assemblers for now. I don't know how many exactly assemblers, because I think it, I assume that it takes time, right? Don't know why I keep buying missile silos, especially if I'm not playing. Oh, wait, no, but you need missile silos to make the nuke launcher, right? If I remember correctly? Yeah, yeah. Probably need to do a uh, wood run team. What is the best way to increase core strength? Uh, there's three items that increases. So, four generic walls give you two core strength, and you spam the fuck out of it uh, to place down batteries uh, early on. And then later on, upgraded batteries, T2 batteries, they give you five, 10 core strength per. Uh, T2 storage crates give you 10 core strength per and jet small generators. I'm about to show you my dreadnought build here soon. I'll give you a little tour. There's different ways of spamming generic walls. You can use that small little tile and you spam as many generic walls as possible. That could be one way of doing it. I find it highly inefficient and just much more time consuming compared to putting down utility walls, which is a little bit more expensive. So if you're around my area, you want small generators and utility walls over a shit ton of generic walls. But you still need a lot of generic walls anyways, primarily because you need to use them to make uh, T2 uh, batteries. So yeah, I'm already like around 3,600 core strength, and we're trying to boost the fuck out of it right now. It's just that I am bottlenecked heavily because of uh, liquid metal, and I don't really go out there and mine ore because I'm just lazy as fuck like that. I'm just, I'm just a lazy piece of shit, to be honest with you. Yeah, you, you know, if I really want to collect ore, what I should do more often is just auto more. Because auto wing would actually collect some ore for you. Or you play with other people and have them collect the ore for you. Just have someone else grind for me. Just be my um, outpost slave instead. You know, you don't get any fun. Maybe I'll reward you with a piece of gear from here and there, but uh, mostly just gonna let you just do the fucking me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's a generator right there. Where's my liquid metal? Control modules. Control modules are in high demand for me. It's an end game type of items. I can always buy more. Uh, I can always go buy more lumber too. Lumber, in my opinion, is a lot easier to obtain compared to war. Actually, no, it's not. It uses power, and you have to actually physically grind it yourself. Typically speaking, like, if I was playing with other streamer, we would probably do, like, maybe, like, a wood run or some sort. Alright, this should be decent enough. I don't really need a lot of uh, resource to currently build my uh, design that I have. So, yeah, we're going to show off our uh, design. 
those those are the t2 crates and the t2 uh batteries liquid metal takes one. Oh wow i thought i had more than that oh else whatever Fresh container, pressure wise container. And then, what else was there that I needed to make? I could make a couple more generators if I feel like it. There's my assemblers. All right, let's go and make like four assemblers just for the hell of it. Just because we can have four assemblers. Small generator, I can make 99 small generators. How many batteries? Uh, let's go and make one more big battery pack then. Does it tell you like their stats in the screen? It does not, all right. It does here. So amplify core level 10, so it gives you 10. And 80 power. I think right. 80 power capacity. Did they bump power back? It used to be 40, right? No, no, it, it's 80. You're, you're losing out on 20 power. You gain more power. Yeah, you gain more power because he powered. Wow, you get 30 extra power from a battery pack. That's insane. Did they buff it? I think they buffed it. One auto loader? Okay, so I need one more, like, uh, repeater. Apparently. And then um, we can get one more auto loader. Let's go ahead and craft that for now. Twin light turrets. I want to make more twin light turrets. I typically kind of do, but we need more nano chips. I think I want to save up on the man nano chips. Oh god, that's a lot of fucking chips. I don't have enough utility walls because we don't have enough liquid metal. And I'm using all my liquid metal specifically on making more repeaters. But here's 40 generators, 400 powers worth of uh, power. All right, say hello to Dreadnought Design. This is my battle cruiser. I call it a battle cruiser because it only has one battleship grade fucking turret on it. I don't really know the exact fucking format of what a battle cruiser requires. Uh, but say hello to Dreadnought. It is currently in the work. Dreadnought here is going to have four of those cannons. Four cannons and four Hellfire cannons. Say hello. Still in the works, of course. It gives a little bit of time. What the fuck is this thing? Flashing red. I think that's a bug. Alright, so now how the fuck do I get all my core power? Well, hopefully this explains a lot. Here you go. This first floor is filled with battery packs. The second floor is filled with generators. Third floor was where I was going to put some ammo production, but I might put it on the fourth floor. I don't know yet because of, uh, uh, because of the uh, dropping ammo off the uh, map. So I might actually have to uh, do a little designing there to drop the ammo off the map. And I just love generator spamming. Once you get like a super massive outpost, you just keep generator spamming because you have a lot of space to work with. Um, I think that's it for up here because I'm still in designing mode. Hellfire cannon. This takes, holy shit, it's massive. You need a three by three to put this thing down. Oh my God, this thing is huge, dude. Why is it so huge? Oh my fucking god! What is that thing made out of? Titanium? What the actual shit? Put a turret here too. Actually, do I have cover? How much co combat co berries do I have? I don't know if I want to put a berry here. What if it just blocks the turret? You can't put it here because it blocks the turret. Unless I move the turret back a little bit and put the berry in front. Just makes it look better, right? Yeah, it makes it look a little better. I should probably make more barriers. This building moves? Well, nah, yes, technically speaking, it moves, but you can't really move it in the middle of a battle. But yes, you can technically move it, correct. Should I do a paint job? How does paint job even work, by the way? Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't mean to do that. Pure Massacre? Oh. Oh, that's what it looks like. It just turns everything into the camo. Oh, my God. Lightning? Oh, God. Verdant? <laughs> it looks so stupid. Leather? Sca sacred Shield? Sca yeah. Ghostly? I like the ghostly one. Wait, the ghostly one looks lit. Lilic? Undefeated. Red. Played. I like Pure Massacre because blood from the blood god. Uh, machine. Nano machine. So, wait, I've unlocked most of these paint. How do I unlock more paint? Hunk. We're going with Hunk. We're killing with style. Alright, I'm not going to worry about this just yet. I'm going to wait until I finish building the entire base. 
But yes, this building technically can move. Correct. So I accidentally went into a run earlier today uh, with this base design. And as you can see, I had no ammo at all. Isn't the barrier supposed to have armor plates in front? I was about to say, where the fuck did the armor plates go? That's hilarious. Huh. What if I want to put it for the Swiss turn, too? Do I want to put it for the Swiss turn? I mean, technically speaking, we can. I mean, it's a good thing I built a shit ton of barriers. Perhaps there's no reason at all. What about triangle uh, tiles? I'm about triangle tiles. I want to see if I can, like, make the base just looks even more fabulous. Like, so fabulous. What do you mean I can't place it here? What the fuck? That looks so weird. It looks really weird. I mean, I guess you can just put smaller turrets down. Hmm. Do I want to do a base design off of this? Probably not. So what can you put on those turrets? Does this, this look off to you? Or is it because of the camera angle? Pile turret? You can. It takes a one slaughter. The, but what would I put there? The only one slaughters that we get is regular machine gun turret, pyro turrets, and cryo turrets. So there's, there's like no point in using these triangle things. Unless I want to put down multiple or some sort. Isn't there like bigger triangles? Let me double check. Can't wait to see the Hellfire turn in action. I want to use it, but I need more turrets, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking stalled on turrets right now. We're stalled because of nanoprocessors. So I have to keep going into the base map and keep looting around for processors. Impossible. But I guess we just have one for now and then just have the rest of the base kind of just like, you know, cleared out. I'm going to be spending a lot of time here, by the way, just making my base. I thought you could... Oh, wait a minute. Was I able to place it there earlier? No, you can't. Oh, this is because it's not placing on top. Is there a way to move up by one? No, okay. I'll try to use arrow key. Hanging MG turrets under them? I see. I wouldn't really... That, that's really bullet inefficient, though, so I probably wouldn't really use it. I just want to make the uh my, my base look pretty. But I guess you typically can't. Okay, you can't really overlap that either. Mm. Trying to see if I want to put like uh 10 millimeters right here too. Just take it out. This one little s sad spot. Unlucky. One really Oh my god, wait a minute. Did I see that correctly? You can double stack them. Holy shit. Uh, does that turret get in the way? <laughs> you can just super stack these guys. That's insane. Uh, maybe I can put a smart motor right here because it only has to shoot up. All right. Unless it shoots my hellfire turret on accident. How far can I move this up? Is it still reload? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I think we're just going to put it in the middle. turns beautiful it's beautiful my baby grows looks stupid as fuck no ish I need more barriers. I think barriers take basic materials. So beautiful right now. I'm liking this base design a lot. Mm. It's backward, isn't it? Game still needs like some kind of copy pasta button, nope. To copy paste like the same uh same the same design. 
On a normal machine gun bad? Well, they're good for early game. They're great for shredding out smaller targets, but they're like, they, they lose effectiveness. It, it, you want to think of in terms of bullet effectiveness, in terms of damage, and the Swiss turret kind of just kills everything. So, in my opinion, yes, once you get to the late game stage. Once you have so much core power, you... I mean, I guess you could just have a, a base with uh, with all these machine gun turret. <laughs> it, it works because you just do so much damage with your core uh, output, right? But in my opinion, I haven't really tested them yet. They also lack range. Swiss turrets, Viper cannon turrets, or twin uh, barrel light turrets uh, have 10,000 range. While the MG turrets does not, I believe. I'm going to have to place one down, actually. I'm going to have to check now. Uh, you got me curious. I'm out of resources. Where are we out of? Oh, these barrel takes polymers. Well, that was good. there goes all my polymers. Rip. What well, fuck? I actually needed a, a bunch of those. Well, shitty shit make shit. That ain't good. I was wondering what polymers were used for, but now we found the answer to that question. Alright. Let's put down one M uh, MG turret. It has a range of 5,000, so half range. In this game, range is everything. What's up, Zenitos? How's it going, dude? Uh, from YouTube. Where is it? He said he pointed out that one of the barriers is flipped inside out. And now I gotta look for it because it's so. Uh, do, do, there it is. Thanks. Good eye. Wait a minute. <laughs> This side's also flipped inside out. It's about the aesthetics. And I missed out on one barrier. Nope. Oh, I already placed one there. Nice. Alright, so there it is. Now we gotta make our next floor. MG's 5k, okay. Get some from the shop. True. Vipers are only 8k in range. Vipers are 10k. I'm pretty sure they're 10k. I don't know why I place one down when I have fucking, um, when I have the, uh, config mode here, or uh, my return here. Yeah, they have 10k. They go up to 10k. Or is it because of my core output? I wonder if that changes the range. I don't think it should. No, I shouldn't. Alright, battery, battery. I got more batteries placed down. How many batteries we got? Two? Should have only a two. Two batteries, please. Where are you? Two material storage, actually. Two material storage goes down first. Oh my god, really? Where the fuck is it? There it is. Yo. Next is battery. I don't I don't understand why they can't just group like Oh no, they they were next to each other. I'm just stupid. Okay, no. <laughs> I dumb. Dumb and sedge. Look at that. Oh, man. 6,300 power capacity. 13,000 material storage. That's because we don't have any of the big guns out yet. So we're not really taking a lot of material storage just yet. Um, oh, crap. How do I fit in multiple guns here? This is going to be rough. I think just having the ammo sorters here is fine enough. But... Yeah, how do, how do I fit in the turrets, though? That's the that's the problem. Turrets gonna have to be on the next floor, first of all. A little two walls here. Two walls here. Unless we can put the wall here. Okay, we can. Well... I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too particularly sure just yet. Give me a second. Still got a design. Uh, we have one auto loader that we can slap back here, just randomly for now. Uh, that's for the other uh, auto cannon. I think we're just gonna put it right about here, just so they kind of stay in the same exact spot. Yep. And the uh, ammo production looks like the belt's got. Well, this tower's not gonna be here. It's gonna be on the next floor. 
I don't still appear in design mode, man. It's, it, this is kind of insane. Um, I also don't know exactly where I'm going to put out the uh, ammo production just yet. Because I do want some turrets at the very top, but it's just that ammo production for those is just going to be a little bit rough. I don't want ammo production to be on the next floor. Unless I want it to be, to be behind the cannon. I'm still designing, so we're, we're still, we, we, we got to understand exactly where we need to place our uh, buildings, right? What the fuck is that sound? What what is making that clicking sound? <laughs> Does anybody notice that something is making a clickety clack sound? Yeah, I'm wondering if I want it like so. These walls that I'm placing here, they can also be utility walls that pumps out like uh, the ammo. So that's what I could do here for this factory too. Wait, that's smart. Oh my god, I think I just got a eureka moment. Hell yeah, Rice Labs, we we got fucking unique your eureka moment. Ice Marge! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, let's go ahead and finish this first. Let's try to break out so you hear that sound. You hear that clicking sound too, right? It's just not me. I'm not going insane, am I? I'm absolutely not going bashing insane here. It's a conveyor belt. I haven't placed any down yet. You know, it has a nice beat to it. A little bit of a nice beat to it, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it's the music. <laughs> it does, yeah, probably. Any more viper turrets? You got any vipers? You got any more vipers? Okay, we don't really need this many vipers, to be fair. Um, let's see here. How do we want to fuck? Do I really want to put my ammo production here? Because I want ammo to also go up from the top and go towards the side, too. But wait a minute. No, you would want to rotate the ammo around, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Fuck. You do want to rotate the ammo around ish. Or we can just put it on the top floor. I just don't know exactly where we want to put it. But I, I think we can put the ammo production here. So we kind of want utility walls down. It just makes a lot of sense. I think we're just going to maybe have like two different ammo production uh, stage. Of course, we're gonna need like armored walls sitting on this outskirt just in case they do take some damage. We don't want the walls to collapse. Something like this, for example. And I still need hangar bays for cataphracts. I forgot about the cataphract stuff. This base is going to be so beautiful. I'm really liking the looks of it so far. Um, shit. I think we should put armored walls here. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Well, because we, we need some kind of support, right? So maybe armored walls here. I was going to put two more turrets on the side just for maximized DPS. But I don't know if I should put Swiss turret. No, nah, I don't think we need as that many Swiss turrets. So let's going to put some more barrel cannons. Can I push it back by one? It can't be attached to that one generic wall. That's a utility wall, idiot. So I can't put covers up here. Unlucky. Yeah, you can't even put the ramp wall here. What the fuck? Yeah, you can. What the hell? I, I guess you just can't put it in the center. Interesting. <laughs> mortar turrets just facing downward. Oh, we could put some mortar turrets on this side. 
No, we can't because it's gonna shoot up and then I need to put border trace on the top. So we can do something like this, for example. I think that's better. Yeah. Looks good too. Fun moss fact of the day. Fuck you. Moss are very resilient and grow in really Hiya. adverse conditions. Meaning that moss has a thicker skin than tactical fried rice. <laughs> who can't even finish hardcore Paul world in one attempt. Praise Gamos. But I finished it regardless. On the one of the hardest difficulties. So fuck you, first of all. Fuck you, second of all. And fuck you, third of all. Just fuck you. Bastard. Oh, I claim the title of being one of the very few that was able to do it. What's up, PG Break? What's up, Doc? Uh, week, how's it going, dude? Still into this game? Uh, as you can see here, yes, I have not been able to sleep well because I keep playing this game. I've been playing with some other people too, so... Off stream. So there it was. It's just an extremely addicting game. I can't stop being addicted to this game, I'm sorry. It's just never gonna happen. Um, uh, later, we want more utility walls to kind of, like, fill up these slots here, too. But, for now, I can probably just ignore it. That's where the conveyor belt's gonna be in. Alright. Damn, this base design's actually pretty fun. The, what are the smartest I've ever done? I smarged. For once, guys, I'm smarged. Daughters. We have a lot of free space in here. That could be my main, like, uh, production compo uh, area. Try to figure out where I want to put the door. Do we just want to kind of just knock this out? Maybe, maybe I should just put windows on the inside so people can actually see what the fuck they're looking at. Not too particularly sure just yet. Dreadnought Online. You guys ever feel like I always say the same exact word over and over again? Like, yet? I keep, I keep doing it, and I, I'm, I'm starting to be self-aware. The Viper's from the Vanguard edition? I thought the Van, I thought the Viper was the same as the, the wait, is the Viper the single cannon? The light cannon? Maybe we're thinking of the light cannon. Oh, yeah, okay, so okay, so the Viper is the skin of the light cannon. Got it. Alright. Sorry about that. I've uh, I, I thought it was part of the twin barrel this entire time, so my fault. My apologies. I blame chat for everything still. Not my fault, obviously. Oh the lag. Oh god. Oh, uh, uh, uh. All right, so we only have enough generic structures, but we don't have enough utility walls. I was going to fill a large bore of these bays, specifically with, like, um... What's that thing of a bomb called? I forgot. <laughs> what was I already going to say? Sorry. I forgot again. Oh, me and my short-sightedness in memory. It's bad. Oh, God, the lag. <laughs> my frames just dropped because numbers. Numbers go up. <laughs> yeah, where do we want to put our hangar bay? I need a hangar bay. Viper is twin barrel. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah, I thought it was twin barrel this entire time. Apparently not. Missing out one more auto loader. Highly unfortunate. So this is where our auto ammo is gonna be, but given the fact that I might chest out this dreadnought. Um on a particular run just to see how it goes. 
Probably gonna just put down some ammo maker just before I forget. It's gonna suck trying to reload all these ammo makers manually at the beginning because you still gotta load it manually too. So we need four more back here somewhere. Um, covered walls, just in case. Don't know why we need armor walls in the back, but at least on the side's fine. It's so laggy that it can't even fucking, like, pan as fast. How many armor walls do we have left? Seven? Oh, uh, yeah. So little armored walls. So poor. I'm so poor. I'm poor. Feels good, man. Now generic panels in the back. Of course. I mean, I can put two hangers here and then two hangers above. It's just there's gonna be in the back for anybody that wants to like, oh wait, no, I can't. Ah, oh, shit. It's, it's too big. I can only put one hanger here. I can't even put it in. Unlucky. Well, technically speaking, I can't put two hangers if I like have an actual utility tile. It's kind of like just l l treat it like a hanger bay in the back line. Ugh, it looks so ugly. <laughs> it looks so ugly. <laughs> Can I make one more armor tile? What does the amp rack do? Uh, then it's ass. Uh, the amp rack basically increases damage for all your turrets. So basically, you want to amp rack your best turrets in the game. Basically, the Hellfire and your cruiser cannon. It's mostly a different best region. Otherwise, the Viper is more ammo efficient than twins. Yeah, it, it probably would be. But but the twins is just more, uh, I don't know, man. They it, 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 it just sound more badass. <laughs> how much ammo does the uh, the other one take? Like 20? And the Viper takes 40 per shot? Is that is that how it works? I don't really you know. Uh, ad break is coming up soon. We already spent an hour on this bad boy. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. I don't know why I decided to put armor uh, ramps on the back, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Alright, so my two cataphracts, my two night hangers, my vanguard hangers, uh, can be back here. Look how beautiful it looks. Look how beautiful it looks, man. Look how beautiful it looks. There it is. Doesn't really have a lot of protection, however. Funny how I can just put barriers on the side. Unless I want, can I put full walls down? I don't think you can. Armored walls even? Nope, you can't. All right, just making sure. The barriers is absolutely a okay. Why do I have this feeling that people are just gonna get really lost in my base? <laughs> They're gonna jump off, realize that they fell off. <laughs> can you even access the hangar from behind, or can you? I guess we can do it on this next floor over here, the lobby area. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm gonna close this off because these stairs are there just to uh, bring power to the next floor. Mushy, mushy. Yo, Rye, appreciate the follow. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome on in. Mushy, mushy, mushy. I love base building. I don't know why, but this game just makes base building feel absolutely amazing. It's awesome that we have a game like this, man. It, it just makes it so entertaining. All right, so the conveyor belt's gonna go through here.
We do have ad break. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick three minute break. I need to use the restroom and whatnot. Well, I'm addicted to this game. Oh, dude, same. It's way too. It's it, the, the replay about the replayability value. The game is grindy, but they made grinding fun. Homing electro missile, sir. The NPC has just one life. I cleared the whole wave on my own by just spamming Z. You could have homing electro missiles? How? Wait, how do you get those? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That sounds so awesome. I'll be right back. That's a great way to me. There you go. Come back. Water dribbles out. Welcome back. Take not the main character? What, what do you mean? So you don't take the main character to spam Z. Oh, is it, is it, what, which character are you using? Are you using like the, uh, the missile guy? Talked about my game crash after beating the recovery day on city. Then I did it again, so my artillery is already powerful enough to destroy bosses without the cruiser. Wow. Okay. How much core power are you, uh, stacked up, Pandorian? Insane! Insane DPS. Absolutely diabolical. The one with the shoulder missile? Uh, fuck. This is Hair Squad. Owl Squad. Tiger Squad. Tigers. You're, you're, you're a tiger. Yeah, good old Tiger Squad. Faze the main character, yes. He never dies. Man's always swinging. He's a swinger. All right, and then we have small tiles coming out, so we can actually just get them attached to the hangar bay. <laughs> wow, Z's. Delicious. All right, so that should be able to reach the hangar bay. If you fall down, that's your own fault. Oh, need more. I have enough resources. It shouldn't, it shouldn't really cost you much, like, basic resource, unless it costs polymers. Then polymers is going to be a whole different story. Two, three, four, five. Let's go with five for now. No power! Can fix. I'm 
got a generic wallet? Am I seeing that right? We out here of generic wallsies? <gasps> I can only make six more. We're broke. I just made something else. Why the, why the fuck did you just swap over to the right a little bit? I, I just made something else that, that I shouldn't have, probably. Right, we should leave that opening just because of conveyor belts. Uh, just one more. I think we need one more repeater. And we'll be able to get the last uh, thing of a up that we wanted. Alright, then I guess... Do I want to put the assembler back here? I feel like we should put the assembler... It's so confusing to get in here. I think we should put the assembler next to the core. Oh, I'm almost out of basic utility tiles. This is, this is truly our darkest hour. The fact that I've been using so much resource without even realizing. We're about to hit 4,000 core power, too. We're getting close. Getting, getting real close. And I'm out. Well, utility tiles takes basic resources, so we should be able to make more. I mean, 200 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, I, I hope I can get more of my friends to play this game. It's really hard to try to get more people to play, like, these type of games just because it's really grindy. <sighs> I'll probably play with, like, Beard for Jack who's inside to play, or Shadeless, even. Why haven't I invited him out yet? I don't know if this would be the type of game, though. I already know Beardful doesn't like these type of games, so maybe not. Ain't this a beauty? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so I can already put two auto cannons up here. Sorry, cruiser cannons. Don't know if I should put it up another floor. I feel like I should. Thousand three hundred core power, seven artillery in ruin five. What ruin are you? Uh, which ruin are you doing? Seven artillery, three to uh, one hundred five and four pre-war. You were able to just murder the boss with those alone. Damn. I wonder how much damage you do. That's why I kind of want to look at stats. I want to look at big boy's test. So we're not going to put the, uh, art I feel like the artillery cannon should be at the very top, but I wanted to put at least one more floor above this hellfire cannon and then put the, uh, artillery on the side over here instead. That's going to be rough as hell to try to put up there because it's, it's going to look really ugly too. So I don't even know if it's going to work. That was only ruined too. Oh Lord. Okay. Um, wow. That's a lot of damage even for ruined too. So 1,300. Uh, I'll try to keep that number in mind. That, that's, I'm thinking in terms of efficiency here for like players that want to like take a look at number stats and all that stuff. Wasn't able to do Krius with that base. Well, they they will shoot the Krius. Is it a little bit overboard? Yeah, I only have five right now. We're about to get Hellfire turrets. So apparently Hellfire turrets is like 10 fucking Krius. Sorry, uh, Swiss. Swiss. All right, now I'm trying to design this next floor. My my my, my base is growing. Obviously, it looks like a pyramid scheme, like you know, a uh, national pyramid scheme. <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Mm. We can make 30 of these uh, light turrets because we don't have enough turret base. But I can make more turret base, I think. Oh God. Okay, never mind. Don't make more turret base. Maybe we should pick up some more turret base along the way. Wait, can I not make more of these? Oh, we're limited by nano chips. Shit, nano machine, son. Shit. I'll just make more Swiss instead. Burgeon out of resources. None throughout. 
Also, mortars. I don't know if I should utilize mortars. We can put four more. No, this because I'm gonna put the cap. Yeah, I, I, I might actually just opt out of mortars. I don't think they're that effective. This is rough. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put like buildings down. Oh, they need to be connected to the floor. Ah, oh, yikes. All right, so these turrets might just be. Uh, sorry, these walls are just useless here. The auto reloader is kind of in the way, so I can't really put a tower down, tile down. So I feel like um, it's gonna take at least two walls high to kind of cover this tower. I'm, I'm trying to build uh, build up a base design. So give me a second. This side is fine, though. I think. Maybe not. Oh, yep. No, maybe not. It's because this fucking thing's in the way. <laughs> well, shit! Not so Gucci. That fucks up a lot of my designs. Design plans. It is what it is. I forgot. I can only place it too tall high, and you need power to actually even, like, get through. So, yeah, without power, you're not going to do much. I wonder if I can put another, uh, not pyro, but another, I guess, 30 millimeter. I mean, it gets reloaded by the middle piece. This middle piece is already reloading seven different turrets. Uh, yeah, we can probably put another one there. So I just slap down more ramps in, I guess. Unless I want to move. No, you, you can't really put walls here either. Damn. Pillars? No, pillars don't need. No, yeah, pill, pillars, pillars would not work either. Wait, maybe, actually. I haven't really thought about pillars. Pillars would make it look cool. Oh, wait, why is that not powered? What the hell? Oh, I put it on top of the wall. If we're gonna use pillars, we're gonna use it for buffering our, our units. While your base here belongs to us. Hello, Gatherath. Hello, Master. Hello, STT Wazak. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I've always just started playing and going through single player stuff. I notice operatives have different traits they do. You re roll for different traits. Also, one thing I want to point out about operatives and traits is that the more traits they have, the higher the quality of those traits, of the, uh, the, the main traits. I've noticed that on one of my uh, operative. I have like eight traits on him. He's just beefed up in like so many different uh, branches of traits. I've noticed. Uh, so yeah, you want to, th there's a lot of re-rolling in this game for uh, operatives that you want. Get access to these traits. If so, how does one do so? What, what are you talking about? Yeah, you gotta play those operatives. Uh, you'll get to the point that you're able to select different operatives later, Gatorath. So you'll be able to see go to squad management in your main base screen. Just press M in the main base area. And then uh, it'll bring you up to the top right. It should say squad management. And that allows you to manage each squad. And then you have to physically pick them it, when you launch a game. When you go into the, when you talk to the AI or to, when, when you launch a tour, uh, they'll tell you to choose your operative. And it'll give you a button to choose a different operative. He's way better than you. Oh, your base belongs to us. Also, what the heck is with the 4X Mountain Death Spinning Monstrosity that looks evil? Well, I'm about to commit war crime, so yeah, we have to always make something that commits war crime, which is that thing right there. It's called a Hellfire Turret. It's an endgame turret. I can't wait to see it in action! Poggies? <laughs> P -p Poggies? Any action ears? Gonna make a score pillar here. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put like um, which I'm gonna call those. My 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 other two hangers. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta design the other two hangers too. Right now I can only fit in two hangers to this base because I'm using most of it for turrets. Come on, we're about to reach 4,000 generic power. Let's go. Let's do it.
think my base is a monstrosity alone. It's just it's just squares. I've seen some interesting base designs uh, on Reddit. Very interesting base designs. All right, if I put turrets on this side, that auto loader should be able to auto load them. Yep, they can. All right, good. Nice. I just need more viper turrets. So I, I, I definitely have a really decent design here, so far. What is the new blood for the blood god ham doer? Dude, she bit me earlier today. She fucking went ham at it too. I think I don't know what she was angry about, but she was just angry. I think she's angry at me. She's like, "What the fuck is this shit?" It wants to do it in my house. So it bit me. The bastard. Uh, can I put armor walls here? I think I can. We need to put armor walls here. She's, she's taking a little nappy wappy right now, of course. I'm not going to wake her up. Let the ham take her little nappy wappies. Otherwise, she's always going to be angry at me. You can't have her angry. I have no idea... Oh, we can get there. We go, and then yes, whatever is here can be reloaded by this auto reloader. Nice. Yo, our base is fucking cooking. The reason why I decided to put ramps here is primarily because if I put a barrier in the front, then um, I don't think this advanced auto loader will be able to load it. Actually, give me a second. Let me check that. Let's take a little looky look. Two double barrier. I don't have any more Viper turrets, so we have to replace. It can be reloaded? What? It can be not be reloaded. Sorry, the barrier is now in the way. Actually, why is that barrier red? Now it can be reloaded because the barrier is out of the way. So, no. Okay, so the barrier does block. It feels bad, man. It is what it is. We'll just put another ramp down then. Where's the kitchen? Uh, It's actually right in this room right here. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put This is where we let it cook. Not the ammo, but the ammo cookie is outside on this side over here instead. <laughs> this is where our ammo production is going to be. We're going to have these walls also, you know, face inward so you can also pump out some more ammo whenever I get the chance. And the belt's just going to go one direction. So, yeah, it, it, this, this base is already looking pretty fucking nice. My only issue is I'm kind of scared with... Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm not really that scared. Okay, there's, there's some interesting base designs that I can always remake in the inner levels, but I can always deal with that later. Especially once we start letting belts uh, come in. But right now, we make our base look good. Good. We let it cook. I mean, if you haven't noticed yet, it already looks good. <laughs> Be water, my friend. Thank you. Where the fuck did I place that? Are you joking? Sometimes it just doesn't snap. I also have no frames looking at this base, so <laughs> the bigger my base gets, the laggier it fucking gets. What a deal! Wait, you already fucking caught up on Hellfire turns? What the shit? You know how long it took me to make this? Oh, it's probably because I used some of the nanoprocessor for other shit. What did I even use it for? What else uses nanoprocessors? Oh, the cruiser cannon. I, I rushed the cruiser cannon first, that's why. Wait, no, that's not it. How the hell did you already caught up? Am I just that unlucky? This takes nanoprocessor. The autoloader? No, it's not the auto loader. What? You already caught up? Do you know how long it took me to fucking get my first heller? Loaders? Auto loaders? 
Oh, ammo crafters. Ammo crafters, not loaders, ammo crafters. Bastard. It took me forever to find uh nano processors. This guy's already pumped one out. You lucky son of a bitch. You don't have a single auto ammo crafter? Well, I only have two, but you still caught up, but I only have two. I mean, that's two nano processors I could have made, but still. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Kinda weird how you put a fucking wall there, but okay. And is that this base actually looks like a full fledged base so far? It's looking pretty good. Did I just flip the wrong way? It better not have been. So, need so many fucking metal slags just we make our armored walls too. You want to share some of that luck? <laughs> you already caught up to me the amount of health our kid is, but you, you should still share some of that luck. You know what I'm saying? I consider you lucky. So now you have to share me luck. It's only fair. Right, I think we can put two more cataphract hanger over here. So what I do is... Is it modular? I should make at least one more night hanger just to have. Put it on this uh, back side over here. It looks good. It looks really good. And then my last two turrets are going to be uh, back here somewhere above. Of course. I think we could... Oh, no, we can't. That's going to be rough. I can't because the, the power system is so fucking stupid in this game. I forgot. I can't have everything, guys. Oh no. I can't have everything. Oh no. It's because it's kind of. I can't put walls here. I mean, technically speaking, I can, but like, I can't power it. I mean, that's what I used to do, Zero Zingo. It's just that I just loot everything that I really want to eat. I'm also looting, like, end game items, too, because I'm looking for, like, uh, metal slag, solvents. The, the 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 those would never always guarantee to show up every time. I make one more night just in case. Do I not have enough for a night singer? Oh god, I don't have enough for no. Oh, okay. Well, we're out of capacitors and we're out of scrap metal, which we can buy real quick. Uh, before we stop here, okay, we're gonna have to delete these for now because there's no power. I need to design the first, the next floor first. The dreadnought is almost finished. We're just missing turrets. So I need capacitors and I need scrap metals and basic materials. I need all I need them all. I feel like there should always also be like something else that allows us to buy stuff faster because it's kinda it's it's it gets a little bit tedious see having to press so many fucking buttons to buy something so mean to steal. Just saying. I refresh the shop lot, I just buy, 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 buy polymers, for example. There, there just has to be some kind of, like, better quality of life uh, thing in the marketplace. You make so much money after all. I don't even know where my mouse is. This game's too bright! Dang, dude. Low graphics sucks. How do you not have a gamma for this goddamn game? <laughs> God, there calls for aid! We must muster the Rohirrim! The beacon's alive! Oh, 
A pillar. Why does the cruise mechanic eat three shells per shot, but double already silly only eat one shell? Because game's weird. <gasps> the ham's here! Cuff, are you there? This marketplace is as basic as Fluffy's two left brain cells. Ha 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 ha
Thank you, good chaps. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Where do we want to put the stairs? I think we can just hide the stairs in here, because I'm not going to do anything in there. Uh, I can't even put the stairs in here, because Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, we need the stairs to go up anyway, so I guess we can put the stairs in the middle to make them go up. Even before we lose power to the uh, top lo uh, area. That would suck. Thank you, Rice Lads. Good to know. I'll try to memorize that forever. Five ever. Maybe never. <laughs> Alright, well, um, where do I put the scatterfrack? Here? I don't know if I want to put it here. Maybe I don't need Hellfire Cannons in the back, but I do want Hellfire Cannon in the back. <laughs> That's the point of having Hellfire Cannon. What's the point of not having help? So these guys can just shoot to the right, too. It just helps. You got two hangers for Rangers. It's not good enough. Oh, I can make this look so cool. Like an actual hanger. You you can't you can't you can't uh climb into the hanger from the back, right guys? Right 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 slots. Oh there it is. Oh look at it! Oh man, it looks so good! Yeah! Oh, yeah, baby. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let it cook. Let it cook. Let it fucking cook. Oh, really? That thing's in the way? Are you serious? <laughs> it's, it's me. Oh, man. Okay, whatever. Uh, the, 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 no, one ever, no one would ever pay attention to the back spot, alright? Alright. Uh, am I on generic walls again? But that was quick. Vistot solids can't be uh, regen by auto loaders? No, because you're using resources automatically by crafting the missile inside the thing, my bob. And you have to wait for a long cooldown. You don't need. Wait, are you talking about the nuclear launcher? Unless you're talking about missile production for uh the the the, the artillery. You have to use a fabricator for that. I don't know why, but I feel like this game is going to start crashing soon. Just because of the turrets I have right now. <laughs> oh god. Alright, um... Ramps. It's still looking pretty good and stable. At least there's like no stability, otherwise I would fail the test like a while ago. Oh yeah, I can put generators in the back. Forgot about that. Alright, slippity slap that generator ram. Thank you, can Three generators. We made it to 4,000 core power, guys! Woo! Woo! Let's go! So exciting! Oh. Wait, do I want the uh, power extractor to be in the first floor? We, we should, right? Like right here, for example. Let's delete those engines real quick. Utility walls. Uh, the converters. The power converters and uh, material converters. We can probably put it over here instead. That, that should be structural, should it not? Support? The fuck would it go? There it is. Material converters. Oh, I'm an idiot. I still need utility tiles. Utility walls. I don't know why, but I thought it was like a full-fledged wall. 
Got a material converter, power converter, just in case. There you go. I'll probably barely, uh, I'll probably never use it ever. <laughs> uh, I forgot about the advanced drones. I, uh, I wonder if the advanced drones can just fly through the thing. Do, do I have to bring it up, put them at the top? Makes me wonder sometimes. Holy shit, this base is looking pretty fucking nice. Carter drone. One here, one here. Base build 2027. One here, one here. Fight with giant mechs. Enjoy poly hunting to lock pieces into place. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Eat toast with butter. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fab. Wait, what? Eat toast with butter? I love butter. Assembler? I hardly even knew what. Oh, you can put the assembler over here. God, it looks so fucking compact. I don't know if it needs to be this compact. But the ammo production has to be like next to the assembler. I wonder if putting this here would cause issues. If it does, good. Chaos. We love chaos. It's a chaos loving stream. Blood for the blood gods. Skull for the skull throne. Corn for cornflakes. Yo, I follow real life. I assume. Ah, uh, yeah, it's real life because you have to go make food. Hi, uh, peasant. Speaking of food, I need to take a couple bites out of my uh, food bowl here. Uh, once the next ad break comes in, get hungry. I had it fail multiple times. Well, shit. Okay, fine. You know what? You, I know exactly where to put the drones. So I'm just gonna put it in the front line. <laughs> yeah, the drones are gonna be over here then. First to fall. Oh, whoops! Did I did that? Oh, did I put it on the wrong side? Oh, my bad, guys. Oh, it sucks to suck. Yeah, we'll put four drones there then. Unlucky. Oh, uh, that means I guess we can put the assemblers on the side over here. I should probably make more assemblers. How many assemblers can I make left? Probably like one more uh, assemblers. Is there advanced assemblers too? Assembler, 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 assemble, assemble these. Guardian fabricator. That's not what I was looking for. There it is. Two assemblers coming right up. Oh, it takes a lot of polymers. I should make four. I ran out of scrap metal again. Let's go with. Nope, no, 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 make two. Now, if only I can find my assembler, that'd be great. Should be modular. What's this? Oh, there it is. I keep thinking it was gold color. I, I think I'm just brain dead right now at this point. I love this game. I love this game. Game too fun. Game too fun. Uh. All right, here's the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I want to put in here just yet, but I'm just gonna leave this as a free fall, I guess. But here's the kitchen, sure. Ish. Oh, this thing's so tall already. I hope I can fit the cataphract on the next floor. I really don't know exactly where I want to put the next set of cataphracts. I think we can place it anywhere. Did I put a Swiss turret with those roofs in the way? Give me a second here. You can't. It's too tall. Well, that's fine. I was going to put the Swiss turret on the bottom floor, uh, floor of the year. There we go. Yeah, that's just to help guard the sidelines, I guess. And on this side of two, I uh, believe. Get more Swiss turrets. 
It's not sea whiz, but it was Swiss. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, no, this was in the middle. Uh, don't have no turn slots up here. Those are gonna be for viper turrets again. Not vipers, goddamn. Twin, twin, uh, twin, twin, tur twin barrel turrets. Also, I think my game is gonna start lying hard. <laughs> Some heathens eat toast with jam with other fruity things. Fuck those people. How dare they? How dare they eat fruit with jam? What is wrong with those people? Why is it still flashing red? Lack support. There is plenty of support. Hell, you can get a little bit of emotional support. I think the game is just like. The hell? It's still lacking support? What? Is it because we're too high up? Wait, don't tell me it's because we're too high up. Oh. I think it's because we're too high up. So you're telling me this could get really fucking heavy. Holy shit. I did not expect that to happen. I can't build support there anymore. Walls. We're too high up. Not enough downward support? Well, what's on the bottom floor? Oh, ammo production. It has plenty of support on the bottom, bottom floor. Put my cannon! I guess we'll just use two cruiser cannons. Fine! Wall? I have plenty. Of, I have walls here. But apparently they don't count. Yeah, I have walls inside. Do I need to put internal walls? I'm about to put internal walls. Are you kidding me? There we go. Really? Oh. I think I know why. What? No, there's utility tiles here. It, it, what's hilarious is I can't fucking look at it. Um, I also like the fact that I can't select the... Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? My game broke. The game broke. I can't select these tiles anymore. No, never mind. I, now I can. That's weird. I'll, I was selecting through them for whatever reason. Okay, let's try to fix this issue. Give me a second. So what if I put, like, another wall here? Will that fix most of the issue? No. Uh... That didn't fix anything at all. Wait, what? Is that a bug? It has to be a bug. No, oh, no shot. That has to be a bug. Yeah? Oh, fuck. Wait. What? Now I can? I think it was a bug. No, it wasn't a bug. Was this flashing earlier or was I just too confused? How's the game? The game is absolutely phenomenal. Think of this game as an extraction looter shooter based defense with towers. The more straight down support you need. So uh, see if there's walls on the first floor. Uh, oh yeah, there, there, there definitely is walls on the first floor. It's because they filled the entire first floor with walls. You look at the bottom of the base, it contains all my power supplies and whatnot. Power supply, engine room. Oh. Don't tell me it's because of this spot right here. 
It's probably this spot, isn't it? All right, well, shit, then. Whoa, there's a random wall there. Where did that come from? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we can fill these up with utility slots later. Not too uh, particularly worried. Don't know why I'm able to select walls above it. No in X-ray mode. Weird. It could be. It could be this here. Oh damn. You know what this tells me? If you lose one of the bottom piece, one of the walls in the bottom piece, I think my base just might collapse. All they gotta do is shoot a bunch of missiles or that big ass giant later to be from Kronos Omega, and bam, base is dead. Probably. Still need to figure out exactly how to fit in like two more cataphract hangers. Because I don't know exactly how to do that just yet. Uh, I wonder if that fixed it. I mean, obviously, we don't have walls over here, too. It's part of the design to not have walls here. Maybe that fixed it. It did. Okay, so this game's structure integrity system is actually much more fleshed out than I thought it would be. That caught me off guard completely. Holy fucking moly. That's amazing. I'm not even fucking mad. That's where our medical station's gonna be. That's awesome. Can't wait to have this game crash because of my base. I'm running on 40 frames, and that's without conveyor belts. Too real. <laughs> All right, so now where do we want to put this? You want to put it back a little? Like right here, ish? Yeah, probably put it back a little. I'd rather just put it here instead. Wow. That's just absolutely insane to look at. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I can fit in two more cataphracts, dude. Uh, I don't think that's possible. Or is it? I don't know, because I need at least two space work for this uh, cruiser cannon. It's just that I sacrificed two hellfire cannon in the back for two cata more cataphracts, or we just deal with two cataphracts. Or, I can have this spot right here open up and have cataphracts on the bottom. That could also work too. Yeah, there's a lot of space over here. We just kind of wall it off. Uh, yeah. This side still needs power, so I'm gonna have to put like a wall here. That's fine though. Minor inconvenience. Wait, it might need to be bigger than this. It's not gonna cause any collapse, right? It doesn't look like it so far. Oh fuck, I need to go back one more tile. Okay, it still looks good, it still looks good! <laughs> uh, cataphract hanger... Oh, dude. Where is it? Uh, support, modular, modular, I think. Night hanger here? Is it really three tall? Are you joking?! Oh. Man, am I bad at math? It's so tall! You're kidding me! No! It's 
Not like this! I can't fit it in! Well, fuck! Maybe I should get rid of one of these Swiss turrets on the side. Yeah, I can fit it in here if I put it here, for example. God damn it! No! Not my oh, man. Alright, I'll, I'll deal with that later. It's just I need to measure out exactly where I can put this next turret. Oh, sweet baby, all oh, Jesus. This is gonna be fun. Can't wait to see this big bad boy in action. We have almost made it to 5,000. Well, okay, we're not even close to 5,000, but we can get to 5,000. We're not gonna put any turrets up here because it's kind of uh, I have no ammo loader for them unless I want to put turrets. Oh, yeah, I forgot about missile silos. Ah, oh, shit. Then again, I think I just want nuclear missiles. I don't think we really need missile silos. Or do we? It takes a lot of resources for very little effectiveness. I don't know. I don't particularly think it's worth it. Oh, I thought we got some stability issue. I've been really uh, scared. Okay, so we can fit in the last two turrets up here. I hope to God the frontal turret doesn't get in the way. Hello! Good morning! Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Jack, you son of a bitch. Actually, I know exactly where to put my missile silo. So there's the last two, uh, the, since artillery is going to be like in the very fair of back, uh, back here, we can slap the missile silos to be on the side. I don't know exactly where I want to put the nuclear missile silos. Where's my missiles? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Assault. Missile silos. All right. One. Of course, it's heavily defended. Two. Three. All right, there it is, good old chaps. There it is. Now, I have no idea why I didn't use it in space. But I guess I can just do something like, oh, I ran out of ramps again. <laughs> what about the cool factor? It's all about the looks, of course. Dev postponed once even for twenty four hours. Well, what do you know? I can. I guess I have more time to sign up. I don't even know how to sign up still. Shit. What are we out of? Scrap metal. Again. I think we only need seven. I think it's fine. Oh, ho, ho. looky, looky. Woo! This place looks good. I'm like, oh, it's such a huge fortress. I've been seeing so many turrets, but it's such a massive ass fortress. I'm gonna have problems trying to like click on my ammo uh, crafter, I guess. Uh, hope that doesn't become too much of an issue. Awesomeness, awesomeness. God damn it! How did you, how did you even glitch through the wall like that? Alright, Dreadnought's on the top of this as well. Just too lazy to do it right now. Uh. Hmm. Probably have to delete some missile launchers later. Same. Thanks. Before my game crashes, just by building this monstrosity. And I have so many turret options. Don't forget that we have a lot of turret options, too. Alright, so where do I want to put the cataphract? I said I might put some cataphract over here, too. Just so everybody gets a cataphract. Also, I don't believe that turret was getting am uh, ammunition. It was. It was. It was getting. It was going to get ammunition over here. Okay, okay. 
son of a Z. Former cataphract. Do I find it? That is. Where in the fuck there is? Ugh, <laughs> oh, finally, alright. I was about to have a fucking panic attack. Done. Oh wait, but now we have breaches. <laughs> oh god damn it, structure. You know what? Fine, have it your way. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... Armor wall? Hello? Oh. I really don't want to use x-ray. I'm too lazy to fucking pop that thing up. Alright! Fixed! There it is, good old Jeffs! We fixed it! I don't think there's any way to get in from the inside. So, oh wells. In front of back over here, is there like an actual path to get it through? I mean, technically speaking, yes, but honestly, you might as well just hop off and just get on top of it, fuck it. Alright, now let's do it for the other side. Number goes up. What a deal. 7,000 material storage left. Alright, well, I guess we'll just slap some more storage, create whatever I- son of a bitch. Well, I've also realized that ad break is also coming up again, because we spent an entire two hours making this monstrosity. <laughs> Oh, man. I still need to slap down some turrets uh, where the hellfires would be, just so we have some coverage. But we la got our last night hanger down. There you guys go. My base is almost done. Just a little bit more Swiss turrets are uh, sitting about. And then we're finally done. Does this get the ammo? I mean, I don't think that needs to be there anymore, because we realized that we, well, um, it does nothing. I wanted the base to be a little bit more compact, where we can actually extend the walls, these walls, up outwards a little bit over the Hellfire turret, and then you just run into a power issue. No, maybe even stability issue. Well, yeah, I wouldn't be able to put any walls down, unless I put the walls to block it off. Then again, this turret over here, I would be able to, but I think we were just going to run into, like, stability issues then. Things all messed up there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Was it? Okay, it's facing weird. Bears are just there to make it look cool. The hell did I put here? Oh, that's where the ammo uh, production is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple more repeaters, and we don't have to worry about that little hole in the wall. Oh no! My turret! Those guys aren't getting ammo anymore! Oh no! Is it because my Swiss is in the way? Son of a bitch! Oh fuck! Okay, I was kind of hoping that would fix it. What about up here? Still not reaching it. Is there a max limit of connection range? I don't think there is, but... Fuck me, dude. It's because I have to push it back, maybe. Here, what if I push it forward? I won. Still not getting power. But I get... Okay, so we can get power back here. All the way back here. Um, can't put it there. That's fine. 
Well, fuck, dude. Okay, so I have to redesign this part, though. And yes, these turrets are wor uh, worthwhile. I want more, damn it. More turrets. Alright, we have ad break again. I gotta use the restroom. Mirror back. Do you fit small generators on the side of the core tower at four per panel? On the side? Uh, I'll think you. I think you're right, Hell Guardian. I think you're absolutely correct. But give me a second. Mirror back. What's Jared? Good boy. Oh, someone already asked, um, already answered the question for the, uh, belts. My apologies. Yeah, belts are, conveyor belts have no use, except just bringing stuff around. Typically ammo. Advanced ammo crafter will pop ammo out from the walls. And it can go anywhere in this, like, so the way ammo work, yeah, let's see, how, how, where, where, where is the ammo crafter? Let me see if I can find a utility wall I can use. All right, there it is. Uh, so this is how it works. You put conveyor belts here, going in one direction, something like that, for example. And then you put the advanced ammo maker and it pops the ammo into the, it can sometimes hit the wall and go down. So if you don't have a wall here, it'll just go past. But it goes into one of these conveyors and then the conveyor will just bring it over menacingly over to these ammo crates advanced auto loader so i wish they expand the range of this auto loader to a three by three it makes a lot more sense to be honest i don't know why it's a two by two but the belts will bring the ammo over the advanced auto loader will grab will hook it automatically that goes through this little orange square and then bam so yeah uh, i have the, the fa automatic ammo factory designed up it's just that we have to get to that point. As in, I need more advanced auto crafter, otherwise it just wouldn't work and we'll get overrun. Uh. Anyways, about that front line, I gotta make sure all of my turrets are connected. This one's not connected because we know the advanced auto loader to the right, which we don't have any of yet. Can you go this far? Yep. How about this side? Yes, you can. How many turrets do you guys think we need? Yes. <laughs> Just yes. I'll put, I'll put three turrets per tower. Put out all of it. 
Uh, two in the back is fine. They're just there to provide uh, covering fire. This back could definitely be redesigned a bit just to make it look better. I love the hangar, man. It just looks so fun. All right, uh, let's put some like uh, 30 millimeters in the back. So it just covers the back of my base just in case something gets through. I just don't want anything just beating the living crap out of something in the back here. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hold the front line this way. Um, yeah, I think that's all. We basically finish our bases on. Done. There it is. I wonder how this would work against Krius. Welcome back with the food, Zero Zingo. What do you got for me today? What are, what are you gonna feed me today with? Oh yeah, somebody just pointed out that we can put engines inside these uh, core on the side. Let's check if that's true. On the side? Oh, you can. You only put one at a time, though. I don't think you put two. Because it takes up a two by two slot, and well, you only have one enough for um. What the fuck? I think I spoke a little bit too soon, guys. Holy moly! 40 core power per? It's not gonna fuck up the top, is it? Alright, it didn't fuck up the top, it didn't fuck up the underneath. Oh, wow! That is massive. Brother from another mother. Pointing out them tips of the day. Pasta with tomato sauce. Did I refuse to listen to what I told you? I've been using that four generator per node. Oh, well, I was thinking about generators, generators. <laughs> hey, do you know how fun and bad my ADHD is? You know, I don't think you understand. You'll never understand. Ugh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, that was probably the thing I just looked at there. Okay. Um, barriers on the top. Me listen to you? Nah, never. Never. Nah, bro, no. <laughs> and I guess we can put like auto loaders for like these uh, capital uh, cannons at the top too. Once you get advanced auto loaders, uh, do I have regular auto loaders? Then we just slap up here. I do not. I do. Hmm. Too bad. Can't really just use one. Well, if I really want to block the stairs, of course I can. <laughs> of course I can. Yo. Then we'll put one auto loader in the back for the other two cannons whenever I get the chance. I think we only really need. Oh, well, then again, we have enough space back here. I think it'll be fine. Um, damn. It's looking pretty good. Alright, I'm too lazy to put like structural barriers up here. Actually, speaking of, um, how many ramps do I have left? I only have one. Damn. It's gonna make something cool. Cool ish. It looks off. For now, it is. All right. Uh, base is looking good. I don't really want to use 30 millimeter lighter, but I guess I can up here. It'll still get auto loaded. I don't think I want it to be auto loaded though. They can focus on anything that gets really close to my base, I guess. But I shouldn't really need to use these guys just yet. It's just that, uh, just fill in the fodder, I guess. Game, please. Looking good, looking good. Alright, shall we bring this bad boy out for a test drive? <laughs> Just, it looks so scuff right now, though. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I'm done. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Ammo's all there. All right, uh, this test drive is going to be massive. I don't know, but I feel like my game's going to crash. 
Dreadnought completed. All right, he got. Oh wait, you know what I forgot to do? Set configurations. Twelve thousand range. Oh lord. All right, it, and it can shoot missiles. He can't. Ammo cost of four. That thing is eating bullets. Hmm. I wonder if I want to use uh, this to shred on small units. I don't think it really matters. They'll probably shred them whenever they get the chance. Uh, missile is going to be low because we have other things that can take care of missiles, like these Swiss turrets, for example. Then my Viper cannons, they're going to ignore the smalls, but they're going to focus large massives. Bring out the range of 10,000 medium. Flamethrowers, max range. Focus on small, medium. Well, small is going to be the highest, I guess. If you can reach these other one, sure, go for it, I, I guess. I, I don't think they're ever going to reach the massive units. All right, you ready to watch my game lag the fuck out? Can't wait. You guys are, you know, they're, you, I, I, I guess the 30 millimeter light turrets are going to be finishers. So they're just going to have default stuff. Um, don't forget about the massive cannon, 150,000 range. Massive units only. Done. Alrighty. There it is, guys. Love how we have a mid range, too. They have a min range? Swiss has min range? That's new. What about the uh, Hellfire? Oh, it has a min range of 500. Okay, so they can't really target anything that's already up to my base. Oh, my siege cannon? Yeah, they're automa it's automatic. I have a 400, it's 300, almost 400,000 value. Did it just auto save? It did say my configuration, right? Why, why did you do that? Okay, thank God. I, I was about to say, like, what the fuck? Huh? Just double checking my character. We're currently leveling up Carrie. She has some phenomenal traits that we're gonna put points in, especially in the power slash. Uh, shot next shot. Design gonna put knockback effect. Move speed is why your speed is increased. Or why not? She's gonna get more levels. I just need to level her up a little bit. So her name's Carrie. Okay, Carrie. Oh, hey, that's a great name. <laughs> why do I go back to elbows? All right, let's go. Let's go do red run, red and repeater run. So we look for like gold, purples, and all that stuff. And I'm probably just gonna ignore all the green blues. Grab every single purple and all that type of stuff. Um, turn mode, turn big. Yep, back to grinding with the dreadnought. Bro, every time it goes into the outpost, you're like, "Fuck, dude, why is why is my computer cr like screaming right now?" What does assault mean? Heading for target area. 59 assault tur turrets. The amount of turrets. 324 modular turrets. 4,000, almost 500 core output. I can't wait to see how much damage this thing is about to do. Hopefully, I grind enough to the point that we can do some infinity stage later today. Bring an extra ammo just so we can actually load it up. Load them up. Load them up. So we have five. How many uh, ammo crafters? We have six. Six auto loaders. So we have to like divide it behind, uh, between six. I don't know exactly how many ammo can canisters I'm bringing in, but this should be decent enough, I guess. All right. And then later down the road, I need to do a gamble stream with Zen. I need better Zen for my guys. Lijong Go! Yo, appreciate the follow, dude. Yeah, welcome on in. Carry. <laughs> I love her name, man. Uh, Z Roots. Outpost Dreadnought. Outpost 11, launch confirmed. Oh, I can't wait. <sighs> can't fucking wait. Ammo crates, they hold for nine, uh, for the space three or four. Well, th the thing is, those are for more for infinity mode. I'm not gonna do it here. Uh, we're gonna do a full run. If we're gonna do a full run, that means we're gonna, like, just go in. So we're, we're gonna try to expand our backpack slots over here, and then we can. Oh, right, hello here. there. How the fuck were you able to join? What the fuck is this? Get out of here. 
What the fuck? I just unjoined, I guess. <laughs> what how? Don't worry, I'll leave. I'll oh, leave. it's private! Wait, how'd you get in? It's private! What the fuck? That scared the shit out of me! I thought I was getting haunted by a ghost! He was not he scared the fuck out of me! He's like, what the hell? Oh, no. Jesus Christ, Zero. Man, you should've came, man. Munching your food. I'm, I'm, you, you just make eating noise. You, you should have said hello. I would have not noticed you. You should have just said, you should have just, just sat there. I would have just went in. <laughs> That's, that, that, you should have made it for me, trust me. I mean, see, if I was trying to do something like this, I would either like munch really loudly, see if someone would notice, or just hide in a corner. Your password was showing? Yeah, but I don't think anybody can join, though. I don't know how to close my room. Somebody has to carry me. I don't have a password showing, but... <laughs> the thing is, it's 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 useless anyways. You can't close your room. if you Especially if you just join off a of friends list. You just hot join through street steam? Yeah, exactly. But you still have to pa type in the password. Maybe I should... Ah, man, I wish I could type in the password. Why is it a pet? Wait. Oh, I gotta turn on streamer mode, I think. That's probably why. Turn on streamer mode, lock the room with a password, and then nobody can join. It's just that, it's just that easy, I guess. But how do we do that? Let me do that real quick, actually. Once we get into the room. I think most of the load time is now the game just trying to load my fucking monstrosity. Streamer mode, turn on. Uh, show chat, hide teammate ID, only show friends lobby. Okay, I don't think this is going to change much because I can just go to lobby setting, password, and it still slowly shows my password. But like, well, what the fuck is the point? What the fuck is the point then? Why do you have a streamer mode that doesn't even work? It's beautiful. Look at it, guys. So beautiful. All right, anywho. I might get really... Oh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> No! Can I make it? Yes, good, good. Mark with stock. Gold, because why the fuck not? Yellow, Xenium, Metal Slab, fuck it. Oh my god, I've got to drop off my ammo again. I always forget about that. I, this is like the thing that I always tend to forget. Alright, so 6 divided by 5. Wait, 7, 7, 6, no, 6. What's 6 divided by 28? 5. It's like almost 5 per. Oh man, I, I missed this double burst boot already. Animal Crate does carry over between stages in the same tour. Oh, it just, just carries over through the entire run. Now that I think about it, I feel like all the ammo that you bring along in the auto loader goes directly into your inventory. Yo, thank you so much for the subscription on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Welcome on in. I would like to pronounce your name, but I can't really read uh, Moon Rune setup, unfortunately. Uh, how would I call you in English? Broken missile. I mean, do I really need more broken missiles? My favorite! Hell yeah! I love being not able to run. I should drop some of this stuff off. Or not. No, if I really want to, like, check out this juggernaut. All I could, all I, all I had to do was just, uh, oh fuck, dude, how would I get up here? Uh, I probably should have put in an entrance where I can come in from the side somewhere. I did not think this base through. I think I'm just not smart. Oh, okay, well, we just have to go through the front then. So <laughs> we're just gonna get so lost in my base. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna get lost in my old base. I don't even really know exactly how I built it. Just shit all over the place. 
Wait, was there a red item up there? What yellow item was that? Oh, it's a key card. Whatever, who cares. Goodbye, drone. Well, that drone is dead. Why the fuck did that do damage to me? Did it just bluge and fucking blew me up with it? Is that what happened? And I'm lagging looking at this for whatever reason. What? Is it because of this day? Oh, hello, he's so bad! It's probably a key card up here. Is that a key card? Interesting. I know I said I was going to do a quick run. I lied. I want to loot. <laughs> My inner loot goblin is tingling. And I must. Your chest. Your chest. I'm trying to look for, like, orange... Or not orange, but at least yellow gear of some sort. Is there anything else in here that's important? Is there no purple? Hopefully not a container. It's not, because it's stuck underneath the fucking jump. Give it the damn you again! Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, brain aneurysm. Happens every two seconds. What is this monstrosity? It's so dark. I need to put sing I need to put light. <laughs> we need to light up our base. <laughs> we have no shadow, but yet the fucking map is so dark as shit. Can I just leave? Or do I have to actually defend the core tower? I can just leave, right? That just automatically goes in, right? Is that how it works? Is the game laggy? Yes, it's fucking laggy. I uh, loaded shells into my all loader. My next tour, not staged the shell. We're, uh, we're still there. No, it doesn't carry between tours. Or, or see, it only carries in the same tour. Re kicked out? No, he left. I wanted to do solo runs. But he could definitely could have made it more interesting. Like making spooky ghost stories. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> But make some kind of noise that was part of the game, right? Just confused me a little bit. You should have done that, Zero. Fucking turn my stream into a hot stream. I gotta call Ghostbuster. Who you gotta call? This motherfucker. This motherfucker, dude. This this guy. He thinks he can just... I, I, to me, you, you think I just don't run around and just look behind me and just see you running around in my fucking run? <laughs> You didn't load the six shells? How come I always have to load? Oh, maybe it's just only for shell. Or is he? Maybe. I don't know. I, I should get a shell and test what you just did, Orixi. Starting hitting a part of the game, just hit zone three. Well, I'm using a 2080 super. My game is fucking dying, so it's screaming for help. Streamer sniper? Yeah. You can see my passwords. I think anybody can fucking join now. I can't even hide my password. Wait, I can't. I can't hide my password. I can fuck out of my game. I'm pretty sure. Who the fuck is this? It doesn't even show his name. This guy's in streamer mode. Okay, well, apparently his name. This, this is. I think this is a random. Zero, is that you? Zero, is that fucking you? I think that's zero. Let me count his numbers. Yeah, that's zero singing. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm banned him. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna change the password real quick. Give me a second. There we go. <laughs> I, I sometimes separate, like, some, like, streams where I do carry runs or play co-op. But typically, if I want to play co-op, I'm going to play with, like, some of the people that I do know uh, that, that also stream, so we make content together. But otherwise, right now, it's closed off uh, for now. But sometimes I'll just play it and do a community run uh, from time to time. I forgot how to change this lobby settings. I, I don't know why. Wait. Yeah, you can just... Wait, what? All right, done. Done. 
if we don't pull that back up again. Don't play with Karma. Not to mention, I genuinely believe whenever I have someone in this run with me, uh, my, my RNG is just awful. What's up, Alucard? How's it going, dude? Is the self-loader bug, uh, buggy riching right now? Rich tig? What, what do you mean by bug rich tig? The auto-loader is not bug, no. It will auto-load whenever your uh, turrets are out of ammo. People can't join you. Uh, anyone on friends list can hot join you if they know the lobby password. Why'd you change my password? So, yeah. Hey, I see two red items. It's fucking three red items. Okay, okay. You know you know what? I kicked him, so now, now my RNG is better. Right? It's not because he came in with me. So my RNG is significantly better. It's my loot. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, did I talk? Oh, it might have been the uh, overlapping orange color. I probably should do a quick run real quick, uh, quick, just so I can get some, like, trait points for this character, because she kind of needs a little bit of traits. She's kind of useless without traits. Green machine gun you shouldn't have. Now, about that weapon container that was down here somewhere. Motherfucker, I didn't think you'd just do that. Okay. Oh, I don't have the trait yet. Right. I, I, I forgot that. What, what the fuck? Uh, there's a trait where if I kill an enemy with that slash, it resets the cooldown. So I can infinitely slash if I kill continuously kill enemies. Which you can with this uh, character. With high enough gear. Is it me or Mark glitching out? Yeah, nothing against you guys. It's just that I just don't want people in my game right now. Uh, having other people in my game also causes lag for whatever reason. I think it's just that the game is poorly optimized. It's probably because like people are just like having ping lags and it's just affected me for whatever reason. So yeah. I've noticed I lag a lot harder with other people. Is what I'm trying to imply. <laughs> The only thing we kind of want for portables is uh, beacons. Uh, I'm just going to drop this. I'm just going to try to grab high value loot or things that I need. What the fuck was that doing in there? Alright, dropping off this loot because we're kind of close by. Give me a second. How do I get the ammo to the self-loader without uh, doing it yourself? Well, you need a belt, an advanced auto-loader, and an advanced uh, ammo crafter a la carte. So this is the advanced auto loader. Right now, I just use regular ammo maker, and then it'll just drag in from this uh, orange square. Otherwise, you need conveyor belts, and you need to make the advanced auto loader to be in one of the utility slots on the sides for auto crafting. And you have to turn on the uh, advanced auto loader. So yeah, it's a little bit of a complex steps and whatnot. Probably because uh, it hosting me PZ, not some dedicated server. What happened? So we're in, but since it's peer to peer, uh, you wouldn't uh, lag since I'm connected to you only. Yeah, I wouldn't lag, but you're the one lagging. But I still think I have to deal with your guys' problem too. I believe. I don't. I don't know. Still loot RNG and kick him out. <laughs> the enemy has spotted you. The fuck was he shooting at? Wait, what was he shooting at? I think he just melted him. He's just dead. He shot once and everything just died. God, it sounds so sexy. I could just, I could just hear it. Sector, you shoot those barrels if you're low level to get early scrap metal. If you can't buy scrap metal yet, get out of the way. It's a lot of purple items in here. Purple, 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 purple. Any purples? Any little amount purple? And uh, the yellow. Let's go. We love yellows. Uh, sure hope there's no cruiser cannon up there because I still need a crap ton of cruiser cannons. <laughs> what if I, I should just head back? Nah, it's fine. I'll just make space. Make way, coming through. You motherfuck! Get your clubs. Everything's so angry with me right now. Constructor's cataphract for free? Hell, oh, it's a ranger cataphract, too. Got the ranger cataphract. Nice, 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 n
My ammo! Alright, we figured out the main reason why, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Y you didn't see any of that. Y'all didn't see Jackal. You saw, you never saw anything. It never happened. Hello, Xenium Soil, son of a bitch. Two more red items upstairs. Please don't be a double artillery cannon. I might have to make a second trip. Might have to make a second trip. Oh, hey, Cataphrac Corps. Yeah, I can't carry any of this garbage. All right, well, I'm gonna have to head back real quick. <laughs> Just drop some stuff off. Oh, man, me and my greedy ass. Damn. Whatever is behind me just got instantly just evaporated. Yes, yeah, evaporated. Artillery shells don't last tour to tour. Wait, so you you're blind to that guy? Oh, Orissi is lying to me. Orissi, how could you? I've always trusted you. You broken my trust. Struggle five hours by now, and I can't figure out that a lot. Yeah, no problem, dude. Game's a little bit uh, complex in terms of teaching people, so I mean, if you guys have any questions, I'm willing to offer some of my law knowledge at least. I know, I know about like maybe up to seventy-five percent of the game now. Ish, still an ish in there a little. Okay, maybe seventy percent. Stop watching me. I miss my movement speed boots. I miss it so much. Massive. I think we're done. What was that gold I left behind over there? Was it another turret cannon? I think it might have been a 105 meter. Or maybe I forgot to pick it up. Or maybe it was underground. Oh yeah, Porter Boy Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I keep forgetting, dude. <laughs> I love how I drop and I instantly forget. I definitely feel like I need to get some uh, ADHD pill. Also, what is the ammo capacity of this bad boy right here yonder? I mean, 1200 only 1200 so he shoots four ammo per bullet i mean that kind of makes sense given the fact that it's four turrets I wonder how much damage we'll be able to do too all right let's try to fit this in yoink all right uh well can't fit anything else in there you go bye bye defender core tower time to see some action oh it just felt so good it's a <laughs> How many bullets is it spraying at a time here? Oh no, it shoots 12 bullets at a time. Every time it evaporates one particular uh, enemy, I guess. See some dock happening? No, you see quad the dock. Quad in the dock, baby. Baby. Uh, might just put my Swiss only for like taking out um missiles then, if that's the case. Yeah, probably missiles and large to help out with large, but I don't know if this guy can probably just do it himself because we're just going to be using a lot of bullets. Love your vids, man. Yo, I appreciate it for watching my YouTube vids, Alec Kurd. Hope you learned lots from it. I'm going to try to get a... Once I finish this Dreadnought, we're trying to get another video of the Dreadnought 2 in action. Movement speed, movement speed, movement speed. I'm such a good town out screw. Let's go. It looks like a bear. No, but... Is there a way to group components like group all the ammo makers when you just press a key and you have them selected? So control, so I'll give you an example. Double click all your ammo crafter, t uh, press control plus one, and then press shift Z. That crafts all the ammo at the same time with whatever available resources you have. And then you'll highlight all your ammo crates at once if you press one again. Up, red pill Command 
So for your wins? Uh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I mean, I haven't really replaced any vids. I think you were just watching my live stream, right? The live stream. But right, anyway, regardless, I always appreciate any uh, support and hopefully the things that I do, you can learn from. So thank you so much, man. I got another Night's Beacon, hell yeah. I'm kind of skeptical about bringing that in. This place doesn't really have a lot of loot, so we can just do some quickies. Hey, Roy Slides, you down for a quickie? You down for a quickie, Nodders? Yeah? Two fucking battery packs? Hey, it ain't so. Yeah, there's only two buildings here. Cho wanted to config before launching, and two were also? You can? I tried doing that. It didn't let me. Wait, can you? I want to try that again. It didn't let me. We got 405 cannons? Hell yeah. We got endgame cannons. It melts bosses. Especially with the amount of core power that I have, which is 4,500. The blizzard has ended. Oh, there, I don't really want your power. Have fun. Rip. 07 for flying drone. Thanks for the care pack. Oh, God. <laughs> three, three calm modules just right next to each other. That's kind of hilarious. I can probably start using rockets with power ammo. Not to use a sniper type. I need a better core gun. I've not been able to find a better core gun to replace the one I have right now. Especially the red one. Warning. Blizzard outbreak. Operative mobility reduced. Hit me with your best shot. Blow away. He's a loot goblin? I am. I am. You know me so well. I'll try out the control one in the config menu because I definitely feel like I've done it before and it definitely didn't save. Oh man, more movement speed inside the uh, the spikes? Hell yeah. I'm gonna be fast as fuck boy throughout the entire map because my, my core. So, if you guys didn't know, core output also affects your uh, spike. You're not spike, but your radiant, your blue aura, whatever the hell that's called. I already keep forgetting. But whatever that blue aura is, uh, the first layer is what you can buff yourself with and that's where you know uh you use those spikes to further spread out that blue orb so yeah your core output also spreads that out it also expands the the scan size of the map from your tower it depends on the core output increases damage of all your turrets you got the hellfire blueprint wow you already made it to that level too nice how long have you been playing alucard hell yeah let's fucking go hellfire blueprints for everyone and now you can see it's in action. It melts. It shreds. Did I expect Pat Benatar from a streamer on Twitch hit me with your best shot? Came out when I was a kid. How old are you, Gatorath? Of course I remember. I'm one of the mansion folks. I'm only like what? I'm almost. I'm turning 30 this year, so yeah. Uh, that that, that kind of gets the gist of some of the uh, reference I could get. Some, some, not all. I'm, I don't really, you know, you know, you know what I did the most when I was a little kid is just play a lot of video games like Age of Empires or some sort, like the good old classics. The fun old classic, the good old days. I miss those old days. Oh, yeah, you want to see something cool? So you can do this to your friends if you didn't know. You see that bomb right there? Yeah, so uh, if you ever play with friends, get a high explosive, press the use button in front of your friends, uh, and then shoot it. Yeah, 35 to 50 hours already? Hell yeah, man. Stalks, baby. Yeah. Nice. I missed. God damn it. All right, I gotta wait. <laughs> I gotta wait. Give me a second. I missed. With massive health from friend. Oh, free carries. There we go. 47, sir? Born 1976? Oh, wait, holy shit. Now, you're ancient age. Oh, fuck, dude. I've miscalculated the rate. Guys, guys, wait, hold up. I can explain. I can explain why I missed that. It wasn't on purpose. Bill speed. What the fuck? He's a stairs! I was gonna show off that I can just one tap the door. I know I can. I know I can fucking one-tap the door. I'm strong enough. 
Have you ever experienced true power? The feeling of good power? To dominate others? Wait a minute. De definitely not in bed. I wasn't talking about bed, sorry. Uh, yeah. So you, you, you are definitely an ancient lad there. So, uh, wow. But th there are some songs that I definitely, like, listen to the past. Right, how much damage did that do? Oh, you can't damage this door. You can only damage the other door. Well, you can damage the up door over there, I guess. But I might as well just use power. I'm already here. Oh, hey, portable CYWS. What a deal. Um, come board. I'm gonna have to fucking loot war again. Should I? Mm. The thunderstorm has ended. Wow. 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 It's so nice that you can stack three of them. Okay, turret nexus. That's a fucking rare find. I'm gonna have to drop this off. Give me a second. Why do I wall this entire area off? Warning. Blizzard we just had one! Did it last me on this map? They last the entire tour. So once your tour ends, basically the entire map is done. No, the, the, the buffs are gone. You want to treat this game more of a roguelite, I guess. Technically a roguelite's a like or aspect where you choose a card and buff your character for that entire run until you're dead. For example, it's the same thing for this. A tour is when you have finish the entire run until your excavation phase. If that explains it. I was under attack. Better take a breather. Son of a bitch. This base is so dark. Just like my hopes and dream. Oh. Well. Welcome to the meat grinder. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun with these meat grinder turrets. What if I just decide to like get rid of my front and just put another hellfire in front instead of this Swiss, for example? I'm pretty sure I can fit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, I definitely can fit one over here. I just have to get rid of a couple turrets, but I don't know. I'm planning on four uh, hellfire turrets total. Are we done? Excavating evacuation. Sorry, not evacuation. What was it called? Fucking recovery phase. The recovery phase. So this is the tour map. One entire tour is this entire map. So yes, all the buffs that you pick will last the entire map until you go to the excavation fucking recovery day. Uh, sorry. I keep... God, did, did, ignore me. Just, just, just ignore me. Is Electric Avenue? I don't think I've ever heard of that song before. Man. So... I feel like I'm just born weird, so I don't really remember a lot of the things that I used to listen to, like music-wise. It, 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 it just rambly will just pop up, right? It'll just pop up, and I just start singing it. Those were the good old days. And now, I just listen to EDM. To be fair, no. I listen to EDM and Hiroyuki Sawaino, which is a Japanese composer. Since I watch a lot of anime, I, I listen to most of the OSC. Whenever I listen to the anime, I'm like, damn, this anime actually sounds really good. Yo, what's up, Lysander? Good morning. Hello, Rice Lad. Hope you're doing well. How's Mr. Lysander doing? Uh, I wish I could show you the blue orb, but I don't see my blue. Oh, God, this map looks ugly. Like, from far away. I can just tell whenever I turn down my graphics. Feels kind of bad. It is what it is. Is 
Is it the main building or is there other buildings? Oh, there's stuff outside. Uh, I want to hit this building over here real quick. See some purples that could be uh, absolutely valuable to us. Except the scrap metal, of course. I'll just drop stuff that I don't really care much about. Starting with the blue. Doesn't seem like there's any reds. Unlucky. I think this is one of the doors that you can break and bust open. You can. Alright, watch this, boys. Watch this, lads. Watch this, lads. I fucked up. She's, she's not leveled. She's not leveled. She's not leveled. I might have to slide. Run around a little bit. Crouch. X. I think she needs more trade points. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that we don't have enough trade points. I, I, I could have sworn that I was able to one-tap those buildings. Maybe if I was on my other hair, we could. Just because we have traits. Trade points. Composes many good songs. The singing is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the beat that they provide. Most of her, I, I guess if you like epic genre, then you'll like Hiroyuki Sawaino. The classic. One of my favorite uh, composers. Is he a composer? Yeah, he's a composer. Highly recommend listening to Hiroyuki Sawano if you guys haven't done so yet. But then again, you probably listen to some of the songs already if you watch anime. No purple here. All right, well, we're done. I mean, I just blast open the door, but I don't think I do. Oh my god, okay. Now, now I'm useless. What the fuck? Is it because I keep missing the X? Am I supposed to hit, like, a weak spot? No, I'm supposed to hit, like, a weak spot there. Britney Spears? I listen to still so, uh, to some Britney Spears. Black Eyed Peas? Black and yellow? Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Remember just putting that thing on repeat whenever I was just running cross country. The good days. Oh, if you're inside, you actually don't get inhibited by the uh, weather. Interesting. Metal playthrough is Alexander Stan's Mr. Saxo beat. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> that one? The meme song? Keisha Pitbull, yep, listen to all those as well. Kanye West, I guess. As much as people hate him. Who else is there? I'm gonna try to list a large amount of like a uh, song composer in the back of my head. Back of my brain, if I had any brain cells, that is. So I'm just really bad at remembering stuff, so I don't know, maybe I can't. Oh, I think you can do it to reactive mines too. Shoot the uh, place down to reactive mine and just shoot it. Still trying to remember. My memory's foggy. Man, smoke, uh, not smoking, but eating edibles for a whole month really did fuck up my brain. Don't do drug kids. How long is this blizzard gonna last? Kanye before he sucked. True! Yeah, no, those are like the ancient days when I was back in high school. Kanye, Britney Spears, I'm trying to think here. Pitbull. Flo Rida. Gorillas. Linkin Park Eminem. I definitely was a heavy Linkin Park fan. Who are the dudes that sings uh, Radioactive? Who are those guys? I forgot. What was the band? Radioactive. I'm waking up to ash and dust. Put my bow. Imagine dragons? Yeah, imagine dragging these nuts across your face. Got him. Never gets old.
are you gonna do about it? Did I already complete the story? I did. You want to actually fuck me? Well, don't threaten me with a good time. What did you eat edibles for a month? I was heavily depressed that month, so I just ate edibles for a month. And then it took me six months after eating edibles. I, I stopped eating edibles after that one particular month. Six months after that, I'm no longer depressed. I was like, all right, well, I feel good again. But at the cost of uh, brain leaks. Imagine Dragon. Wait, is the stream that behind? I like how it just... <laughs> your stream is behind, bro. Imagine Dragon these nuts too. Across your face. You fell for it. Every single one of you guys fell for it. Xenatos also fell for it. Imagine dragging your nuts too. Or my nuts across your face. Every single one of you fell for that. How does this keep happening? Is, is the stream like really behind for everybody else or something here? Did my stream crash? Hello? <laughs> is anybody there? Where the fuck I am? Oh, this is one of the worst maps. Doesn't seem like anything interesting to blue and green hell, so I'll just skip anything that's not purple. When I say purple, sometimes that indicates like uh, containers. Sometimes containers are worth it. You turned around, got the good news. Bye bye. bye. Take a little nappy nap now. Oh, now you time still? Okay. You're not worth talking to! Are you, just, are you not mad because you fell for the oldest trick in the book? Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. It wasn't my fault, I swear. It was my chat's fault. They, they made me do it. Yeah, they, they did it to me first, so I had to... Actually, no. It, it was either my chat or Stimpy. It might have been Stimpy. Fuck Stimpy. <laughs> might have been Stimpy. Yeah, it was Stimpy, that piece of shit. He was, I remember exactly the clip that he was doing it from. Um, the one where he was playing Daisy. He kidnapped the French girl that spoke a lot of French. Uh, and then he did. He pulled that joke on her. Uh, th that was the funniest shit ever. And then the French girl decided to call him a piece of shit. And then Stimpy just blasted her face uh, with a shotgun, of course. No, nothing too perverted. If you ever watched Stimpy before, his, his entire channel is all about being, you know, being a pervert or some shit. I don't know. The guy's an idiot. So I love him. He's funny as hell. This is a joke from like 2016. Well, I don't remember that. How come my friends never use that joke on me? The enemy has spotted you. Oh no! Is Any reds? No reds. Oh, well, we got friends. Oh! Jump for wall! I keep forgetting. Well, whatever's over there is no longer over there. Whatever. I want to try Infinity Mode. I don't think we can. But I really do want to try Infinity Mode. Welcome to my double jump. There it is. All right, it's on. Once it leaves... Well, this run has been very productive lately. I haven't found a single run. No, I have. I found a cruiser cannon and a cataphract core. I think that's fine. Still need two more ranger hangers. Or do we want to get vanguards? I'm, I'm, I low-key want to get two vanguards and two uh, rangers. Right, Slaz, what do you think? Should we get four rangers or two? Two. Because with the uh, other cataphract, those can be anti-boss. The vanguards can be anti-boss. That's what the cannons are for. I just don't know. I mean, once we get like ammo, uh, real, uh, auto ammo production going, um, I feel like we shouldn't really struggle that much. I wonder how much ammo production we would need to maybe like, I want to go with probably three per t uh, auto reloader. So if we get seven twenty one, maybe fourteen. I think fourteen auto reloader would be nice. Did you manage to get the Infinity Cannons? What the hell is an Infinity Cannon? Is that the giant cruiser cannon? The battleship cannons? The 406 millimeter? Those cannons? What this cannon you speak of? Good sir. All right, well, there's the uh, big boy loot. There's two reds. I see some stuff over here too that I'm more interested in just because it's inside of a bunker and bunker loots is normally okay-ish and I have no idea where the entrance is. Wait, this might be a new boy. It's not. 
It's it wasn't. The enemy has spotted you. We literally the just came here. Incoming. Leave me alone. Somebody left in a hurry, left in a little energy bar on the ground. I'm gonna slobber back up. You know what? I could use an energy bar right now. I can use a Snickers. Oh! Nothing like some good old 100 year old Snickers. Hell yeah. Was that increase the damage of Hellfire or was that increase the attack rate? Because we even need more attack rate for Hellfire cannons. Because the mech weapons loadout? Same. That would be so. That would be so tight. Customizing uh weapon loadouts, uh for mechs, being able to like let's see, put wings on a vanguard instead of its. I, I don't know. How would you do that? What would you put on your like uh back then? Hellfire turrets on your mech. I can see a mech holding two hellfire turrets, and the moment you start blasting, you just start launching you into space. It's just the, the amount of like recoil. <laughs> Got an ad break inbound. That was quick. Come on, dental processor. It's fucking soil. It's just soil. Soil. Oh, it does it have HP? It doesn't. All right. So yo. They got too close to me. I guess you could say their plans have been soiled. Uh, <laughs> Please laugh at me. I, I feel really lonely right now. <laughs> right, let's see if I can one shot this door. Well, I mean, all I have to do is walk around a little, run around a little bit. I don't have to do the neat sliding trick. So, the way the buff works is that every time you run, you gain stacks of damage. And then you ram the door with a stack of damage. So basically, if you run long enough, you can just one-tap him. Uh, so I've been playing the fucking uh, character wrong. It's part of the hyperactive perk. Graphic card. I don't really need gunpowder anymore when I can just pick up, like, high explosives directly from enemies. Especially splatter mines. I wonder what the end button does. What was the purple that we dropped over here? Well, like, didn't mine. Why am I such a lure? Why? Oh my god. This looks scuffed as hell. This looks really scuffed. How do we do this? Swoopity swoppity swoop, easy clap. What can I say? I'm like a Tetris champion. Okay, I don't care much about that item. Only reason why we're like picking up all this loot is to increase our value as much as we can so we can make more big money. I wonder what that little computer thing is. Is there any computer in this building? Oh, oh. Oh, hey, I didn't realize this was here. Buy explosives. Ad break, ad break, ad break. The enemy is spotted you. So is oh, did he kill everything in here? Interesting. Alright, well, we have ad break real quick, so I'm gonna be right back.
Because you don't have any true friends. Why do I feel attacked? <laughs> you don't attack me. Cruiser cannons? Yeah, I have one cruiser cannon so far, Grump. Welcome back, Rice Lads. <clears throat> no, I want more of. I want more Zen. I want more different types of Zen to work with. Ah, son of a bitch. I don't feel like we have enough Zen. You only have one core weapon, so it shouldn't really be too hard to. Add a little bit more items to, like, uh, the game, right? Just to customize your build a little bit more. Because I feel like it may be Zens that can actually, like, synergize with one another. Mm, probably gonna sell that key card. Unless it's an envoy key card. Is it an envoy key card? It's a T-H-I. The thigh key card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there's a first run of the day. Not the day, but the run. Just more soil that I don't fucking need. All of my reds have been soiled. Soil, cruiser cannon. Good morning, Slammer. How's it going? Dude? Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. This is wonderful. What the fuck is it? Is it date again? I already lost track of time like I normally always do. It's Wednesday! Happy Wednesday. 
Uh, 100% of the total value of all materials. Yeah, I don't even know what material stands for. What kind of tag is that? You have valuables, you have component regions, unless it measures out the component regions. Then 100% for component regions would be worth it. I should have grabbed the uh, rest for the component regions done. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. We're not, we're not ready for this yet. Sorry. Because uh, we, we need to go ahead and pick up these other guys here, too. Modern's dormitory. And if everything wants it, I can just skip it. Add more Zen type? Yeah, more red Zen types. Because there's some, like, Zen, like, some of the good Zens are in the blue. Like, light, for example, for spraying builds. Or sniper build, like, hard-hitting builds. The sniper build there. I need to convert my missile to light. Because I'm not really liking the missile that I have right now. We're probably going to do, like, after this run, we're going to do some Zen uh, gambling. What do I call it, Zen? Actually, X and Z kind of sound similar. Zen, not Zen. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it Zen for whatever reason. But Zen, yeah. X, Z, N, not Z, E, N. Uh, let's go to the far side first. We'll loot, this building is conveniently right next to us. We just loot that one to go. Is there more to the game? I'm just grinding. I'm, I, I, this is one of my fucking like favorite games so far. Like I just, I just enjoy the gameplay, the way you play value. I'm, I'm grinding gear currently. One of the, my, one of my favorite part of this game was base building, but you're typically limited by what you can build because of what you have to like bring out of the raid first, and that's why we're like always grinding out. It's just that it's just fun to me to be a, some kind of loot war. I just like to loot a lot of things. But, you know, every game gets uh, burnt out occasionally. If I get burnt out of this game, it's going to be more towards a positive burnout. Typically speaking, you always want to be positively burned out from a game. You don't want to play it anymore. And you come back for new updates. And this was in the good old classics. But eventually, you know, I'll stop streaming the game. Just because, well, there's other stuff to do. I have other games to play. Like, Soul Soul and Survivor is going to be tomorrow. Because we have a fat update tomorrow. Let's fucking go! A big fat update tomorrow. And I can't wait for it. There's a... Uh, wait, actually, the update's already out. Sorry. The update's already out. I'm, uh, the devs of the Soul Soul and Survivor uh, community keeps asking me to stream it. And I keep forgetting to stream the game. Because this game came out. And I was like, oh, well... Rip, what is that? Something takes out of energy shield, gain plus one resource, all epic or material grade, and your storage, yeah, whatever. Well, I think this also affects red types, so maybe we should start grabbing that for green. I didn't build up speed, whatever. I, 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 like, in short word, I love this game. I love it a lot. I have a lot of fun with it. I always want to come back to play more if I'm like bored as shit. It's like one of my uh, love relationship, not even hate. Kind of similar to Power World when Power World first came out. So yes, I do I do love this game a lot. I enjoy it. Even though I'm at the point where everything is fucking easy mode, but like, it's just how it goes. I I put a lot of work into a game. Everything becomes easy mode because I put a lot of work into the game. I figure out things. Uh, I figure out uh components or mechanics of the game. This is typically how you uh, explore these type of video games. But, sometimes Twitch can get burned out from it because, I mean, the replay value is just, you know, it's, it's, it's repetitive, obviously. I was kind of hoping I can find, like, other people to play this game with online, um, like, streamer-wise. I mean, you do, like, collabs. Because, most importantly, we're supposed to do collabs for these type of games in the first place, but, eh, I'm one of those fucking weirdos. That's anti-social to the fucking maximum, so... We're going back to solo uh, player games tomorrow ish. But yes. The game is still fun. If anything, if I get bored of like any other game, I can always come back to this game instead. And just chill out a little bit. One of the best part about this game is I don't have to pay attention to chat. Because I'm just so busy focused on looking at loot. So I don't have to worry about missing chat or anything. But 
Or no, no, sorry. This, this is the perfect game for um, chat to be extremely quiet, so. I don't even have to focus on you guys. Not a single fucking red? Or is that the soil that we got? Oh, that was red. It was just soil. Unlucky. This next area is gonna give us a lot more loot, more than I can handle. I wish we could get some upgrades that we can uh, utilize on my core tower to be able to extract more stuff or upgrade my backpack space. Well, I think I can only get one backpack upgrade unless it goes to the left side here, which I don't think it would. I wish we can upgrade our backpack even more. I just, I just want to like carry everything in one go. Oh, I didn't even control B. So you generate HP over time, effects and stack. Go with HP regen, even though I don't think we really need it. Uh, let's go with the bottom. Yeah, let's go with the bottom, just so we can actually get the other upgrades. Okay, give me a little bit more water. There we go. You ever realize that you can every time you hit a dead end on the uh, the map path, you can actually teleport back to base and go from the base outwards again? I didn't even realize that until I went to ruins. And what's funny is that I did it once before we went into ruins in the forest biome. Hello, Beardful. Good morning. How's it going, dude? Hope you're doing well. Good morning, morning. You guys haven't watched Beardful yet. Motherfucker plays too much tab. He doesn't like this game because he thinks ageism is better. Fuck you. Nah, but my boy Beerfoo here. Check him out. He plays a lot of Dare Billions, so give him a little follow. Lots of RTS. A little bit of tower defense stuff from what I've seen, like ageism and whatnot. <laughs> upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You want my you want my hoverboard? That game's dead. Unfortunately, that game is dead. Dead. Dead in development. No one gives a fuck about it. Nobody plays it. Nobody streams it. Just dead. Unlucky. For them, that is. That was sick. That was fucking sick. Fucking double whammy of a grappling hook. What this give? Me like. Me no like. Round. I miss mum. Where's mum when you need her the most? This is their darkest hour. Mad Dong ads from Amperfell. Do you have enough viewers with, <laughs> with this game? I mean, I can't really complain with the amount of viewership that I have ever. I feel like I'm blessed to have viewership even. 
think someone with fucking over 100 damage has a right to come fucking complain? <laughs> you, think it's, uh, you think it's easy to jump shit? To get 100? Why is chat so fucking dead? Because I'm used to having a dead chat. That's how it works. Yeah, he's really bad at it? Well, if people were to accuse me of view bunny, I have to show proof, obviously, right? I'm not gonna ban you for saying I'm a view bunny. <laughs> I have an qu extremely quiet chat. It's just how it works. I play any game I play in a long period of time, typically chat just dies from time to time. Hell, fucking play Pal World, I ain't gonna go up to like 200 average, and chat would still be fucking dead. I don't think I'm approachable. Did you do the notepad review of this year game? I have not. But it's mostly moving towards the uh, positive review. There's my greed. Not to mention this game, again, this game is the type of game where, again, I can just ignore chat, especially when it's extremely quiet. But, I mean, it was active earlier, so. Guess you just came at the worst moment. I mean, I can play another game if you want. I can easily swap over to, to a Survivor game and just boost my numbers of views just because my channel is primarily Survivor like base. Luna Shura did an entire defense. Well, okay, so I'm going to get rid of the tower defense aspect of this game. It's a base builder. It's a looter. It's an extraction looter shooter base builder with tower implementations. Like, I don't really care if you guys don't talk on my channel. It just sucks sometimes because Twitch is based off of having an active chat. Channel grows because of having an active chat, typically speaking. Obviously, if a viewer comes in, they see a dead-ass fucking chat with this many viewers, the very first thing they'll probably say, like, yeah, this guy's probably view body. In my opinion, I'm someone that's, that thinks... I am someone who thinks my viewers are legit, yes. It's just that there's also malicious intent. You can have so... Okay, so... I'm not purposely viewbotting my channel, I like to say, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone is viewbotting my channel, for example, right? But I can just look at my numbers and be like, yep, that's not fucking viewbotting because there's a pattern. Viewbotters always follow a pattern that makes it blatantly obvious that they viewbot. Someone with partner actually just lost a partnership because they were viewbotting in Helldivers too. So Radish Channel's going, dude. Good morning. No, there's there's games I play that just, you know, I mean, viewership sometimes take a hit. Viewers, but I'm not gonna fucking complain about it. Who gives a fuck? You think some person that works like nine to five gives a fuck about some streamer bitching about having no viewers? Hell fucking no. I'm able to make decent enough money to be able to live. What's there to bitch about? But yes, my stream is based off of tower defense, RTS. Base, uh, sorry, city builders. Uh, typically not these type of games. I mean, this game had a really awful start uh, for a launch for them. That is, so obviously not a lot of people are gonna be wanting to play it. But I have nothing to bitch about for this game. I have nothing to bitch about for streaming this game. If I want to stream this fucking game, I'm gonna stream about it. Chat's gonna be dead. Chat's gonna be dead. It's just how it works. Who gives a shit? Ooh, high explosives. Mm. Mm. That's about you got me ranting, so I like ranting a lot, so yeah. <laughs> I don't mind ranting. I'm so fucking so it's cause I'm not in the bubble! Where's my base? It's a tower defense game. Yeah, it does have tower defense because you're building towers on your base, but I feel like it's much more of a base builder because you're building a base with the towers. So tower defense, a lot of people like to like point out that if all there's a path that has to be followed for tower defense, in which this game does have some similar paths, I guess. Just not as like uh, direct as an actual tower defense game. You know, where you have this path and you block it off or some sort, or you put towers to guard the path, shit like that. Am I gonna play Manor Lords? Fuck yeah, I am. Of course I am. That was too close. Better take a breather. 
days are boring, recovery days are where it's at. Exactly. I'm not playing, I'm not doing anything exciting. I'm just fucking grinding. Must be enjoying the game though to keep playing. I'm gonna pick this up soon because uh, I'm having a fucking blast with the game. I have nothing to complain. Obviously, if I can't keep the stream entertaining, I've, I'll, I'll take the hit. I'm not. It's my fault for not keeping the stream entertaining. Sure. Seems like a good way to explain it based on what I see. It is. Uh, so yeah. So this is basically extraction looter shooter, and then the base defense is when you're extracting he's almost dead how much hp does that have left i saw i saw hp oh it's almost dead okay well i'm gonna run around a little bit more to build a little more stacks what's funny is that there's also gotcha like properties in this game if you ever played gotcha games before what is what is the gotcha part you're probably wondering well the gotcha part is basically uh operatives which is this character I have right here that can have different traits to mess around with. I have a pretty powerful trait on this character, which is hyperactive. And she has some also branch off traits. And when I say branch off traits, that means they are traits that can be upgraded to the next tier by spending trait points, which uh, you get by leveling up your operative up to a max level of 30. Those tiger things are so fucking annoying. I don't want to fight him. He's just annoying me. <laughs> what is that back there? Thought I missed out on red item. Was that everything? I think we grabbed it all. All right, let's go. That's why we try to loot as much as possible, too. Yeah, my chat is doing So, one thing I've definitely noticed is that every time I fucking play Dare Billions, it's much more dead than this. So, yeah. Imagine having, like, up to between 200 and 300 viewers and have a very empty chat. See, I can actually understand when someone calls me a view bonner there. <laughs> like, yep. Yeah. Even I uh, suspected. 5 2, 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. Let's fucking go night shift DJ Naras. Let's fucking go base off of a skill issue. No, that's skill issue. Skill issue. I suck at this game. What do you mean? Why is my health? Oh, it's just, it just empty. <gasps> Oh, that's right, because I have not been making ammo! I haven't been making ammo! Alright, so if you want to know how to make ammo, here you go. Shift, control one, uh, shift Z. And all the ammo's been made at the same time. There you go. I forgot about the ammo! I was like, wait a minute, why is that thing so empty right now? Hi, uh... Is that robot AI supposed to ignore you like they do? Or do they have some stealth skill or something? Well, the AI in this game is fucking badly programmed. It's, it's programmed to attack your base, not, like, run the field. They attack you when you're in their aggro range. From their front. They have a view range. Yippee ki yay what's up, dude? It's the hamster. She's taking a little nappy-wappy. I showed her on stream earlier. Any operatives with big titties? Bruh, the character I'm playing as is Gyat. Gyat. Nice. There are some characters. There's, there's two female characters and two male characters. Four different classes. I like doing base experimentation. I've got recovered 100 times achievement. More than half of those are just Wendy Desert Runs to test missed things. Were you not able to get the groups to save or did you forget? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, no, I didn't I didn't do it in the build, build menu. I have to do it in the build menu. I tried to do it in the build menu, in the build outpost menu in the front, but I didn't get to that. Um, I tried it, but it didn't work. So yeah, it didn't, it didn't work. That was just simply answer your question. I kind of uh, hold it. Sorry, my bad. Let's go back there first.
little base tour video. I will. I will make it a YouTube video on my dreadnought, but I have to finish building it first. Got a frack core, I got one each run. You lucky son of a bitch. Sometimes you get super lucky, you know? Wait, are well, you doing rude fives right now? Unless you want me to show off my base now. Or do you want to wait till the end? Until I finish the uh, run? Because it's easier to show off the base when I'm um, in build mode and I can x ray in. But I was because I was crafting my build earlier. It's just that I don't I'm missing a lot of turrets that I need. It's not on YouTube yet. You're in ruin three? How come I never find any fucking red items in those ruins? I, I don't understand. Am I really just that unlucky? Oh, I can see it just glitched through. Honestly. I don't know if I should just get these. Can I come from this area? Oh, MG turret and yeah, something wish to, of course. Very confusing. When is the tower defense phase of the come? Uh, at the very end. At the very end of each run because everything on the map attacks you at the same time because you've been discovered. Or when you're trying to recover all the goodies. So we're, we have two more nodes left to farm and then you get to see the uh, auto, uh, the defense part. I appreciate the uh, subscription on uh, YouTube. Thank you. Come on, Indians. Yeah, I'm like streaming to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Plus, we're probably going to try out Infinity Siege after this to see if I can get, like, better equipment or some sort. I don't fucking know. I really want to just make auto uh, ammo production. What? Why is it so hard to find? Oh. I already opened it. I'm just an idiot. The hell? Wait, so my turret killed the... My turret killed the drones while it still landed? Interesting. Very interesting. Multi-stream life. Yeah, I wanted to try it out and it's kind of cool. I still meet some people from YouTube. It brings it over, especially if you have like, I mean, I, I, I know I had like this. I had a solid base. I don't play tab anymore, obviously. I'm not used to reading chat from YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Not everyone wants to chat. Not like you're a VTuber. Yeah, I'm not a VTuber. I mean, I watch a lot of VTubers myself and I like to chat in their, uh, to a VTuber because, you know, they're chatty. The chatty type. I'm a gamer type, so like again, I'm not really approachable. And if, if you notice that I do ignore chat a lot too. So do you know where the problem lies? It lies within me. <laughs> it's not chat's fault that chat's dead. It's chat's fault because I'm a fucking dumbass. I like to play video games. I play video games for you guys and spread the love of games that deserve to be spread. That's simple. Who the fuck did that? Who shot on me? Oh. That was too close. You, that he can shoot me through the wall, but I can't shoot him back in the wall. She's too low level. She has like no defense. Oh, that's right. Th that's the reason why I'm not doing any damage because these guys are like uh, high levels. They're not high levels. I'm, I'm not high level. And I need the stats for the high level. Who the hell? Oh my god, he was staring at me the entire time. Being a VTuber would be pretty interesting, but I have no interest in being a VTuber. It's just not how it works. Now that you bring up Amperfell, he doesn't come until later. Man's busy. Guy has real life. I'm battery. Let's fucking go. 
a lot of people have real life stuff to do too. Some, uh, you, 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 you know, there's, there's the people that normally watch me are typically people that are working currently too. So, uh, yeah. But obviously, I know that you know games do fall off in viewership, especially the longer it goes. Typically, um, that's just how it works. Can't really stop viewer drop off. Oh, explosive, nice. I'll bring that projection module along. All right, and uh, I think we have one more bunker to loot. I'm pretty full right now, but we got two ion batteries from that. Nice, 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 nice. We're getting really close to getting another dreadnought cannon. Yeah, you have to level up each operative uh, carefully, Beard Poo. And what's funny is that you can permanently lose a character when they die. So we gotta be careful. Otherwise, you're gonna lose somebody. I've already lost a character earlier today because I just got one tapped by something. Uh... I brought this uh, experimental here on accident because I didn't, I didn't want to bring this uh, base over. But I did bring this experimental base over with barely any turrets and I had to fight the wave myself. I was holding out until I got one tapped. Full out shield, still died. Went through the shield. The enemy has spotted you. Cluster missile, fuck yeah, dude. Love cluster missiles. High explosive. Electro. Fuck! Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme the loot. You could be a VTuber though? What's up, Brad? How's it going, dude? Like a Gumas? <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, there's a crevice. There's, there's, a, there's a fucking crevice. Make crevice great again. Crevice needs more love. There's a crevice VTuber character. I can just be a crevice instead. I don't think you can make him talk, though. It's just, it's just there as a pet peeve or some shit. The armored wall Sigma is almost like one tile thick. Are we talking about the endgame armored wall, Rissy? Or are we talking about the regular armored wall? See, so what you would do is, you know the 2x2 two two floors? You use the 2x2 two two floors and you put the armored walls behind a bunch of walls because they have, like, capacitors. So you use it to buff the floors and uh, walls around it to make it have even more HP. That's what I've seen someone else do uh, for HP stacking. If you didn't know that. Yeah, the one two wild th uh, tile wad. I, I can't figure out a way to put that into my build except behind walls. This game looks like with graphic max. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Three stacks of valuables. Given free blueprint recovery. I have to look like uh, fucking the shitty fucking graphics, dude. I'm gonna try to put thermal paste on my CPU today after stream. So, see if that fixes a lot of the issues that we've been experiencing. I, I, I don't think putting thermal paste on my CPU is going to allow me to play, uh, magically put shadows on. I just think this game is fucking dog shit for performance. What the hell? Wait a minute, what? What the fuck is that? I've never been this map before. It's like some kind of giant magical crane up there. Oh, oh, goody. We got some exploration points. Goody, goody, goody. Goody, 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 goody. And when I say goody, I mean butts open this wall. I almost destroyed it. Oh, wow. That shot does 1,500 damage. I told myself not to be a loot whore, and here I am. Being a fucking loot whore.
Nano chip? Nano machine, son. Oh, I gotta put a more armor on. I forgot. I have no armor left. Nano machine, son. I don't think there's anything else that's lootable in here. Before I forget something like I normally do. Cryo ammo. I, uh... I wish grenades wasn't like, um... It wasn't blue. I don't know why they have to highlight that color is blue. The hell did I Oh, it's a stop. Alright, we can hit that little area real quick. You want to check with the pink air? Uh, if you're talking about operatives? Yeah, that- well, no, I'm not- what? <laughs> if I had a chick with the pink hair, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> what character reference is that? Uh-oh. My cluster missiles! No, that I didn't think about it. I forgot to drop off the rest of the loot. That's highly unfortunate. Have these enemies been exploding on top of me this entire time? And I just never realized that they were exploding on top of me. Is that why I'm taking so much fucking damage? Okay, that's a lot of goodies. Maybe a little bit too many goodies. Oh, it's that blue little crystal thing. What the fuck? I didn't realize that until now. Uh, just saw a video of her on YouTube. She's hot. Oh, the AI! She's talking about the AI! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the best part about this game. Is her alone. Everybody played this game for her and didn't realize she won't come up until like super late into the game, so they stop playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Juliet! Juliet! We like to call her Juliet. Uh, everybody has a hard on for the fucking robot girls, dude. I don't, I don't understand. What is wrong with you people? What do you mean, you people? The games on Steam, bad launches are killers. Well, it attracted some people back to the game because of the amount of update, but yes, bad... When, when you have a bad launch, it normally destroys uh, get the game's um, comeback. But I don't know, it just really depends. It definitely did chase off a lot of streamers from playing this game, so yeah. That's why there's not a lot of popularity with the game yet. Watch, I'm gonna fucking leave and then all the popular streamers are gonna start playing. And I just miss out on it. Typically, how streamers grow is because of based off of uh, traffic. And when I say traffic, you have to have stre other streamers play the game too. Since it tanked, I could have died there. I could have almost died there. If you get out of the circle, you die. What the fuck? Why am I glitching through that shit? Oh no. I hope I don't get stuck. If I get stuck, I'll be salty as hell. This is a stupid ass tower. Who the fuck builds this tower? Oh, it's like a whole jump puzzle. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh no. If I fall off, I'm gonna be so salty. There we go. Mom, mom, I wanna play only up. Honey, we got only up here at home. Target device is online. What the actual shit? Fuck. Wait a minute. What's he gonna do with that? What's he gonna do? What's the crane gonna do with that giant ass bear? Where, where are you bringing me? Why is it going right and left now? I tried to pull up the map. I don't know why I couldn't pull up the map there. That was weird. The digital key card. What a deal. Uh, guys, it's um, moving in a very wobbly faction. 
that I'm not really like happy with. Am I supposed to drop it? Max Lee, I'm on Ruin Street because it's uh because I uh you know you know what's funny? Typically speaking, that's not how you spawn cringe, by the way. Oh, oh That was scary. That was really scary. Alright, how do I stop this? Oh my fucking god, really this fucking game piece of shit. I can't get on. I can't get back on. I'm an idiot. What the hell? You can't turn it back off? You were supposed to turn it off. How do you turn it off? That? Oh. That did nothing. What was I supposed to do? There's something up there. I want it, but I don't know what that is. I think you're supposed to drop the cur I think you're supposed to be able to turn this back off Somehow and you drop the barrel on top of this thing here. It's like a mini game that they never even fucking bother to finish Are you joking? Terminal to drop on crystal. Yeah, it's too bad. I don't have any fucking you know, can, can I just blow it up myself? I did nothing. I give up. I can just come back to this later. I think I fucked up by blowing up that barrel. Because the barrel's now gone, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up. Huh. Interesting loot lab. Not really a loot lab, more of a, more of an arsenal. What the fuck is the point of this place? Would that even give me any like sufficient loot at all? Oh god! I saw the bodies at the last moment. I missed. Them. Ah! Flash wound. Should've heard the beep. Definitely should've heard the beep. Was this the last map? No, I think we have one more map to go before we uh, move somewhere else. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna skip this place. This place sucked ass. In terms of loot. Armory? Yeah, armory. That's what I meant to say. We just drop the payload and the crystal and they get the Xenium shit out of it, but uh, the top terminal is outside the zone. Yeah. I don't think they finished ever finished that minigame, and I believe you were supposed to like kind of. Oh, I guess you're supposed to get on top of the. Well, it, it went back in, so yeah. It went back out the ter uh, zone. All right, prototype factory. Oh huh, yes, I remember this. This is, this is. I think this is one of the maps that I can't really get my scanner to show the entire map. Hello, Conab. You found a nice new roguelike game, Zero Clue, if you like it in the suggestions. Alright, I'll take a look at it uh, after the stream, Conan. The whole Twitch right now? Yeah, but they're like different uh, language uh, speakers. So we're talking about like, like if, if, if the channel is supposed to grow, typically speaking, you... That, that's how the dri drip around down effect uh, happens. Is because you still need people to actually stream the game to spread, uh, I guess, the variety. I don't know. Sp or, sorry, uh, to give the game exposure. Some of my friends do play this game, like Bellatrix, for example, and then her friends also start streaming this game, too, recently. Everybody's fucking addicted to this fucking game, alright? Everyone I know is fucking addicted to this game. At least. Where did that rocket launch you? Wow, Keith, wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh, we go to. Yep, it's not really scanning the very back side. Did that find me? It did not. Just makes a really weird noise. I fucking missed. Give me a second. I can take him. I'm so laggy. Graphic still looks like shit, and I still lag.
I don't think I've ever seen this boy before. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen this boy before. This is new. It's an addicting game. It is. I'm having a fucking blast with the game. I don't mind. I mean, dude, the moment I first started streaming Power World, <laughs> uh, I took a huge hit playing it, but it paid out in the end. Because the game is just so fucking good. It's just, it just depends on how it works. Oh, wait, no, I've definitely seen this building before. I, I've missed this building. This is one of those ancient early game buildings. You can find blueprints in this bu building, I believe. Oh, everything's fucking pissed off at me now. That did not kill him. It was terrifying, and I, I don't know why I'm moving so fucking slow. Oh, I know. It's because we're no longer in our fucking base. The base aura. That's where base aura kind of comes in. That's why I hate this fucking map. It's too big. Did I do that? So sorry. I also don't really have a scanner. There could be an envoy card in that temple like thing. Inventory's not full yet. That's where all the goodies are. This room in particular. That's why I sell myself a lot. Even though I don't see any like super epic rare loot. Did I just get scammed from this room? This room scammed my ass. What the fuck? Actually scammed. Still scammed. Wait, don't we need more barrels? Yeah, we're out of barrels. Uh, I have no idea how to open this door. There's a switch somewhere and I'm too lazy to look for it. So you know what? I'm just gonna run around a little tad bit here, build up some stacks. Just that easy. What the fuck? It's so dumb that I can attack through the wall like that. It's so If I die again because I have no armor, I would be so salty. Then again, I can just die with our rod. Bit of ammo. I always drop car away, it's worthless to me. Games like these depends on a lot of damage. I probably don't really need as much right, ammo. Doesn't seem like there's much left to do. There's also stuff up here which you can buy blueprints. Jesus Christ, it's so fucking chaotic. Look, how, how many chasers do I have? Oh, I got 33 chasers to deal with. That's not fun. That <laughs> I shot him in the head with the wrong fucking weapon. It's my AOE skill. 
He dropped something. Did you not drop something? They just dark near us. Shield sight, unlucky. I'm surrounded. Time to fall back. Run, run, run. There's my boost field. Sheesh. The same as this uh, from old anime I used to watch as a kid. Oh, damn. If you can remember the anime, let me know. Because the very first thing, whenever I look at those dogs, they remind me of the uh, antagonist army from the day before. And obviously, the uh, squids, the flying squids, are from, uh, you know, from Matrix Revolution. Oh. Wonder where they got the uh, idea from. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. There was another dude in there. Apparently, he chased me all the way out. It's kind of hilarious. I didn't realize you were alive. It looked like he was dead. What was the purple back here that we missed out on? Well, the side of Pirate Software, dude switched dead. Not sure what made him blow up the way he did. Homie has been streaming since 2017. Went from 380 once more to almost 7,000. Two months later, it's an operative die. Uh, uh it's just all about, like, luck or something. Luck is a factor, and of course, um... I don't know. I think he hit the algorithm. There's also a YouTube algorithm that can carry you through. What I want is the fact that he... I want the, uh... I want the secret of life, the, the secrets, to changing your voice. Apparently, your voice does change twice. I don't really like the way I sound right now, so there's there's one thing I, I would like to change. So I feel like I'm hitting close to the edge or uh, age where I'm about to get my second uh, voice changed. Maybe a little bit more muscular or something like Dolphin Chemist or Pirate Software. They do have sexy ass voices, all right. I'm a voice type of person. You have sexy ass voice, uh, yeah, kind of orgasm. does you have to start with them at level one. Oh no 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 so the way it works is that your operative has a chance to not be recovered when you die in game uh when you do die you have to spend gold if you're able to recover your operative uh you spend gold to like buy them back right to get them out of the hospital if you don't get them out of the hospital they die permanently or you just have a chance to just lose them permanently and all the gear that you have on you so, but the game does have an insurance. You can insure your gear. So fucking annoying, man. Can you be any less annoying? I fucking miss, of course. I didn't mean to do that. He gets in the way the moment I fucking shoot down the skill. Now I have no shield. Well, I think it'll be fine. This is the worst part for the shield, but it doesn't look like there's any uh, spiders to deal with. Down here does. thousand HP. Oh, you can pick lock it. Thank God. Uh, this is bad. This is getting really, really fucking bad. Okay, we gotta get extracting soon here. I'm too low. I'm way too fucking low. I'm like almost dead low. That's an almost dead low. Oh, oh well, whatever. So, uh, we're about to get the recovery day for those that are interested in the base defense part. I just look at the command mode because my base is for automation. 
typically yeah, as an average player you kind of go out there and just find stuff but it's up to you really on how you want to play i play more of an rts type where i control my base whenever possible launch stuff whenever i need to what the fuck is this game so weird and wonky Cable. All right, we're done. I can leave. I can leave. I'm free. I didn't find a single nano processor. He used to be a game dev in a big company. I forgot it was Blizzard. It's Blizzard. He was a software senior software engineer, I believe. If I remember correctly. Guy's entertaining as fuck too. If you ever if you ever watch his Twitch, there's. there's Luck doesn't come. Luck always come at a cost. You got to be extremely entertaining. And of course, what, what I, all you have to do is just pay attention to his stream for like a good five minutes and understand how entertaining he can get. What's up, James Fisher? Seven days to die with robots. <laughs> Turn an animated city voice, and you'll be forced to become a VTuber. Lamel. Z was entertaining. People say, "Yeah, I've, I've definitely watched him. I, I try to learn from him, and he's just." He, He's really good at what he does. To be entertaining as fuck. That happens when you die? Oh, well, well, I didn't die there. I got blown up with smithereen. It's just a stagger mechanic whenever you get exploded. Exploded. Uh, guys, we got problems. Um, things not making ammo. Most of my. Wait, actually, I think they're just empty. I'm pretty sure. No, we have ammo. I'm just gonna wait for the next round. Alright, whatever. I hate that map, dude. I don't know why that map exists. It's like one of my, uh,. Most hated map so far. Reminds me of Overwatch. Reminds me more of COD. It gives me a lot of COD vibe. 200% from building materials. So I need to do the math here. I think building materials is the regions that you kind of pop off. So here's the extraction phase. I'm leaving with 50,000 worth of loot. I didn't expect myself to get 50,000 there. So the higher the value that you're bringing out, the harder the uh, final wave gets. So this is the bar. You start off with one guaranteed. You always have to fight. These are like special enemies you have to fight against. Here's the main boss. Um, so the more loot you bring out, the bigger this bar gets. And yeah, I think component regions is affected by building material. We got a lot of enemy and multiplier just to make the game a little bit harder because I'm pretty sure I can fight them. All right, let's go and call in the fleet. Actually, do I need to put anything else inside the storage? No, but I need my fucking shield. I don't have any shield left. Oh, whatever. Alicardo, appreciate the sub on YouTube. Thank you. All the leaks and talks he made, uh, did and made people swarm to him. Oh, he did leaks and talks? I never knew that. The guy's the leaker? Hi, uh... If I was the leaker, my parents would beat me. How do you leak when you're a full-grown adult? Unlucky. Alright, we do have ad break coming up, so I'm going to have to pause the stream here for three minutes before we actually show the, uh, the, the final base. If I do, uh, pause the game, uh, not pause the game, it doesn't completely pause, it's just slow-mo, so... There's things that actually happens in slow-mo, it's kind of weird. But it's, it's incredibly slow, but yeah, we're back everyone, we do have ad break right now. I'm going to wait for the game to load so I can actually press the escape button so I can actually use the restroom.
All right. Welcome back, Rice Lads. Yeah. Best part about well, you still get hit by wait, do you not do you guys actually not get hit? Alright, I'll key you. Don't need to scan. I need to build turrets. What where the fuck is my miner studio? Wait, does YouTube live not get hit by uh I thought they did. Exceeded construction limit. What the fuck? There's a construction limit? Oh, that's a free one. Where did my, um... Oh. <laughs> I forgot about the deciphers. I completely forgot about the ciphers. I... Oh. Oops. Uh, I think we found our, one of our major problems here. Any control one. Shift Z. Grab all ammo. Missile launchers. Gonna hit that as control four. Three supposed to be fabricators, but I forgot about the fabricators too. Launch the max. Goliath online. Why do I have two knights back here? How the fuck did the other knights get back here? Yeah, the mechs in this game gets stuck relatively easily. I think that's another thing they could have worked on. Is, well, stop getting them fucking stuck. Welcome to Mech Commander or Armor Core. This is Armor Core at home. Ranger is one of my favorites. You can fly around in the Ranger if you didn't know that. Look at this. Alright. Let's see the fireworks. I have no idea how much both of these. Oh, good lord, that thing's going down fast. It's strike the bullets! My bullets! Bullock! No ammo, my lord. Wait, is all my ammo crates like max out? No. Why can't I craft ammo? Is that all my bu bullet crafter on the map? They're not even all selected, are you joking? Oh, you have to select, oh my God, this is so annoying. All right, uh, okay, there's more. I think that's all of them. There we go, now, now they're crafting ammo. There you happy now. Now we have the outpost defense of the game. You're welcome. You're supposed to defend these Promethean core, but I'm too fucking lazy to get into shit. Actually, I don't even think my base can fight this. What the fuck is going on? I think I buffed the enemy a little bit too much. That's a lot of explosions. Now you can share outposts to your friends. Oh, cool. They'll take a two days rest. They're human after all. I'm fine with that. There are the ciphers. What are the ciphers? The ciphers allows you to put more buildings on the map. Like you see those turrets on the uh, top uh, to the right, these small artillery formations. Uh, they allow you to use brick materials to build up to a limit. So basically, your limit can be expanded by the amount of deciphers that you decide to place down. Basically. It will box produce. It will cross produce. First set of bosses are about to start coming in. My Hellfire is kind of just destroying them all. Actually, I don't even know if they're overkilling or not. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. I think he's just absolutely mass murdering stuff. I should hope Beerful isn't missing out on this, because this is what he probably wants to look at the most, is you seeing your base at work. They're adding horizontal cam movement and house move post building. Thank fucking God, it's annoying. Wait, there is already horizontal. Unless you're talking about scrolling in and scrolling out. Is that mine? Oh, that's just the enemy, sorry. 
Make next set of ammo? Oh, what? No, never mind. Just what the fuck? Oh, I guess I was out of resources. Research auto pickup, which will auto pickup nearby. What the? Alt F4. <laughs> Just Alt F4. You know what? Let's try that. Be one of those abuser. Cheese. Failure. Is it cruiser cannon shooting? Well, I have the cruiser cannon focusing on the boss and only the boss. It will only shoot the boss for now. Hello, Leonidas Beard. How's it going? Good morning. You also got YouTube Premium? Oh, I didn't know YouTube Premium. Wait, is my game not running? Oh, there's an update. Apparently there's an update for uh, Infinity Siege. How else? What was, what was the new update? Why not I bruise all F4? <laughs> uh, you, so, okay, YouTube Premium. Oh, okay, so you don't get hit by ads. I mean, it's the same thing on Twitch. Twitch, uh, if you're a sub to my channel, you don't get hit by ads either, YouTube. Also, yeah, YouTube Premium, but I don't know why my chat identity is one of my alt channels. <laughs> Maybe forgot to change it out. Should have hide instead of out in the open? Yeah, I should have. You can't teleport you if you're inside of a building, I think. Were you not in the base? I got teleported by the storm. He he one taps you. Well, now well now I can't get the key, hotkeys to register. I was able to earlier. Maybe you did it pre uh preemptively. I, I don't I'm not too particularly sure. Yeah, I should've I should have just stayed inside the building there. Extended the duration of uh, text prompts when obtaining a new item for the first time. Reduce backpack occupation of cataphract beacons. Oh, is it now a two by two? Optimized loot drop from safes. Ah! Is it better or worse? Space Shadow Wild is in setting, snatch you right off the boat, that fucker. But did you live? I think you're supposed to live, right? Because you can still get hit while inside the shuttle. I've been hit by uh things outside the shuttle before. And when I was just AFK, I was like, wait a minute, why am I grunting? Covering Joe will no longer attract chasers. Oh, that's great. I don't understand why that thing attracts chasers. The thing, it's, it's silent. It just goes straight up. So it doesn't really make any sense. Nah, you were missing. Two were successfully failed. Oh, wait. Were you not, did you not press the button? <laughs> were you just sitting there in the escape shuttle and he pulls you out before you press the button before you can extract? Increase the damage of Kroto's cruise uh, cannons to operators. Decrease the damage of Kroto's cruise to operators. Decrease the damage of Kroto's cruise cannons to operators. Cruise they had cruise cannons? Which one of those? Is that the fucking the Omega one? Kronos Omega? I'm gonna laugh if I stay dead. I'm gonna be pissed. Up, oh, yep. That did nothing. Alright, thank you. Well, there's Carrie, so I gotta spend 2,700 points to get her back, and she's still fucking level one. Cause she died. Well, the good news is. Did I lose my gear? I got my gear back. That's good news. I did all of that just to fucking die because I... Just because I died. So yeah, that's what happens when you die. No, well, I'm probably gonna do some zen gambling. I need to do zen gambling anyways. I might just bring in kinetic ammo. Since we're going Infinity Siege, I might go with a little bit more ammo just to get some level ups. Might try to go for like the first five levels or some shit. It's a little bit annoying. That's really fucking annoying. 
Not like that. I hate that storm motherfucker. He's your anti AFK. Didn't even get any levels out of her. Because we fucking died. Alright, so Carrie is there. Uh, I guess we can do a little outpost show off. Starting Max Evac on the same difficulty right now, just so I don't make the same mistake. Don't AFK. <laughs> just don't AFK. If you see Apostles, get out of the uh, command screen. Because they can suck you in. Leave the command screen. The fuck? Can I put the pillars behind him? It won't. It won't affect the auto reloader, right? I think it does. So what am I gonna do with this? Amplify. What happened to the craft button? That, that's a good spot. I'm fine with that. Small artillery, large artillery. Let's go with maybe small artillery for now. Multiple small artilleries. We shouldn't really need large artillery just yet. What can you upgrade for these larger artilleries, I wonder? Um, I should probably craft one of each. So those are the ciphers. You bring those in and then you're able to craft more like buildings with those ciphers. Combat cover, miner. Um, I need two miners. I think wood miners get enough. Titan spike. I already have one of those. Alright, welcome to my fucking base. Oh. I came back to craft a pillar and I completely forgot about it. I don't have the resource to make a pillar. It requires scrap metal now. Save your changes. Yes, sir. Either way, in the end, I still lose my character. Fix a problem where Envoy died without blood stain because that's a very must have fix for immersive purposes. Yup. High priority. Blood for the blood god. I can respect that. Always about the blood for the blood god. There's my, there's my damage amplifiers. Hopefully, this da amplifies my damage for the um, cannon that I can't really play. There we go. Uh, Alright, yeah. And you can stack the amplifier, I believe. Just that thing is in the fucking way a little bit. This thing's got a shred. It's got a shred everything. Let's fucking go. We love shredding. Alright, so you told me that I could hotkey my uh, ammo production. Well, before we forget about this, uh, let's go and put down the smart steak wheels. I think we're going to put that in one of the engine rooms. Welcome to my battery compartment. Welcome to my engine room. Do I really need Titan Spikes? It allows me to expand production building, but do I really care much about that? I don't want miners. What the hell did I get two miners? The fuck? Two artillery formation. Allows me to build multiple at the same time. 
I don't really care much about Titan Spikes. One of my Hellfire has two of them. Its damage number is 44. <laughs> the other one's one Amplifier has 44, 44 on damage number. It might be random, but by all means, they don't stack. Well, I don't know. How do you even check damage number? How does that work? I think we built everything that we need to do. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have a little fun then. Let's go to Infinity Moon. Kind of want to take a break from grinding, especially when I just Commander died there. Of Outpost 11. Oh, I was about to go back in. I mean, I could do a quick run too. You can assess other die situation. Darkest before dawn. Made it to this wave six. Fought the Chronos on wave six. Fuck off, Faye. Let's go with Carrie. Because she needs a carry. Commander of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization. It's carry, not Faye. Granted. Outpost 11, launch confirmed. In game in command mode, when I press turret guardian, it shows a number of down right. Seems to indicate DPS. Ooh. Heading for the area. That might be very interesting to utilize. Ah, I forgot to set up the the, 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 the fucking hotkeys. God damn it. Stay there as a default setting in the game. Yeah, but somebody else just tried to redo it and then he can't do it anymore. That's what I forgot to do. Like, I, I remember, I knew I, I forgot to, to like, remember to reinsure. Oh, God. I forgot to reinsure my gear. I'm gonna have to leave after the first wave. We need to reinsure again. That, that's way that's way too important. If I lose that, I'll probably rage quit. Those red items are so hard to fucking find. I believe you can get red gear from Infinity Siege. You can't after the patch? Okay, so not only do we need to set up our hotkeys. I do need to set up my first build order. I want to, I want to exactly utilize my build uh, early game build order somehow. Uh, okay, we need power so we can actually harvest some resources. Can't really put down free combat miners just yet. Why am I finding multiple battery packs? That's weird. Anything to salvage or is there nothing to salvage? I don't think there's anything to salvage. Is all the crates in the front line? Probably unfortunate. We don't have enough materials to guard the front line. I mean, I guess you can bring cataphracts over. Maybe that's what I was supposed to use. Where did the other cataphract go? Where did my other ranger go? Oh, are you fucking serious? Okay, we can't defend the line. We're gonna fall back. I have to actually fall back to the main base. Alright, gotta fall. Okay, we gotta fall back. How the fuck do you defend the front line? 
I don't have enough core power to hold this fucking map. Are you serious? Fall back to the second level. I'm lucky. Oh, they're destroying my miners, of course. That's really, that's that's really, really unlucky, though. They're all dying. Pushing up. Bring out the mechs. Where we start with a uh, fucking thumb machine gun. Was there not a game? Was it the was it Power World Chaparath? So what happens now? Uh, if we lose our front line, they spawn from both sides. All sides. Wait, it didn't even give me a chance to say... Oh, there we go. Call you back. Yeah, because we, we need to re fucking uh, ensure our, our, our stuff. I think we're supposed to just lose our front line because I can't hold it. And I think we want to try to put the miner a little bit further back so we can actually, you know, mine the resource without losing the, um, the buildings. So at least my uh, other guys can actually hold the line. And we try to hold this thing, oh, Bob. You're, you're supposed to at least hold one Promethean core, which is thing, this thing which gives you resources and gear. If you can't hold any Promethean core, you're just not going to get gear. So hopefully your base has enough range to, you know, shoot whatever the fuck is out there. Oh, hey, an autoloader. I'm just going to extract with what I had uh, for now. Uh, what happens now? This is the same character. I got him back by paying gold. He goes into the hospital, so... I, I mean, I got some levels at least, so I can put some uh, trade points for her. So I can actually utilize her X. Her X is gonna be her fucking carry. But yeah, you can actually just. You, you can just revive your character back. Oh, got Nebula's coming in. Those are not Nebulas, those are very floaty. Those are indeed very, very floaty. Holy crap. Sometimes lose your character. I lost the character previous to this character completely because she didn't show up in the hospital when I died with her. So yes, you can sometimes lose the uh, character permanently. This game is hardcore after all, but it sometimes can give you for a little bit of leeway. Oh, I should have just used Ranger to get it back up there. I'm so fucking slow without gear. Lands on my Mac. Your ride is here. Time Did we not start the game with a fucking submachine gun? What happened? I played the game for almost a hundred hours. Yes, my character gets sent to the hospital. I have to spend gold to revive her, which I did. I have to go, I have to leave to reinsure my gear because my gear got insured last time. So thank you, whoever reminded me to insure my gear. Outpost first, though. 
being that's a little bit more important, so you can actually, actually know gear is a lot more important. Alright, let's go and configure. Config, config, config. Alright, control one. Control one, create squad. There's, there's a squad. Yep, there we go. Squad's finish. Yeah, that was bugged out. This is control five. And my game crashed. Interesting crash. I was just trying to set up control groups. You have to do them in numerical order. Are you fucking you can't do five before one through through four or seven? That's the stupidest shit I've ever seen in entire game. What the fuck? That has to be a spaghetti pro a pro code problem. That is so stupid. I've never heard of something like that before. I forgot about my fabricator. I should probably slap down some of my fabricators. <laughs> Low key, kind of hilarious at the same time. I just don't know exactly where to put my fabricator. Hello, Conchi. Don't really have space to slap this down. I don't think I'm just gonna give a shit about advanced general fabricator. I think I'd rather just spend more of my material specific. Oh, wait, you can put it up here? Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. All right. Uh, let's try it out again. You guys, control group one. Missile silos, control group two. I don't really want my tower to be control group five. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and put you as control, control group one. Since I use you the most. You guys are control group two. Missile silos to control group three. And that's good enough. I'm I'm done. One, two, three. Done. Uh just making sure all my ammo crates are chosen. I don't think we have enough resource to make another auto loader, but I would like to have an auto loader in the back. I'm gonna double check if I can make another one. Please, advance auto loader, please. Please, 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 please. I think that's exactly the way I want to slap it. Yippee! We got our last over auto loader. My build's complete. For auto loader said this. I still need to fucking get auto ammo crafters. Oh. Well. That's not smart of me. I always forget. Damn. I don't really need to set anything else unless I want to set up my cataphract. But my cataphracts are kind of fucking brain dead. Uh, I think I'll deal with the cataphracts later. I think it's just better to just support my, like, supporting buildings, put down some structures whenever I can, and then call it tops. Dreadnought, say, my lord. So we have seven divided by how many uh, resources I'm bringing in with the character. Well, we gotta go ahead and do the insurance claim. Alright, sure. Done. How many insurance points do I have? 5,600? Let's fucking go. Did I say I want to do a Zen run? Let's do a Zen uh, gambling stream. Sorry, just making sure I have everything here. 
Alright, traits. Long dash, killing enemy with power slash reduces cooldown to 10 seconds. Yes, please. She doesn't have enough attack yet until she gets to the lower levels. Let's go damage reduction first. Explosive, of course, uh, let's see here. Four fitted with an area chip booster chip that boosts the effective range of a core type Z by 30%. It's too bad it only has three fucking openings. We have the rapid core, which probably sell all these basic core systems too. That's why we need guns, man. Alright. Let's go. Time to gamble. <laughs> Elemental rotors? Aren't those pretty decent? I don't think there's a red grade. I'm pretty sure we want to try to get rid of all blues and some purples, but. I don't think there's any red grades here. I, I still wish that it tells me exactly what stats what for each, um, what's the thing Bob called? Uh, Zen. Critical Strike 2. Is Critical Strike broken? It's gonna get rid of its purple. Actually, I want to know exactly what yellows can get here. I, I haven't really used up most of my yellows yet, I believe, so I can probably just look around. I don't know why this is not filtered from, like, bottom to top. It's just, there's a spot, and then it just takes it. That's it. A little bit low-key annoying. Energy arc. I wonder what that is. Checkmate, strong four, cascade. How strong is strong? <laughs> I don't know how strong is strong is. Missile intensify, slash around. I think there's purple. Most purples we kind of want to keep. You're a big ass forehead on someone's massive TV. My big ass forehead? Wait, was somebody's fucking watching me, Shavarath? Is that what you're saying? I think you should restart up the game. I did. I just did. When I Alt F4, I, I just restarted and uh, updated the game there. What the hell you mean? Oh, someone else's TV? Oh, somebody's watching me? Yeah, it's already updated. <laughs> Someone else is watching me. That's hilarious. Uh, that's funny. You hear him, chaps? Somebody else is watching me. On the big-ass television. Widescreen television, I'm guessing. Uh, geez, fuck, I just put shielding range. I just wish this wasn't so buggy. Inferno. I can probably get rid of some of the Inferno skills. March on to... I need to know some of these skills I need to get rid of, so like, maybe I should just pop up my notepad and just check real quick to see exactly which, like, which one of these I want to get rid of. Fuck, dude. Oh, that's so hard as hell. It's just, I don't, I don't know what to get rid of. Fire affinity, I guess. Light strike. Is that green? Yeah. Is it the one that, like, provides percentage damage? I don't remember. Get rid of Cryo. Fuck Cryo. Cryo's garbage. Divine Might. I need to start re-looking at some of these, um things. Spray cannon, we can probably get rid of some of them. I'll keep two of these divine weapons. Close quarter combat, divine might, detonate, mend, load, reloads turrets. Just gonna get rid of that. Pull. Crowd affinity level two. Pull is big suck. I actually really like chain. Chain's really nice. Oh. Didn't know I can do that. Get rid of barrier. I'm not really a support type of player. Pyro. Chain and Mighty Swing. Mm, we want to keep Chain and Mighty Swing. Got one strong forward, two cascade. Electro extract. Don't want a sniper shot? I do. Sniper's for bosses. I'll also want to make it shoot faster. 
Then again, I can also use light shot. I don't know. I don't know the range capabilities. Splinter? I hardly even know him. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what I need to get rid of here because it's it's, it's 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 okay. I'm, I'm just gonna go through my Zen. I think it's just better for us to go through our Zen and not look through this. Funny how Zen is in a completely different category too. Wait, is it? Dang, look at the base warehouse for this stuff. Like gear, it's not under gear. We can sell these two weapons since I'm here. How uh, evil's others? It's not in here. Wait, no, it is in here somewhere. Is there like a different fucking? Oh, there's a batch cell. I, I just realized there's a batch cell button there. Um, it should be underneath gear. Or, uh, I, I think it's under others. Wow, so it shows up in all, but it doesn't have a category in the base warehouse. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, yeah, someone can stalk you, Shabra. That's kind of hilarious. Wait, it, how do you see it? it my, my camera's tiny. I feel pretty proud. I mean, then, then again, there are some, like, uh, people that I know out there that actually watch me on, a, like, a plasma screen or some shit. It's just some big-ass TV. I was like, oh, shit, yeah, no, you're just gonna slap that thing up there. Torment 2, hitting an enemy, uh, weakness triggers for piercing. Deals damage equal to 1% of enemy max health. Ah, uh, that's how you stack Torment 2 and you can just completely shred a boss with Torment 2. I see. Hitting a target will call an artillery strike to buffet the area. I'm gonna, uh, what's up, dude? Oh, there he is. Jeez, I had to just have to Google it. Insurance worked out. Let's fucking go. Remember to insure. Uh, oh shit, this looks really cool. I just realized you're on fuck. Man, I thought you were. I was looking for you in uh, Twitch chat. I was like, where the fuck did he go? And then you're on YouTube, which I respond like much later towards. Uh. Any Atari will call it artillery strike the buffet area. I think that's okay. -ish. Something I. Yeah, I don't really care much about. Warping you get rid of. Any Atari teleports all items and caught. Any Atari teleports all items and caught within the area in front of the player. How far, though? How, how good is that? I, I don't even know the radius. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just going to type in warp here because we're going to get rid of warp. Uh, Radiance. Light up target marks and reduces the armor of enemies when it, when it hits. Probably need to build at least... Uh, I think we're going to keep radius. Splitter. His end allows one bullet to split into five homing bullets. Hitting a target spawns several landmines. Scatter grenades fine to keep. Gravity... Creates a black hole when hit, but pulls enemy in. Inferno, high damage with a gradually increased rate of fire. It has an increase of rate of fire? Hmm. Inferno is a charge up skill. I mu you need a you need a gun with drum bags for Inferno to work. I can get rid of sub Inferno. Uh I'm gonna type in some Inferno, because I don't need a lot of those. I think we can just keep two for now. Light. We can get like keep like two lights. Mend, hitting a friendly building heals it. Unless there's like a higher tier men, then we'll probably get rid of men too. I don't think, I, th I don't know if there's a hit men three. Shoot eight bullets in random direction. Who's, uh, yeah, scatter shot something we get rid of for sure. Scatter shot. We have elemental rotors. Moderately reduces firing intervals. Moderately increases elemental buildup. I think that's okay ish. Moderately reduces fire interval. Uh, wait, wait, the damage rotors. So we have an elemental rotor. So this reduces, both of these reduces fire interval. This increases damage. Reduces fire interval. I think that's what you want. That, 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 that increases uh, attack speed. Missiles fine. Release three. Boosters then bodily increase radius. Oh shit, I didn't realize we have that many releases. That's actually kind of nice because I can just slap that into uh, some of my AOE skills. Uh, damage and efficiency fluctuate randomly and greatly. Unstable 2. Is it, was it Unstable 2, like, not really that good? Because it just fluctuate by a large amount, even though it increases DPS. It's just, you're playing your gotcha game with your damage. You have a feeling that the game is feeling better? We're about to find out. Hitting enemy applies light strike and elemental build up to two other enemies. Hitting an enemy applies light strike and elemental build up to two other enemies. Deals additional low strength damage. So he spreads out the damage. Increase the point of relevant uh, elements and trigger uh, elemental effects at 100 points. I think we can get rid of elemental entangle. I'm not really a fan of that. 
there's other AoE skills that just technically don't. The, the, basically, what I see from Elemental Entangle is that it's a uh, chain skill. Damage Entangle. Hitting an enemy applies Blood Strike to one other nearby enemy. Grits an extra attack that deals 50% damage but won't crit. Ew, but <laughs> Wait, it doesn't even crit anyways, right? The game doesn't even crit. Does the game crit? I remember you saying something about where crit rate is a dead stat. I'm going to wait for that later. Increase elements to build up and slightly reduce damage. Purify 2 we can get rid of. There are way, actually, no, there, there are builds out there that would work with Purify 2. I think we should keep some of them. So, some Purify 2. Cascade 2. Okay, we can get rid of all Cascade 1. Cascade 2 is fun to have. Energy Arc. Shoots an arc that pierces enemy. Um, This one's what really caught my attention, but we can get rid of some Energy Arc. Some Energy Arc. That's a modifier, right? That's a morph, yeah. Typically speaking, I want to try to keep at least two of each morph. Slash around. Deals three damage three seconds after a hit. Deals three... Wait, deals three damage three seconds after a hit. Deals three damages. I don't know what that means. You know what that does, Zero Zynga? Divine Might. Hitting a target deals an extra random value damage. Morph Zen has a different effect when coupled with different elemental. We can get rid of Divine Might. Chain intensity intensify two greatly increase radius but slightly increase costs. That's okay. Means that after three seconds it procs three times. It's a delayed burst attack. So is it strong? I feel like that could be really strong. I'm gonna get rid of some of them anyways. It's a morph, so I have like a bunch of them. Some slasher two. We get rid of all intensify one. We keep the intensify two. There's heavy for a large caliber round. Spray cannon. Fires light missile at a uh, rather high firing rate. Mighty swing. Hits against a full enemy with full HP are guaranteed to crit with slightly increased crit damage. I might just get rid of crit. I don't like slasher at all. Okay, well, let's ju we'll just keep two still. Mighty swing. I might get rid of mighty swing. Deals increased damage to enemy above 80 HP. Let's get rid of mighty swing. Surprise 2. Deals dam increased damage to enemy above 80% HP. That's a little bit better. Don't know by how much. Unless I just want to get flat damage increase. I think flat damage increase is just technically just seem, uh, simply a lot better. Especially if you get the yellow version. So we can probably get surprise, rid of surprise 2. Pursuit. Hitting an enemy weakness trigger a combo strike. Grants an extra attack that deals 100% damage. Pursuit can actually work. It could, it's an anti-boss skill. Uh, continuously fire a beam that slowly increases in damage. Uh, let's see here. Oh, focus. Focus is bad. I'm not a fan of focus. Limited range. Any enemy triggers a light strike. We have light strike, obviously. Friends, I'm still getting, like, green stuff. What about red? Apex Predator. Damaging enemy with more than 80% uh, HP remaining. Applies piercing six times. Uh, nope. Wasn't there, th there was one where we are automatically apply the, um, apply the light strike. So you want light strike. That's, that's absolutely okay. But having it above 80% or piercing, sorry, not that light strike. Well, trash versus regular mob. Yeah, I'm looking for those. This could be decent, but we can get rid of some of them. Some elemental scatter shot. Uh, what's next? Elemental hunter. Damage enemy with more than 80% HP remaining additionally triggers elemental build. I think, like, these are not anti-boss. And if you want something that's above 80% HP, that's for, like, smaller mobs, like, maybe a large target. So you can get most of the damage booster, and then you want to try to one-tap them. But elemental hunter is not going to be one of those. I'm gonna get rid of all the affinities. You you can uh you, you can probably do like um elemental builds, but I don't think I really want to. Elemental ball scales real movement speed. I mean I do make a really fast movement speed build, but I don't think I want elemental ball. I 
Extract three. Increase elemental buildup. Extract. Advance. Increases zen efficiency. I don't even know what zen efficiency does. People say that it decreases the amount of ammo cost, but it doesn't really change the stats. So I'm probably just going to get rid of it. Rather just make it hit harder. Any mechanical enemy grants an even higher chance of recovering the bullet. Recovery 2 is fine. I think recovery 2 is fine. We can get rid of recovery 1. Multiplier 2. Bullet travels more, uh, deals more damage and gain increased efficiency the further it travels. Multiplier is actually kind of nice versus bosses, given the fact that most bosses out there, like especially Chronos bosses. And of course, strong. We'll get rid of the low level strong, keep the higher ones. Probably keep the purple ones too. Critical strike, critical strike. Uh. Do I really want to go for heroic? Because I'm looking for morphs, and you don't really... Sorry, I'm looking for boosters, and I don't think there's a red morph or booster. It's a dead stat? Okay, so we can get rid of it. It's just something that's just uh free to gamble then. So I guess we should be gambling for boosters then. then. Yeah. Uh, critical strike, slightly increased crit chance when hitting an enemy's weakness. I think I'm just going to get rid of critical strike. Critical strike. What is what, what, what up advancing there? What's advanced? Yeah, 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 yeah. advanced is an actual word. Thrifty, thrifty can be okay ish. Hitting and target increases field. Actually, I don't know if I really want thrifty. Slightly reduces ammo cost. I'm just, uh, we'll keep it just in case. Actually, no, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Cooldown field hitting a target creates a field that reduces the firing interval of allied units within the area. We can probably keep some of the cooldown field if I ever want to do a support build. Massively increases damage and moderately increases cost. We have boosters that increases damage and slightly increases cost. Um, increases damage, slightly increases cost. Condense. Well, we want condense too if we want to increase the cost. Cluster Missile, can probably get rid of those, some of those. Deals massive, increased damage to the enemy with low HP. Checkmate can be decent for spray weapons. Yeah, checkmate can be absolutely okay for spray weapons. Chain, we'll keep the chain. Chain's only purple, okay. Bull deals more damage the shorter it travels. March on too, increases the bullet's initial travel speed. I'm just gonna get March on. It's a waste of DPS. Learn how to lead. Or learn how to just, you know, control gravity, I guess. Just to control gravity. It's just that simple. We play in a game that has, like, uh, fucking inhuman skills. Barrier. Detonate. Greatly increased radius, but moderately increased firing interval. I already have radius increase, so I'm going to get rid of detonate. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, Backstab. Increase the damage dealt to enemy from behind. Backstab's bad. Load. Hitting a turret restores ammunition for it. I don't think see, there's a load too. I can get rid of load. I can get rid of pull. Hitting a target heals all allies within range and grants five stacks of corresponding elemental resistance. Healing range can be a support weapon. Adrenaline melee. Hitting a target restores stamina to friendly targets and greatly boosts their melee damage. Oh! Oh wait, is it just V? Not the skill. Increases cryo element to level the slot or converts the slot to cryo element. Oh. Oh. I should be keeping these things. Okay. Yeah, we want to keep the uh, electro stuff because I want to convert most of my weapons to electro. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll keep electro. Um, all right. So I have my list of uh, Zen that I can just get rid of. The wrong button so we're looking for here uh we're not looking for heroics we're looking for legendary require points 50 really cheap all right so elemental rotors i believe we can keep both elemental and el uh yeah, we can keep both elemental here elemental and tangle we can keep uh critical strike this is the one that we can get rid of Jack Frost, what's up, dude? Do you need to sell everything in valuables early on, like rad and alloy? No, keep your keep keep those. Later on, you'll get like random merchants that you can just trade it in. You can trade in for like efficiency points, research. Uh, it just depends on what the extra trader uh, decides to like, you know, buy from you. 
up to a limited amount. So keep those in your uh, storage. Mission, they're, they're called mission items too. Uh, so yeah, definitely keep them in my opinion. Elemental ball, probably go with one more. Do I need, I need a button green. Green, 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 green. Divide might, watch five, all right. Elemental ball, release three. I have no idea what any of these are. Because it doesn't show me the color. All right, you done? Well, I'm gonna keep, let's keep at least two, three spray cannons. Power of affinity. I think this is fine to get rid of. Light strike. Light, no, you want pierce, not light strike. Uh, that's gonna be a filler. Cryo, we can get rid of cryo. Close quarter combat. Probably can get rid of this. Is level one detonate? I think detonate's also. Yep. Get rid of detonate. Men two. I haven't seen any other healing items, so we'll keep men two. We can get rid of load. Pulls fine. Get rid of cryo affinity is fine. Get rid of chain. We got three of those to multiplier. I think multiplier. Multiplier is the one that. Okay, we want to keep multiplier. Remember that. Strong three. Might get rid of strong threes to get more of the yellow strongs. Barriers. Get rid of that too. Pyro. There's a new patch out. Wait, should I go for heroic? I wonder if I should just go for heroics. Because it gives me a. Does, not, does that not give me a higher chance of getting like yellows? I wonder if chance is actually uh, effective. The more that you, the more poison you spend. Do you know anything about the zero zingo? You got better shots of yellow. All right, let's go for heroic then. That was kind of a waste for the first set, but whatever. Live and learn. Detonate men. Load pull. Be water, okay. my Thank you. <clears throat> A barrier. Skip pyro. I only want electric. Energy arc. Which one is that again? Is that the one that I always pierce? I, I don't remember. Uh, we'll keep the chains. Mighty swing. I think I wanted to get rid of mighty swing. I did. Because it was for like anything above 80% HP. Damage and Tangle, I believe this is also something we can get rid of. Okay, maybe not. I don't have it on my list. El there's Elemental and Tangle. Oh no, we want to keep Damage and Tangle. We get rid of Elemental and uh, Tangle. Checkmate. Oh, check checkmate could be pretty decent, but honestly, I think around I just have flat damage. Let's go with flat damage. Damage Rotor. Don't remember if I wanted Damage Rotor or not. Damage Rotor was the one that we wanted to keep. Elemental Rotor was also the other thing that we wanted to keep. Strong 4, Cascade 2, you can get rid of Cascade 1 whenever it shows up. There's Electro. Extract 2, Extract 2 is a thrower. March on. I like how my mouse wheel is no longer working. Oh, my full. I'm full. I see. Uh, it's because he's out of checkmate that we decided to put in. So I need eight pointer, which is extract. All right, done. Three, four, five. I got elemental hunter. I got radiance. The West. That's a red. Cluster missiles are red. Okay, that's a double red. Whammy, nice. March one, march on, I believe it's, yep, we can throw a march on. Pinpoints, artillery, condensed two is fine, unstable two. Unstable is the bad one. Recovery, ammo recovery will keep, close quarter combat, we'll get rid of all those. Thrifty, yeah, thrifty's, uh, thrifty's incre decreasing, like, intervals. I think this is also decent to keep. Actually, no, there's, there's a better one. Advance, increase elemental buildup, sorry, advances. Yep, let's throw over. Recovery 2. Oh, wait, there's recovery 1. We can get rid of the recovery 1 then. That's a lot of recovery 1 that we got back. I just put 2 in and gave me 2 back, but it gave me Slash Around and Radiance. We can get rid of uh, Slash Arounds. Hello, oh, Subquake. You've been playing this on staff for so many days. How much there game is there left? I'm almost done. Um, I'm, I'm streaming something else tomorrow. We're going back to a little bit of Survivor games uh, tomorrow.
Pinpoint, condense, recovery, backstab. Let's get rid of backstab. Condense to condense is fine. Recovery is fine. Pinpoint. I think uh, some of the uh, tabs got thrown away when I ran out of the Zen. Condense one is fine to get rid of. Elemental Hunter is the one that we want to get rid of. Warp is also the one that we want to get rid of. Cluster Missiles. We have a bunch of them. Oh, that was perfect. Let's just have so many of them. See tower range now? You can see the range of all your stuff? Fuck yeah. Perfection. Great update. We can get rid of detonate. Release. I think release is something that we keep. I don't remember what release is, but I'm pretty sure releases is some. Oh, release is the AOE increaser. Splitter? A Harley Manua. Splitter is not on the list that I want to get rid of. So I think we'll keep it for now. Radiance. Get four of those and get rid of one. Intensify. Low level intensify, I believe. Yeah, it's low level intensify. I'm pretty sure. But if I see a one, there should be a two. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Surprise, bitch! All right, getting rid of surprise. Strong two. Keep strong two. That's a missile. Intensify. Okay, so I didn't see anything about getting rid of intensify. So we're probably gonna keep intensify here. What's up, Tyler Grandmaster? How's it going, dude? We do have ad break, so I'm gonna take a quick little breaky break here because I gotta use the restroom real quick. So we'll be right back. Back. Give me the good cheers, Liam. Probably should start treating my chair like I treat my hamster. <sighs> Take the fuck out of it. Alright, anywho, uh, welcome back, Rice Lads. Still back at it. Intensify. That's something that we keep. Torment! I think that, that is... Why can't this just be in alphabetical order? 
Why do they have to, like, fucking spread it all over the goddamn place? I think Torment's something we keep, too. There's slash around. There it is. Holy shit, that's a lot of slash arounds. Uh, I need a 424. Don't think there's a 24 sitting around. Oh, probably get rid of two heavies. I can't because for some reason this doesn't want to go up. There we go. That was weird. And then one more eight. Adrenaline melee. It's going to get rid of it. All right. I got strong three. Let's go. Those are the one I'm looking forward to. Torment heavy. What else is there? Oh, shit. Did I get rid of all of my... Oh, well, whatever. Slash. I, I think I got rid of all the slashes on accident. Cooldown field. We can get rid of one. That's a morph. Pursuit 2. No pursuit. No 2 pursuit 2. Unless there's a pursuit 3, which I haven't seen any yet. Get rid of extract. Light. Get rid of 5. Checkmate, get rid of all. Scatter grenade, we got three. Cascade. Oh, sorry. I was looking at points, not stock. Oh no, I messed up. I think I done fucked up. Ooh. Oh, oh, that sucks. Rid of cascade. Energy affinity. What the fuck is an energy affinity? I got energy arc, but not energy affinity. Got a lot of elemental scatter shots. Apex predator. That was the one that we can get rid of. Yep. There's my scatter shot. Is that just overflow? No, we gotta look for eights again. Ah, we we ran out of eights. I guess we just gotta throw it in a scatter shot. Fuck it. <clears throat> in Infinity mode, if you die, you lose your stuff. You need to insure. I insure just to be safe, but I absolutely have no idea for that question. Sorry. I started playing Infinity uh Infinity mode more often now. This is like my first time starting to get, like, go ham in Infinity mode, so I apologize. I do not have enough information. Get rid of all purify. Uh, I want to keep at least three inferno. March on. Definitely throw that away. Healing range. What is that again? That heals just in case. Critical strike. We can get rid of all these critical stuff. All right, let's go out. Let's try to refresh the list. Now we got to redo it. <laughs> Check rate level two. Get rid. Recovery. Uh, recovery's fine. Spray cannon. Get rid of three. Slash around. Get rid of five. Then I'm going to scatter shoot three. Light strike one. Men two. Chain. Multiplier. Strong three. Energy arc. Uh, chain level seven. Damage and tangle. Damage and tangle is the keeper. I don't know exactly how much damage it gives, but I don't think it gives enough. I think damage and tangle and damage road damage road is like the level up one. I, I don't really know. I'm gonna have to double check once we were able to like look at it again. Condense two. Is that the harder hitting uh, skill? It is. At least three splitter. All the newer radiance. At least three is AOE. Strong two. That's fine to get rid of. Missile 2. Intensify. I gotta relook at Intensify. That, that looks like a morph for whatever reason. I don't think Pursuit's in here. I just gotta make sure to double check. Alright, it's not in there. I think I saw Energy Infinity. Elemental Entangle. I forgot that we can get rid of this. Get rid of all elements of entangle. Okay. Ugh. 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 It just gave me fucking. It gave me the same exact fucking update or upgrade. Give me checkmate two again. And casket. And march on. Oh my god. It's elements of entangle again. Yeah. 
Yep, get rid of all that. Spray cannon. Is one of the best then. It'll give you a ton of damage. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping him. Already died in the first try to snow level and I had good gear. Oh shit, yeah, dude. I, I understand your pain. Did you know you can well you already know that you can insure? Yeah, I died like twice before I started insuring my stuff because I didn't realize you can insure your stuff. So someone pointed it out. I was like, what the fuck wait, you can? <laughs> so I already lost like two sets of good gear. I haven't lost any red gear yet. I think I'll be more like pissed off if I lost red gear since red gear are extremely hard to find. Well, seems like that's enough gambling because I don't think there's anything else I can gamble here. Critical strike, get rid of those. Healing range. Uh, let's get rid of three healing range. Infernal, scatter shot. Energy infinity, elemental ball. Get rid of elemental ball. Elemental rotor, we can keep. Yep, infinity. What about elemental infinity? That's energy in, in, uh, infinity, not elemental infinity. Don't know if that's the same exact shit, but we can do two reforge. That'd be good enough. Oh, I got another fucking chain. Alright, so how do we want to do this? We can probably give it different modifications too. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these injections because I'm going to actually revamp uh, on how I do things here. Wonder how chain works on uh, chain. Does anybody know how chain works on chain? <laughs> I feel like you just make a massive AoE skill with chain skills. Just, uh, just saying. Why do I keep doing that? Wait, I was gonna swap this thing out for something else. Um, inject for now. Where's Inferno? Might keep Inferno. Fires, light, missile. Where, where's Inferno at? I want to see the ammo cost. Inferno should have been the purple. Ammo cost is 10 per shot, so I can only shoot it 18 times without a drum mag. I need a drum mag for that, then. Um, spray cannon, slasher around, elemental scatter shot, deals damage in a frontal fan, chain, uh, gravity. Can you put multiple chain down? Replace green zen? You can put down multiple chains. Holy fucking shit! That's actually kind of that's kind of sick. Shoots an arc that pierces enemies. Hitting a target will call an artillery strike. Something that just has low cooldown. It's probably Inferno. There's light. 0 0.2 second for light. Why do I keep Seattle shot? That, 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 that's the thing that we want to get rid of. Multiple times, yeah, I know. High damage with a gradually increasing rate of fire. All right, uh, let's take a look at heavy. Heavy that twenty bullets. How much does chain uh cost in terms of resources here? If I put it down another one, does it multiply on top of each other? I don't think it does. It doesn't. All right, um. Activity all deals massive damage to enemy with low HP. Project big two, body swing. Oh, I can still have those. What the fuck? I think we're gonna get multiple multiplier because this is a sniper shot weapon after all. It's like, damn, I'm just gonna like put one chain down, um, and then more multiplier. Trying to make sure Morph Zen would hit. Hitting an en friendly enemy building hits it. Moderately increased damage. Hitting enemy applies. Blood strike to one nearby enemies. Moderately reduces firing range. It's every two seconds, increased damage. Greatly increased damage when having a single round cost more than 120. See, that's what I want for Cascade. Massively increased damage and moderately, uh, moderately increased costs. Massively increased damage, moderately increased costs. Okay. I wonder how much that gives in terms of damage. It doesn't cost that much. It gives me at four. I think we might put one condense down. Unless I just want pure condense instead of multiplier. Bullet deals more damage against increased efficiency the further it travels. But how much do we get in terms of multiplier versus? Uh, I don't think it tells you. 
barely enough. Okay, what about condense? Oh my god. Condense gives you so much more damage. It doesn't increase that much cost. Here's the four piercing with torment. Combo strike. Uh, Motley increases fire and evolve. Motley increases damage buildup. Uh, let's go with strong. No, not strong. Sorry. Condense. Where's condense at? I'm going to try a condense build. Greatly increase damage when having a single round more than 120. So we'll get four condense on you. That means I can shoot it like twice. Per shot before I have to reload. 58. Oh my goodness. Massive damage. Three times. I can shoot three times with a 180 clip. I just want to keep seeing the damage. I don't know what longevity means. So we have that many chain. Um. Also, I can slap the one that gives me a combo strike. Any enemy weakness triggers a combo strike, which is great against bosses. So far, uh, I, I just sold all my Apex Predators. Seems to be slightly OP. It's because this so I think the way the reason Apex Predator works is that uh they have to be above 88% HP, which I get rid of those because you know it's 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 just not gonna be good against bosses, especially how it works. Dot dot damage, as long as if you want something that's above 80% HP, you want to one-tap them. They are amazing. Yeah, it does one percent damage per hit. I know. You, you, I feel like you're supposed to put that on a uh, spraying weapon. I was going to put on a spraying weapon, but there's other stuff that I want to try with spraying weapon. While it reduces fire intervals. Just give me a second. Where is the uh, combo strike? So we have a chain combo strike. I want to try this out and see what happens. Against bosses, yeah, no use. Exactly. But like on smaller enemies, I, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Damn. So we can condense this bad boy right here. Or chain it. Triggers an extra morph that would hit. I want to try that out. So we have chain, and then because we have chain, we can ca stack cascade. What is thing? Cascade, cascade. So it greatly increases damage uh, when having a single round cost more than 120. So it costs 150 to shoot this thing, and then we just slap down cascade too. Wonder a bunch of cascade too. I love that one. A second chain. I wonder like what happens. Okay, I, I want to test this real quick. All right, condense to. I saw where's cascade at. I know I had one more. Cascade, cascade. Do we run out? There it is. All right, and then missiles starts at eighty. They'll fire missile detonate. Greatly increase uh radius, but uh moderately increase fire interval. I think we have the two release moderately increase. Okay, so we want greatly then. I think it's why I lose a little bit of um, interval. Did we only have one? That's an A2. Is it just moving back and forth? Yep. Am I going crazy? No, it didn't move back and forth. I'm an idiot. Gives massive damage increased to enemies with low HP. Greatly increased damage when having more sing around with uh, 120. So we can put Cascade 2 in this bad boy too. Um... <laughs> now what would happen if you put a chain on this thing? <laughs> Oh, I wonder what would happen. Detonate to greatly increase radius. And then um Probably more 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 detonate. I would like to get a second detonate if possible. Let's see. Greatly increase damage when having a single round cost 120. I want to put two cascade here. And then one more um trigger an extra morph zen when hit. Another chain. Another chain would make it really expensive, but it's gotta hit like a truck, so I don't know. Against AO Wayne and single target except bosses gonna test more in room five. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. You should. <laughs> you should, Viking. So it's a, there's a shooting range. Can't you just test it in a shooting range? There's a massive increased damage. Unless there's the, the shooting range doesn't allow you to like completely show out your DPS or some sort, I guess. Moderately increase damage. How much damage we can get with Cascade 2? Probably increase radius. It's either one more radius or. Oh, greatly increase radius but slightly increase cost. I think that's okay. 
I still gotta try to chain for cluster. As long as it's below 180, I think it's fine. All right, now for you, this is Inferno. It's a charge up skill. So typically speaking, you wanna reduce, oh, rip, I got rid of all of my reduced costs, ammo costs. <laughs> uh, uh, rip, big rip. Uses fire interval. Oh, it makes it shoot faster. Where's the one with damage? Didn't have a damage uh rotor. There it is, damage rotor. So violently reduces fire interval, but increases damage. You know that zero point si uh six is actually kind of nice. Can you actually keep stacking it? Oh my god, you can. But it's still at six. I don't know if that one is actually worth it or not. I think I'm gonna stack a bunch of damage first. Can't really use condense on him. Oh wait, yeah, you can. Oh, but it increases cost by a lot. How much damage does he give? I don't think that's worth it. All right, deals massive damage, inc uh, increase enemies to enemy with low HP, uh, hit against enemy with full HP. No, skip that. Hitting a mech enemy grants a chance of recovering a bullet. This is what we want. You want recovery. You want recovery on this weapon so you can charge it up. What's the chance of recovering the bullet? What's the percentage? How many? Do I have to just stack more so I can just infinitely keep shooting? I want to try a full recovery build. <laughs> give me a, give me a second. We can, we can probably let this weapon cook. All right, give me, give me a fucking hot second. Where's the shooting range at? How do I access the shooting range? Was it you? Manufacture, modify Zen, Zen Reforge. Intelligence Center. I think it might be Intelligence Center. Defense Division. Nope. Not you. Dispatch local operatives, not you. Uh, the skirt lady? Wait, she didn't give me a chance to go to the uh, fucking... Wait, she, she didn't give me an option. She didn't give me an option to go to the shooting range. Oh, what the fuck? You didn't have to talk to the lady to use the sentry forger? You first go to modify? Oh. Oh, I see. Your place cord gun, shooting range. What? What? Did we not have a building for shooting range? Lamel. What? All right. Well, let's see. Uh, let's hope it works. And I'm out of bullets. <laughs> I don't think it's recovering ammo. It costs 15 ammo when it says 5 or 10? Lies. Where's the damage number at? How do I reset the button? Move 10 meters away. God fucking damn it. Uh, reset statistics. Yeah, uh... Move 10 meters away. Another 10 meters away. Cause we're using Actually, no, bring it back closer. This is a close range weapon. Closing 10 meters. Alright. And it's on cooldown. Son of a bitch. One million damage. Average damage. Is that good? Is one million average damage good? Oh, welcome back. That was an AOE weapon, so I had to, like, use it, obviously. Uh, alright, sniper shot. That was hitting six mob? Well, that's supposed to happen. Damage is 256,000. 57,000, okay. Damage 257,000. Wait, sorry. Um... It's not really, it's, it's not really resetting the fucking, it, the, the average damage is per damage. Where's, where's DPS? So I'm doing uh, 75, uh, 136, so I'm doing 68,000 damage per sh uh, shot. Okay, well let's use this on him. 46,000 per hit. Oops. K 
can't reset a target when it's dead. <laughs> and I just used my weapon again. Fuck it. Apparently you build your base just about uh had the material load cost and realize uh that it added a turn to the point. Yeah. Hunter thought so you couldn't make able for turn that run at all. Complete throw. Hey, I remember the good old days when I did that. Good old days. I better not count as me as dead. I would have been so salty. Don't talk to me. Wait, the Zen Reforge. Where's, where's the Zen modifier? Is it in this room too? But I actually talk, I have to talk to the lady. Unlucky. My social anxiety is increasing. And I can't contain it. Alright, so don't use recovery on this bad lad. Because apparently it can also up the cost of the bullets. Ugh. I don't know if I should use this. Maybe I should just use light. Let's go with light. It takes time to like kind of build up, and you don't have a. Dr I don't have a drum max, so it's not gonna help. Mm. Check an extra morph when hit. Technically, times two the damage. Bullet well, deals more damage again. Uh, increase efficiency the further it travels. You kind of need a good barrel for this too, I guess. Modly increased fire interval, modly increased damage. Reduces uh interval. That doesn't really look like it reduces a lot of interval. What what, what if I keep stacking it? It's gone. My damage rotor is gone. There it is. Can we, can we stack more? Can we, can we get in 0 0.1? Oh, we got in 0 0.1. Let's go. Yeah, that's not gonna do a lot of damage. It's just gonna shoot fast, but it's not gonna do a lot of damage at all. That's increased damage and probably increased costs. I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, hey, at least she shoots faster. What if I get chain on it? Let's try that out. It's already doing flat damage, so it's already not doing enough damage. Good lord. I think it keeps selecting the character. Oh god. Yeah. Sadly unfortunate, dude. My weapon is gone. I picked the wrong character. <laughs> I chose the wrong character. You know what's funny? It sends me to the hospital. What the fuck, man? Is this where the shooting range is? No. <laughs> the person you talk to to test out your gun is here. Oh, this needs some quality of life. Uh, Let's try this again. Oh, the right character this time. I just, I just want to see how fast it shoots with light. We don't have the double barrel um, either. Which I honestly could probably just change um, in the screen. Let's go with Kenny. Cooperative. So if I... Oh, yeah. I probably should get rid of some of this stuff. Do we have a barrel specifically for a double shot? Mass-produced gun barrel. That slightly increases your hip fire accuracy. Greatly increases the damage dealt. Increases firing interval. That makes it shoot faster. Increases hip fire hip... Wait, what's the two-shot there? There it is. Double tap barrel. Three-shot burst is a shotgun type. All right. Let's try this out. Well, it shoots fast. One full clip takes 84, uh, thousand, does 84,000 damage. Actually, let's move him closer. Reset target. Reset statistics. So 85,000 damage. This thing did 75,000 damage total when he's close. Increase attack speed is not worth it. Now, the further away he is... How far can I move this? So 
17,000 damage per shot. Why did it fluctuate? It's not really good with... Okay, so I don't really want to burst barrel with the, the light shot. That's unfortunate. Or at least you can test out the Hellfire Cannon. There was damage? Maybe I needed to move him further away. Oh, that killed him. Rip. Average damage 59,000. This hit the hardest so far. But of course, long cooldown isn't going to help much. Well, fuck. They changed a lot of stuff, check your six. They, they, they updated it again today, and now they're taking a two-day break. Use that for bosses? No, I'm looking for an anti-large. Sorry, anti-massive. I need an anti-massive. That is my anti-large. Actually, I use it for killing, like, just, um... Mobs, too. It's really good for killing mobs. Alright, so, for some reason, this doesn't do enough damage. Massively increased damage and range. Oh. Oh yeah, I wanted to try the uh, condensed, but I feel like honestly, multiplier might be better here. Any enemy weakness trigger with combo strike. Let's go to multiplier. I don't think anything can top multiplier in terms of damage, especially when you're fighting for anti-massive. This is already super far away, so this helps a lot with DPS. Um, pursuit's fine. Because you're supposed to be using the, the cypher for hitting weak spot. I honestly think this uh, is good enough. I, I don't know if the chain is actually affecting the weapon or not. I sure hope it does. Currently increased damage when having more than a single round. Cause 120. Wait, condense. Isn't this supposed to be cascade? Massively increased damage, mildly increased costs. It's supposed to be cascade. So I got four cascade. Super loud uh, loading cinematic bust my eardrums every time. Do you not do you not bring down the volume? Just bring down the four hour volume, forehead. I would like to have more cascade for the rocket launch, but I guess it's just not gonna happen. Oh rip, I didn't mean to do that. That was detonate, which increases the radius. So we have cascade two. Um I guess we can slap a condense here. I really don't know how chain works for fucking cluster missiles. I don't know if it actually works for the chain either. I feel like that only works for bullets, but for some reason, deep down inside, it actually does work. I, I don't I don't really fucking know here. Right, I think I'm just gonna stack like flat damage for the machine gun instead, instead of like cooking it up. One chain, more damage, it's fine. Uh, massively increased damage and moderately increased costs. Got increased radius, moderately increased damage, we're strong. I got two strong, don't know if I should put that on there. We put two strong. And then we can probably go for mighty, no sorry, combo strike. The combo strike went to the bottom. Where the fuck did it go? I just saw it earlier. Be water, my friend. Thanks. There it is. Any enemy weakness strike is a combo strike. Yeah, so Torment 2 is the one that you're thinking of for Piercing. Piercing is the one that decreases their HP by 1% per hit. I believe that's the one that would completely melt bosses. Increases the damage of Electro Elements. This also doesn't require them to be at a uh, specific HP. Smartly reduces fire interval. Smartly increases elemental buildup. Moderately reduces fire interval. 
Okay, let's go with combo strike one. I still have one more slot. It's at 0 0.4 because of the fucking uh, chain. What if I want to shoot it faster? I feel like this is fine. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try it out real quick. Bullet do more damage for if it's oh yeah multiplier too. That's not really I don't care much about that. There's a mod to skip it. Oh, there is. <laughs> is that the second mod? I know the first mod skips the introduction of the game. Now I realize I can jump back to the starting point of each tour. Face palm. Never have the plan out route perfectly. That's what I figured out in ruins, man. I'm telling you, Viking. I'm telling you. I've always ran into that issue too. Check an extra morph Zen when hit. I already have one chain. I'm an idiot. I don't want to increase cost again, or do I? I mean, shoot slow enough. I, li I like how I just made my gun into like a technically a semi-auto. What do you want? Another pursuit. What do you want, little ham? Hello there. Hello, cutie. Hi, cutie patootie. Are you gonna bite me, you cute little fat fuck? Oh, you're so fat. You're so chunky. Ow, ow, ow. Ow! Yep, she's biting me. Ah! Ah! That one hurt it. Part of the... It's part of the taming process. Just want to tell myself it's part of the taming process. <laughs> uh. Alright, so combo strike, we can get rid of this. I think we can go chain. And then, if I want to try out a torment build... Here you go. This is going to be my anti-boss again. Where's Torment at? Torment, Torment, Torment. There it is. Why does it keep fucking moving to my Zen? Or maybe I'm fucking going crazy here again. Alright, Torment. So that's 16% HP per shot. Losing a hand is part of the taming process. Yeah. What the fuck? It fucking hurts like hell. She fucking bit the shit out of me. Dr. Joker, how's it low? You jump from every node during a tour to the start? Yeah, so what he's uh what he's talking about is that you can um give me a second, I'm gonna choose this before I forget. I will for probably forget. I think this is a regular barrel I was using. Go back to regular barrel. I mean it's insured. Yeah, so what he's saying is that. You can go, let's say there's two ways. You can go, there's two different directions and it's connected towards the center. You decide to go left, clear whatever's left. You can actually return back to the recovery, press escape, and go to the right. That's that's what it means. So yeah. <laughs> yep. I figured that out late too. Don't worry, you weren't the only one. Thought that was insane. Oh, holy Chris, how's it going to do? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. My hands just bit me and you missed it. She's very pissed off for whatever reason. What the fuck, you stupid hamster? Seven thousand average damage. Why do I have this feeling that it's been doing a lot less damage compared to the other weapon that I was using? Uh, anywho. Wow, okay, it's, it's strong. It's really strong. Alright, um, I'm gonna use that build. I think we found the ultimate um, boss build. You have to hit their weak spot if you can find their hit the weak spot, of course. Am I supposed to shoot above them? <laughs> it's too expensive. <laughs> fucking expensive. <laughs> but a job. Hey, welcome back. How's your uh yours today? Always trying to do better. 
Any luck with the iron battery? It's not iron batteries that I'm uh, missing out on. It's, um... What was the other thing? Uh, it's... Nettle processors. Nettle processors allows me to make the Hellfire turrets. Iron batteries... Iron batteries is gonna be for the, um... The, the, the cruiser cannon. We have one of each already. But it's gonna be a long, painful grind to try to get more. Where is that shooting range lady at? There you go. Alright, so, uh... I think we'll try out this build in the middle of a run. I don't think it's that good. Might get rid of the chain. I don't... I don't know. What's the range of the auto rifle? Is it really that good? I don't think it is. Nanoprocessors are literally a bitch to get. Yo, I agree. They are. Nanoprocessors are literally a bitch to get. Yes, they are. Wait, since I already have... Uh, since I already have anti-boss equipment, especially on my base, then again, no. Because of difficulty scaling. This, this, this weapon is best for difficulty scaling. Unless I want light. I don't know if light would be better here instead of uh, if, you, if you want to go with tormenting because you want to try to stack as much uh, torment as possible, right? So let's see here. I want to get rid of this thing, stack in another light, but I'll make it shoot slower because we want to have chain that reduces the cooldown. That allows me to control shots. So one chain, I can get four of those shots. Maybe I could do two chain. Two chain and three torment. So that's 12 times 3, 36. That's 36% 36 damage per hit. So I can instantly vaporize somebody with this build. Give me a fucking second, all right? This is 14 uh, second cost. And then we'll do a pure damage build here. That's one chain. Cost 18 already. This also triggers a combo strike. Massively increased damage and moderately increases cost. Then you can get rid of the. Con I wonder if condense is actually worth it or not. I don't think it is. A bullet effectiveness. Maybe just set up another chain. No. Give me a second. Oh wait, no, the other one. Okay, the other one doesn't really require damage. This one does. Massively increased damage. Okay. Try to go with condense. We do a double condense, double pursuit, one chain for this weapon. Twenty six per shot. Uh, if you look at the damage difference, you notice the damage difference. So I have two different weapons. I want to see the damage between both, in terms of uh, oops. In terms of regular mob, because I think the anti-boss weapon could also be an anti-mob weapon. <laughs> that's thirty-six percent damage per health, by the way. You're not gonna what's happen, but that's just much much more bullet effective. They're gonna they're probably gonna nerf this fucking build. Give me a second. How is work, Holy Chris? Hopefully work has been treating you well. Alright, uh... 2,000 damage. Alright, so that thing took 2,000 damage. I believe this guy's an anti-large. We can just ignore him. He's a, he's a medium, sorry. It's gonna research, reset statistic and research tar, uh, reset target. So that one did 2,000 damage. I, I know they're gonna nerf piercing. Really, chilling? That's always nice to see, man. Chilling, you better be on your phone and be very productive. Very productive during work. Right? <laughs> they're gonna nerf piercing? Well, I'm gonna be the fuck out of it now. <laughs> that makes grinding so much easier, too, if you think about it. Uh, let's just go ahead and remove this then. Huh. 
Well, Tor okay, so Torment only works for like Pierce uh, uh, lock on weapon, I guess. I'm gonna move this all the way up. This is gonna be my main weapon. It's gonna be down. I don't know what I should use for this then. What should I use here? More AoE. Piercing seems to be really shit against anything but the basic bots. <laughs> you forgot that piercing is also... Did, did, wait, did you not try it against bots already? Did you not... Because piercing is basically shooting against... So the thing about pierce is that it takes away 1% of their HP. Torment... Torment doesn't require a limit besides hitting their weak point. So if you hit their weak point, you inflict pierce. So that was my pierce right there. But wait a minute, that guy, wait, wait, if it did percentage HP, how come that thing didn't die? <laughs> wait a minute, he didn't die. <laughs> no, 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 think about it. It's supposed to do percentage HP, right? It didn't kill him. I'm fucking confused now. Am, am I stupid? I'm glad to try this in an actual run, like uh, Infinity Outpost. I'm, I'm kind of done. Um, this thing has high cascade. I think we want to try to like to build a huge AOE chain. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we're going to try to average now because I don't have any more cascade. Unless I want to condense it. I want to condense. I wish I had more cascade, man. Having more cascade would be absolutely phenomenal. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, it costs 184 just because of that one condense. Unlucky. I don't know if chain actually works here too. Don't think chain is absolutely worth it. Mm. Guess I'll just give you strong. Too strong. What I'd give you another chain? 180 flat. That's perfect. 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 Two cascade. I need one more cascade, which I don't have. Can't really increase the cost anymore. What if I put in one release? I feel like one release would help, like, at least hit more targets because i am using this specifically to be an aoe weapon so what if i remove you i'll increase radius uh increase damage increase damage we can replace one of the strong with cascade up here okay i'm not even going to test it. i'm just going to go into infinity siege and test it there <laughs> we, we are ready sorry sorry about the very long wait or am I really sorry? Who knows? Um, Infinity Siege. That hamster hurt. That hamster really fucking hurt, dude. She, she went fucking straight for that finger. I didn't think they'd be that aggressive. It's just, how could something be so tiny yet so deadly? Carry to carry me, please. To carry me. Carry me, Muscle Bobby. So the plan is to abandon. Commander of Outpost 11. Fair outpost track. 11. Launch confirmed. Sorting. The front outpost. We'll try to keep the outpost in front of us alive so we can get re uh, free shit. But we're going to get hit from multiple angles, so I got to keep ammunition production going. Let's fucking do this. That hits the spot. Can you just tell me where to find the blueprint of the triple barrel guns? 
If you want to, if you want the cruiser cannons, you want it to go to a construction site. And it's on top of a, um, it's, it's on top of some random ass vehicle in the middle of the open, just some place that you never expected, at all. That, I, I remember that clearly. It's in ruins too. I also have the blueprint command if you're looking for blueprints right here. If anybody's interested, outpost BP. So that would also get you exactly where it is. It's the only one I can't find. Dude, I, I randomly found it in the most, in, like, let's see here, most conspicuous spot. It's, it's just, it's not part of a point. It's just somewhere in one of the wrecks out there. And I thought it was hilarious. Strike Freedom, thanks for the uh, follow, by the way. Appreciate it, man. I thought that was hilarious. That's so fucking funny to me. So don't look, don't look at boy. Just, just look, just look at him. Just, just look around the map. It's, 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 it's a random ass boy that has no loot except a blueprint. Now, see the things that don't that I'm saying around probably doesn't make any sense. But uh, you'll probably thank me later. I, I don't really know what to tell you, man. It's just, it's just hilarious where it was when I found it. Ooh, Let's go in four each for now. Give me a second. I gotta reload all my auto reloader. Pop knuckle. I appreciate the follow. Welcome on in, man. One, two, three, four. Can it be in City 5 then? It can be in any of the ruins. But uh, I'm, I'm not too particularly sure. I didn't find it in ruins uh, 5. Or did I? Maybe I did. I have no idea. I don't remember which ruins. I just know it's in, it's in ruins and it was in a snow biome of ruins. What the fuck? Why is it not letting me eject my cataphrag? Game? Hello? Is there a reason why I can't eject my cataphrag? Zero energy? Oh, it costs energy to eject cataphrag? What the hell? Yeah, I know where the power is. I didn't realize it costs power to eject them. That's hilarious. News to me. Don't come back here. What the? It's just fucking rubber banded. Swashbuckler or something need pirate stuff. Thanks. Sure know I am. Love what? Let's fucking go. It's so sexy! That did like no damage. <laughs> I think. I I'm not too particularly sure. Only the Ranger that my knife still is causing the power, and I still have just two. Will you plunder my booty? I think it's because they, they just updated the game, Ace. Fuck Phoenix. What's up, dude? I think I was gonna use like power to get more materials or something. I'm gonna wait like at least for 2800 power just so I can actually, uh, What's that thing my Bob called? I don't know why I placed down that outpost. That was a waste of my 500 resources because I need to reload my guns. Reloading guns more important. Hello? Where's the enemy at? Oh, you fucker. 
Fuck you in particular. All right, time to get more ammo or power. Emmy, you only chum. Hey, Lamel. You cringe bastard. Don't you ever say that to me ever again? Uh, kill the enemy outside of the X with regard to punish your materials, summon a supply drop, and obtain these rewards. I don't think the early rewards are worth it. Yeah, you want to wait for later rewards. If you look at the top right, that's what you gain from those supply drops dropping in. So you want to try to go high as possible late game, not early on. I think that's how it works. I'm not too particularly sure. Also, what the fuck did I just listen to? What are you trying to te uh, test out zero? What's up, Muffin Man? How's it going, dude? Burt, 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 you right. You was right. You was right. Burt. Oh, hey. Some more guns for me to use. What a deal. You love guns. I'm gonna put a machine gun up there, too. Oh, I'm an idiot. Cannon next is Lamel. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, I almost fell off. Hey, you used to be placed this up here, all right? I thought you could just place it up here. I guess you can't. I, uh... Hey, the latest update now allows you to place down, like, artillery cannons. What a deal. I think we're just gonna place it like back this year a bit. I don't know. I need to get an auto loader. It's gonna put in your fucking. It's gonna help me kill the Kronos whenever we get the chance. What the fuck? It's not killing a tiny thing! Because I'm not hitting the weak spot! Now that I think about it, how the fuck am I gonna kill spiders? <laughs> You do other voices in power. I might change out my TTS. I might swap over to a different program. I got. I just gotta spend some time to do it. You did? What just deployed? What the fuck just deployed? What? 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 Need bug spray for spiders. Bug. Can I delete this? I don't think you can delete this outpost, can you? Oh. Nope, you can't. I love the fact that we can put two fabricators here for an outpost. It's hilarious. Any sprayers? I don't even know her. Unfriendly reminder that you should go flank yourself. Hook Hank looking ass. Lost a leg to a whale. Whales don't even have teeth, bro. The bell. What the actual fuck? God, give me my next reward! Give me, give me! Give me! Any bullet lovers? My gun's too strong. I can just AFK. I <laughs> uh, lost one of my miners. Unlucky. Don't even think it's worth putting a second miner down. I don't know. Are there enemies I need to kill? Oh, hey. <laughs> so what happens if uh, the timer runs out? Does he die? No, he just stays there. All right. Are they just trying to shoot my fucking combat miners? I didn't even kill them. Alright, I need one more. So good thing I have like three on each side. I need a nuke.
How's a bullet? Is this thing full yet? Nope, it's just spraying it out. Cause this ammo crate starting to stack up. That's good. I like seeing ammo stack up. It's always a good sign. I don't think you have enough guns. Yeah, true. We don't have enough guns at all. You'll be fogging it back. Enemy attack will increase by 25%. Mm, yeah. Yep, so the longer you survive, the more the more the more like uh goodies that you get. So you definitely don't want to like um Portable CIWS, let's fucking go. You definitely don't want to, like, waste uh, those type of, like, stacks early on. You guys catch my drift? Did y'all catch my drift? I hope you guys caught my drift, because I, I have no idea what my drift is. What's a drift? Oh my god, Zero Zing, why would you do this? Is that, is that like revenge for me saying, uh, imagine dragging these nuts across your face because you fell for the oldest trick in the book, you dumbass. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Back to figure the auto shoot. It's auto shooting uh, large targets, massive targets, basically the bosses. Which the bosses are not here yet. So, no, not yet. You make 27 battery packs? Let's fucking go! Easiest fucking 80 power per battery pack. Almost 2,400 there. Oh, we got an ad break. I gotta use Russian. I'm gonna be right back. You trying to be a rat while I'm going away? Damn it away then. This is the rat jam stream after all. It's just that hamster's not awake right now. It feels bad, man. Always such when hamster's not awake. My other hamsters has been always been out and about, but this one in particular just likes hiding. Was there a threat of losing the battle entirely or any point of the playthrough? Yeah, if you die, you lose your gear. You don't lose your outpost. Your outpost stays fine, but your character gets fucked. So either you have enough money to revive the character for one run, or he dies off. Or he randomly dies off. And you don't get to re uh, recover him. And if you didn't share your gear, well, you lose your gear. That's the only thing that you lose out of, Mind Fog. Did you hear all that? Because I, I just realized I just explained it while the ad break is going on. Uh, also, welcome back, uh, Rice Lads. Okay, just making sure. God, why are you spinning around so much? 
This thing has worse ADHD than I do. That doesn't look like it's doing AOE damage. I don't think it does AOE damage. Yeah, that's not gonna do well against far range. This is just only an anti-boss weapon. Oh crap, I haven't thought this through. Maybe I should have brought a different weapon. <laughs> Uh, I think I need to rebuild my, um, my strats here. So I definitely need a light for anti-boss, and I need a light specifically for close face combat. For raw damage. Cleaning out mobs. All ammo crafting. Go, go, go. You're eating up ammo like no tomorrow. Holy crap. Wish I had automated ammo production. My ammo's struggling. <laughs> Everything's just getting blasted! We love Daka. Let's fucking go. We love Daka. Give me more Daka. More. More resources, too, while you're at it. Nope, oh, they're attacking my miners. Unlucky. Yep, they destroyed one miner already. It's such a bad spot to be in. It is what it is. Now, right, do I need to launch nukes against a couple of uh, tanks? Any tankers? Yep, there's a tanker right there. Oh. One, two, three. I shoot three. I don't remember my shot three. Yep, I did. And he's gone. Daka, 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 more Daka. Daddy? Daddy Daka? Any daddy doctors? Seems like some of my ammo boxes are just completely full. Why is it selecting my knife? That's weird. Uh, probably should bring some ammo to the front line if we have too much ammo. Okay, I think the ammo in the back over here is completely filled out because they're not shooting as much. So these are the type of ammo that we can just pick up, just in case. That's why I have a roundabout way of just bringing ammo around. Is there a way, like the final boss or final wave? Well, this is Infinity. This is the this is a different mode. The base game is all about looting and fighting against the final wave, so you can extract with the loot. Whereas in this mode, I have no fucking idea. That's why I I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm not too particularly sure, and I'm pretty sure my knights are completely out of ammo. We're looking for an auto loader. It's not giving me an auto loader. What if we get an advanced auto loader? Nope, no, no, don't fall. Oh, whatever. Activated. Automatic mode activated. By Infinity? Yeah. I mean, yesterday I was playing Infinity mode with another streamer, Bellatrix. Uh, if you haven't like check her out yet, she does play this game too. Um, we did infinity mode, or she did infinity mode on the first map, and we got to, her, her last max was 10, we got to level 12. So I think you can, I think it's infin infinite, and the longer you survive, the more you rewards you get from this little thing of a bomb here. Or your cargo container, whenever you get the cargo container, oh, right, there's stuff on the map that haven't killed yet, it's probably in this fucking tank. Shooting infinite missiles, they should have an amount of missiles, do they not? What about the key taking him out from afar? Boss should be coming up soon. Boss is coming up in after this next wave. Alright. Joinky mission. Auto loader, let's go! Hold position. Backpack's full, my lord. Enemy comes here longer. It'll be foggy in the next round of attacks. Summon a supply drop to obtain these reward. Reject. I'm gonna keep rejecting until I see uh red. I want red. Sure wish how far I can tell how far this thing reaches. Cause I have no fucking idea. 
It doesn't tell me, but so I'm just gonna load them up. <laughs> uh, whatever. Oh! 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 Shit! Nice! Oh! Oh! Nail a chip, dude! Why am I- why am I looting around when I can just sit here and just die? Instead. Pog you! That's hella pog you! You can use these turrets as buffers, I believe. Let me double check. I have no idea what they can auto load. I don't know the range. So let's see here. Double the range of electrocution damage. Double ammo capacity and attack speed and now provides illumination. All those fucking guns and tech and you still gotta manually load ammo. What I'm the fuck, lucky. Sam? I know. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Can you, you, you see the sorriness in my face right now? I wonder if like this being here would actually block some of my other turns. I don't think it will, but and I hope not. Oh, floating gun. Looks like my fucking knight's getting shot at. Facility destroyed. Oh. Shiny, I know, right? <laughs> you know, the missile silence have infinite ammo, but it takes uh, material and energy per shot. Yep, uh, so the missile silence will never run out of ammo. You just need to so keep collecting what's energy. The Gun in the game. Uh, that thing right there. Unless you're talking about a boss. There's bigger bosses. Does it waste ammo if you reload too quickly on ammo? Uh, turrets? No. There's no ammo waste. I think there's like a hard built-in code where it makes sure that it's at a particular ammo. Each ammo container refills a thousand by the ammo uh, reloader. So... The moment it hits below the 1,000 requirement, then yeah, it'll just reload. So there's no overflow. Talk about manual reload, it does. It, it do the rest of the ammo get right wasted. I'm pretty sure. Long as I was just moving the mech. I don't really want this portable spike. Tokyo Drift. Yep, yeah, Apocalypse are coming in. Uh, yes, Acolytes. Man, this game is just so amazing. I'm spending all the gold I've collected in my runs to farm materials so I can upgrade my base with all the new shiny components I just unlocked. Yes, this sir! This making me feel things that no other game has made me feel. Who the it's fuck just redeemed that? Wait, who just redeemed that? Is that you, Nicholas? I thought Nicholas doesn't like this game. I don't think that was Nicholas. But who just redeemed that? You, Zerozinga? It was you. Yeah, ASMR doesn't work because I don't have a check mark. ASMR crit. Sorry, ASMR is one of the things that cringes me the most. I tend to avoid ASMR whenever possible. Oh, fucking moving out of the way. It's like, move, bitch, get out of the way. No! Why is this like you're annoyed? So, Remick, how's it going, dude? Good morning. Moving, moving, moving. 
Man, someone, someone just that was, was fucking around. See, they asking if I was a view bot. Where were you guys when I needed you the most in Mr. Destructoid? Where? I didn't need you guys to miss the destructor. Tactical fried rice underscore SMR. Oh I'm still waiting for your hot tub stream. Big Fucking Lamal. Okay, those miners are in the way. I probably have to get rid of them. I mean, do we really need these extra resources? Facility locked. This one's kind of useless. These are kind of useless. I already collected all the resources Facility I needed. Alright, during the next wave, killing enemies outside of X will not replenish your material. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Gimme, gimme. Another portable artillery cannon, heavy barrel, portable MG turret. Uh, there's that another red. <gasps> there's another red coming to- Ooh, what's that? Portable spike? Get the shit out of you. Portable MG turret. Yeah, shit. What happened to the MG turret that was over here? Where did I go? Did it just despawn or did it just die out? Oh, it's boss wave. Fuck yeah. Oops. Uh, that's a little bit better. Grants uh, more than 50% armor, grants 20% increased attack. That's, that's really nice to have. That's a really nice equipment. Alright, this should be boss stage. Preparing myself. I think he comes in late. Oh, there it is. With the hot tub stream. Listen, I only do hot tub face to face. You have to go to my old, my, my lonely fans, and you have to like donate at least uh, a Star Forge worth of computer to be able to watch me in my uh, hot tub. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, no. 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 Pulling out the missile launcher. Can't fucking shoot him. He is one beefy boy. I need more missile launches if possible. All right, time to get more ammo so we can push it in the front. There it is. All right, you guys ready to watch the cannon fire? Let's go, boys! Woo! Oh my god, it's shredding him! Who that piercing fucking him up? That and my cannon. My cannon's also fucking him up. Wait, how come I'm not, no longer fucking him up? Is Oh, it's 1% of their HP. I'm, okay, so you need a finisher. Is my cannon out of fucking ammo? Are you just out of ammo? He's fucking out of ammo! Easy. Did I reconstruct my base? I sure did. I'm out of missile, guys. What what I do? Oh yeah, I can craft missiles, I forgot. Artillery shell. Gold. Fuck. I guess we gotta bring in the cargo crates if you want artillery shells. Well, shit.
Huh? What just blew up? Wait, my switch just blew up. Why did my switch just blow up? Is there like a lifetime on those fucking cannons or something? Or am I doing friendly fire damage to my own guns? Big gun went boom boom, then ran out of ammo. Sad yes. need more boom boom. I know. I'm sorry. I'll try to get us more boom booms. Uh, deal, but I didn't buy you a shitty computer, rather than build you one myself. That works too. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Wait a minute. That was a mech back here. Are they getting hit by something? I don't think they are. Well, we don't need turrets to be there anyways. It's fine. Wait, I'm missing a mech. I'm missing a guardian. He's gone. I think they're just killing something. Or should be decent enough. Nice. Very nice. Give 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 me give me give me give me give me give me give me. Uh hold position. I can still hold. Supply drop. Killing enemy outside will not replenish your material. Fuck, that's the worst one. I gotta keep skipping. It's good. We don't we don't have to fight another boss just yet. Oh, another portable uh, CIWS. I don't know exactly where I should put this. Probably on the side over here. Maybe I should just put it on top of my base. Oh, I wish I had a better angle so we can actually shoot those um, tanks with the CIWS. I still don't understand exactly why I lost that, that those turrets. Maybe push it back a little bit more. Like right back here. It'll just shoot through the ass. It's, it's fine. This thing's in the way, but you just move it over to the uh, right a bit. My job of reloading ammo to all my turrets has now shifted. I no longer reload ammo to my turret of my base. I'm proud. My job now is to reload ammo outside the base. You've been promoted from a delivery man to a trailblazer delivery man. Congrats. Woo. Such is life. It's a lot of garbage. Oh fuck, sorry about that. This is that a shell too? Oh, it's not even auto firing. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> wait a minute. Why is there items up here? Wait, wait, wait. What? Excuse me. Why is there? Why is there items up here? Told you. Oh, I didn't see uh, your comment. Holy Chris, I'm sorry. Oh, it's a it's a loot. It's a key card. I don't really care much about key cards. There's modifiers that can pop though. I think these are modifiers that can pop. They are. Didn't think you could just find these in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, uh, what the shit? It's highlighted, but I can't interact with it. All right. And my game is dying. There's too much shit on the map currently. 
That thing is inside the building. I can't interact with it either because that door is blocked. What's me? I know. Alright, so we can upgrade our artillery formation. Apparently. So we click on the building. I think you click on the platform. There you go. And you can upgrade it to the next level. Smart mortar. Twin light barrel. Fits with cryo muzzle. 30 pyro muzzle. Smart mortar here. Sure. I didn't mean to put a smart mortar over there. But honestly, I can just have him focus light. Or large uh, units. Only large units. Yeah, that's actually pretty smart. Having my motor to shoot large units. Is it attacking my Prometheus? Oh shit, they're attacking my Prometheus core somehow. How the fuck are they attacking my Prometheus core? I think it's the barrel that's rolling down the fucking hill. It is blowing up my Prometheus core. Wait a minute. It really is the fucking thing. The barrels. That's why we were losing turrets. The barrel rolling down now! I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a combat miner here. These, these are gonna be my walls. Oh, it costs power. Interesting. Don't fight gravity. You will lose. All right. What was that about me losing? So when when oh it does right oh my goodness I keep so my hotkey is typically for ammo crafting is one and apparently you can only set up like hotkeys one at a time in an iteration of one two three four five. I mean HP will increase by twenty five percent in following rounds. Yeah, that's fine. I think I'd rather just give them more attack. They don't really hit that hard. I say that until they one tap me, maybe. Ooh, these auto loaders are really fucking empty. That means we need to keep spamming it. I have not been spamming it. Is it behind in time? But did not crafting ammo. Is, uh, oh god, I think Shift Z is bugging out. Okay. What's next? Portable artillery cannon again. Some light twin turrets. Very cool. You love turrets? Press that button. We out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's just a stalk. I'm lucky. It's just a fucking stalk. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a high-powered site, too. Okay, huge, huge, more crit chance. That's useless. Isn't it less, technically less power? Because crit chance doesn't really... I, I don't know how it works. It's a dead stat. They didn't really fix this yet. I think this is something we'll save for now, but I'm pretty sure my scope is better. I know it can increase my combat power, but it doesn't necessarily increase more damage. I don't know how to explain why crit rate is a dead stat. I think it just doesn't work. 
That's what someone told me. It's like it, it just doesn't work currently. I'm trying to look around for power, bud. Might have to salvage for power here. Keep my helmet. Sure hope that core didn't really just explode. It's about to. Get 5% crit chance? Oh. Why does that feel so bad? <laughs> is it me or is that bad? Did we just lose our fucking core? Okay, we didn't. I think we lost one of the miners in front. That thing that's absolutely fun. We lost all three of them. They're not shooting anything that's directly on top of the core. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Oh. Well, I lost a knight. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. We lost more than just the knight. Uh, so how do I how do I get sh uh, stuff now? <laughs> They're broken through. Probably should have bring walls. I think walls would have helped. And when I say help, I mean block out the fucking enemy. Where's your shield? How does this game not have shields? Shield generators. Stuff like those. Well, rip. It is bad? Okay, the crit chance is horrible. Wow, that's insane. How do you add a stat that's so bad, man? You can't even stack crit chance. Well, that again, I think you can stack it for like short, uh, not short, but like, um, short interval weapons, yeah. Where you can spam more of. Mushy mush. I might get rid of my scatter rockets, Jim. I don't think scatter rockets are worth it. Might just go for Tesla Tower and that does a little bit more damage. Unless you really want AoE. Nah. Definitely not these scatter rockets. And maybe I should have like pushed up my defenses a little. And then we would have been fine because my terrorists would have just been able to hold the line. I was more worried about like covering line of what the fuck? Why is that thing so tanky? Oh. <laughs> why why was that so tanky? That should have not been tanky at all. That was incredibly fucking tanky. These guys are so tanky. Oh, it counts as a smaller target, doesn't it? So these twin light barrel isn't shooting at them. Right? Is that why? I can't tell. I keep pressing that button on accident. Sorry, I, I, I gotta get used to the ammo crafter being on hotkey number two instead of one. All right, fire at them. Let's, let's see how tanky they will get. Wow. Even my quad hellfire is struggling to kill one. Oh, they can hit the walls. Nice. That's not something I like to see. At all. I think the tower is a little bit too tall here. Do I need to shrink it by one or something? The hellfire cannons that is. Might need to bring it down by one. Who knows? Uh, let's go and call the evac. Our main gear equipment thing that gives us a gear is no longer here. So what's the point of keeping it there, right? Uh, I definitely feel like I can move this hellfire down by at least a level. These guys weren't even shooting at the small units. Wait, I don't think most of my turrets were shooting at those, um, those, those, uh, nebulas. What the actual shit? Actually ghosted. It's unlucky. 
Well, alright, since we're getting the fuck out of here, might as well get my into my- Oh wait, no, the evac doesn't come until the defense actually gets hits. So you actually have to hold out until the evac comes in. Laser under barrel, let's walk out go. Well, now I know to exactly push up my front line, I also realized that this is not getting ammo for whatever reason. I thought it was close enough. I'm pretty sure it's close enough. It's just the one that- Oh, it's just because it's empty completely. Oh, and it took damage. I think the enablers are the one that took the damage to the autoloaders. They're both fucking damaged. So how do we lose that fucking Corinthian core? I, I don't know. It's always confusing to me. I do. More Daka. Always more Daka. I always need a bigger suck. Love how the tank decides to come towards me instead. Fires everywhere. I love it. Glad you love it. Welcome to Dockerland. The Dreadnought. Oh, I don't have any shells. I forgot about the shells. I should probably bring in some shells. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should bring in some shells next time. Did I lose a Ranger too? Unlucky. Give me ammo. Give me ammo. It's fucking empty. Wait. We lost all of our- Wait, what? My autoloader is all empty. How does that even happen? Well, good thing I'm abandoning ship. So only ran down voters and shit and steamed by haters? What? No. I'm not close to the end game as you are, but man, I love this game. Same retrace. It's like one of my absolute favorite games out there. It's one of those games I always, you know, continuously come probably come back to just because I love the base building element. I hope they keep uh, getting with the update. So the thing about this game is that the negative reviews are fair. I think it's fair because, and they're outdated. They're outdated too. So most of the players that quit the game no longer want to play a game anymore because the launch was a fucking mess. It was a fucking mess. Shit was buggy, shit crash. Story's a mess. No, no one cares about the story. A lot of like uh, issues with co-op and they fixed it. They fixed it by now. So does that mean returning players will come back and leave another review? Probably not. Maybe some people will come back, but it used to be mostly negative. So now that it's mixed, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's an upgrade for a game so far. This is why we need auto ammo belts because the other uh the oh, fuck. This doesn't draw me. I need nano processors. Yeah, we need nano processors. If we don't get auto ammo belt, then this is gonna be a huge issue. Uh, did all the gear go into my outpost? Let me double check here. Uh, base warehouse. Let's take a look. Gear. Yep, we got a couple red gear from that run. Win win. So if you really want red gear, you go do Infinity Siege, and then you have to make it past I think level five, level five plus or some sort. I need to get walls for that outpost. <laughs> that outpost in the front did not uh last that long. Reminded to fix the uh, Zen for more uh, chaff clear. Well, that's for the other weapons. For that, that's that, it doesn't matter for Infinity mode because I'm using my base for Infinity mode. Auto ammo belt. Yeah, yeah. You can make conveyor belts and auto ammo crafters. I don't have the resources to make those yet. I need so if 
I think I need at least four auto ammo crafter for every single auto loader. So I need at least 28. And that requires 28 nano processors. You also need five nano processors to make uh, uh, Hellfire. Nano processor is one of the hardest uh, items to uh, get in the game. It's one of the rares. Like, what the fuck? Oh, I think he just forgot then. Nikor output have like 10 Swiss and it allows you 300 output and you to unlock the second gen. There's no second generator unless you're talking about the battery bank. So you want the battery bank, the T2 battery, T2 storage, and then the small generator is the only thing you'll get. There's no there's no T2 generators. At least that, not, not to my fucking knowledge. I haven't found it. I don't see anybody with it, typically speaking. Oh, man. Carry got a hundred points from now. Let's walk and go. Woohoo! She is probably way too weak to like fight on her own. To be honest with you, um, I'm gonna go ahead and share this gear. Hopefully, I can get better boots. So we are now grinding gear in Infinity Mode. Congratulations, everyone. We we have reached the next stage. Woo! -hoo. Um, I should pro. Oh, I can't bring in gold. Wait, how the fuck do you craft shells then? Wait, you can't craft shells in this game. You can only get it through fucking, um... You can only get through, uh... What those, what those, you can only get it through, uh, those, those, those money crates. Those, those storage crates. Oh, no! Oh, no! This is rather unfortunate. Oh, whatever. Oh, time to bring more fucking, uh, ammo crates in. Let's take a look at my outpost real quick here. I, that, I wonder if I want to put turrets on the ground floor to take care of those nebulas, because those guys were a little bit annoying. Oh, yeah, I got to show you the uh, ammo crate stuff. So, what I was applying earlier with automated ammo storage. So, if you look at the auto reloader here, there's a little back line that drags ammo in. That's why I have, like, this many storage crate here so they can actually take it. Uh, what you do is you put conveyor belts next to those orange. Of course, it goes one direction. And then you need a utility wall. You need a utility wall to put ammo in. Uh, and an advanced ammo maker. And it'll drop ammo into the belt, and the belt gets bring over to the uh, auto generator. So what you could do here is uh, what I'm doing here is conveying belt the internal, the entire internal, and have it rotate around so we don't lose out on uh, any ammo. <clears throat> Can you craft the big one ammo box. The big one ammo box? What do you mean by big one ammo? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm not trying to bring in more ammo. It, the amount of ammo I have is good enough. I just got to keep... See, the, the thing is, I want to automate my materials immediately into, like, uh, ammo. <laughs> is more than one brain cell required to play this game? Just a little bit. You need to know exactly what you need to do, like, uh, build-wise, before you can actually, you know, understand how the game works. Man, I still didn't do that much damage with this many amplifiers. Look how many amplifiers I had on this Hellfire turret. They still didn't do that much damage. Uh, okay. Uh, anywho. My Viper turrets. I need to reconfigure those guys to shoot small targets now. It's fine. So they can shoot the Nebulas. Those Nebulas, I don't know why they were so tanky. Are they supposed to be that tanky? I don't think they were. That's insane. Also, I think enemies automatically just get hard over time. Works better. What's up, WeTrace? How's it going? Yeah, I'm streaming above YouTube. I'm streaming to Twitch as well. Welcome to Twitch. Twitch life. Uh, chat's a little bit more active over here. Uh, I'm actually a lot slower in reading YouTube because Twitch is on my right, YouTube's on my left, and I have no idea to combine the two. They may be armored. Uh, some enemy are armored. I don't pick up any traits I give them armor. So I have no idea. You're trying to infinitely leave your internals with conveyors so they can uh, keep traveling in circle? Yep, so we don't wa uh, waste any uh, ammo. So the ammo in the back will be moved over to the ammo in the front because the turrets in the back won't fire as often. By the way, no ammo is wasted that way. Carry to carry. Commander. Outpost 11. CPU must love me. Um, I'm going to try to replace my CPU's uh, thermal paste later today. My PC is fucking dying. Heading for the area. <clears throat> Be 
About time? What's up, you? What's up? <laughs> oh, I don't think the I don't think my CPU's thermal is the main reason why my game is lagging like shit. I'm pretty sure my specs is just not that good. Like other streamers are still struggling too. I believe with um I don't know the graphics. I wish I had better graphics, man, or graphic potential. It could be. I don't know. Sometimes um my browser would flicker randomly out of the blue. Maybe it really is my CPU having a thermal problem. Nothing for my PC. <laughs> we need a little bit more uh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need a little bit more Swiss. I have plenty of Swiss in the fucking making. Cause I'm saving for Hellfire turns, but eh, it is what it is, I guess, right? The combat mine is early on. We just need to start making ammo. As soon as possible. I don't know if I'm like consuming more ammo than making. But it definitely feels like I'm consuming more ammo than making. Fuck, I forget to get the walls. Is the four old sticks actually worth it? Yeah, and use it for bosses though. Ellen, use it for bosses. Stop being so hard. I feel like the double 30 is plenty of damage and the 406 just eats shells with shit. Yep. You're right. It does. I've had to reload my fucking gamble containers. Rip a blade to the front line. I want to test out my build. My build allows me to one tap enemy and that will refresh my X again. If I one tap an enemy, especially the smaller ones. So I'm, about to, I'm pretty sure if if, if, I, if this is how it works, and I hope it works, we can instantly clear out the entire enemy's front line without having to use too many bullets. Get up a date already? I sure did. Got it like uh, an hour ago. Yeah, 10 second cooldown fucking regen. It looks so cool when they're climbing down that fucking hill. It's like the Roman Legion. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What? Why did it all turn on the thing in the middle? Oh, and that thing's gone. It works, and then I fucking missed. It worked until I missed. Ah! No! I wasted on the big dude! Retreat! To hold E to auto get the item? Oh, shit. That's nice to know. Is there how much I can cleave? Can I not cleave all the time? Hello? Oh. Wait, my rage died. Can you not? Uh-oh. That's actually kind of lit. What a great build. Oh, oh! I forgot to change out my gun! Again! It is what it is. You! Get him off me! Get him off me! I've been dropping ammo on top, haven't I? Yep, I did. There goes all of my ammo. Oh, he doesn't fucking stop. He's the uh, X, Mr. X, gotta give it to you. Good night, Weetrix. I'm gonna follow you. I appreciate the follow, dude. Thank you. Welcome on in. I also appreciate the follow, Munkin. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. Hey, I forgot about that. All right. Well, anyways. I am a fall liner after all. We just gotta kill those brawlers. Those brawlers need to go down, and I can come in. Stop it! 
Oh, we both miss. Give me a second. My ammo. Is my ammo. Also, I appreciate the Twitch Prime. Yo, thank you so much, man. Get scammed, idiot. Always scammed. I love scamming people. It's great. It's part of my Asian nature. I'm sorry. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Uh, weird tricks. Trace. Weird tricks. Weird trace. Weird trace? Weird, weird, weird trace. Very, very weird. But yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I'm logging with this X build. It, it, it's insane. I can kill so many. I can do so much damage with it, too. And there's an enemy sitting about. How did you even get all the way up there? What the fuck? My missiles can't reach that far. Are you joking? You know what? I'll do it myself. The weed trace. Yeah, don't tell the cops. I can I can take advantage of it. Oh, oh, it's all it's over. Oh, I was gonna build more miners. Ran out of bad weather. Will hit during the next man killing enemies outside of the X. Will not replenish your materials. See, I I need all that range. I think I'd rather just go for other enemy boost. Can I put this far further back a little? I guess not. I, uh... I, uh, think they come over here, too. I don't know exactly where we're gonna come from, but I'm trying to put my miners in a relatively safe spot. I need something to sit in front of this thing right here. Which which would typically be walls, but I don't have any walls, so I guess we can only defend that um uh slowly, I guess. Oh hey, free goodies, what a deal. Ooh, data reader. Fucking nebulas are back. Portable spike. We can use this to block the front. The portable Swiss as well. A little bit on the left side. Sure, why not? Artillery cannon in the back, so you're focusing on the uh, the bigger mobs. Bigger. That's our range. Massive only. Enable auto fire, so it also joins in the fun. And I think we got garbage. Might just like sacrifice it for power. I don't know yet. Yeah, probably just a sacrifice for power. Eh. 16 power from a fucking attachment. I do need bullets. I don't have any ammo left. Oh, I can throw away my tech points. Right. Yeah, we can toss the tech point for power and materials. How, how much does tech point get for materials here? No, you can't throw it away for materials. No, it's useless. Does this look like an FFA FPS game to you? It's not. It's pure co-op. This is a pure co-op game. Not even close to fucking FFA or PvP. There's no PvP. It's pure co-op. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, uh, he's a chunky boy. Time to run. Don't shoot me in the ass. Don't shoot me in the ass. Don't shoot me in the ass. Did they destroy one of our miners again? I still don't understand the fucking point of putting miners in the front line. It just doesn't make sense to me. I think we want to put our combat miner kind of up here a little. Actually, no, because they can attack him up there too. No, I, don't, I just don't understand. Maybe to the right? I think right's a little bit more defendable.
That didn't kill them. They're just incredibly tanky. The position. What's upgrade? Enemy attack will increase by 25%. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this. Free supply job. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. What's in here first? Auto loader. Another portable S. -S Swiss. Swiss cheese. Hey. More Swiss cheese. We love Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese love the cheese. Woo. Oh, it gave me three portable Swiss. Holy fucking bowler. Fresh ice container. I'm gonna go and skip too. Uh, let's skip the rest. What's inside the box? What's inside the box? I sure hope it's a dick in the box. Oh, hey, free ammo. There we go. Xenium solution. I think we need to toss this in the trash. Nuclear fuel rod, grenade under barrel, artillery shells. There it is. We got artillery shell. Let's fucking go. Woo! Fuck. Loading shells. Loading shells. There you go. For big boy gun. Ammo boxes for these folks up here. I guess for myself. And we sacrifice stuff for power? Do I, do I even need power? What the fuck do I need power for? I guess to maybe put down now, but dismantling it is. I need more materials for ammo. Yeah, we just toss them all away. That's a lot of materials, sir. We need more storage crate. I gotta spend some time just chopping down trees. Wait a minute. Oh my god, you can chop down trees! So where's where's the lumber that I just did I oh they don't, they don't drop loot through there. Oh. oh oh it doesn't it doesn't drop anything. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fortnite or PUBG though. No. Don't don't expect one of those battle royale mods to come out. This is like Fortnite when Fortnite first came out. Y'all remember those good old days? Fortnite launch? Before it became a Battle Royale? I think that was the best part of fucking uh, game. Auto puts into the inventory now? <gasps> wow, really? That's insane! New update? Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Dev. That has to be part of, that has to be the best update in the game ever. Without a fucking doubt. Daughters, yep. Save the world. Yeah, save the world. That was, that was the time. I love the fact that you were able to go into a mission and just get gear. And then build up your character. It wasn't like this where you bring in your base every time. But there was a base defense mechanic. But you just go into missions, do missions, build up gear, and then uh, repeat. That was a replayability. It's actually super good. I thought they canceled the project. Like, they're no longer updating it. Did they not? Oh, ad break's coming up, by the way, guys. One day, one update. <laughs> you know, they're taking a two-day break, so don't expect updates for the next two days. But they fixed a large amount of the problem so far. From what I've seen. Ammo production coming in. Might need to convert some of the materials into power so I can harvest more trees. Put this in the recovery bin, probably. It's just uh, polished and finished. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Man. That's nice. It's still late, though. <laughs> Game's old. <laughs> Game's maybe too cartoony for me. That's probably why I don't really want to play it as much. But damn, I, I did not know that. I thought they just canceled the project. Now newbies can play easy to play already. Wait, can they skip the tutorial, Munkin? And get to straight to the action? Is that what you're telling me? Because there was a huge problem with the, um, the tutorial. It's hot garbage. I should have. Uh, did I hockey the engine? I didn't hockey the engines. I should have hockey the engine. Unlucky. Just in case we need more power. Hold position. 
turret. Attack of turrets increased by 10%. Some supply drop. Would not replenish my material. It'll be a rainstorm in next round of attack. I need materials, so I kill stuff outside the booster. Actually, no, I don't. I don't kill him outside the booster. I kill him around here. Where is the booster? Let me let me double check. We need to go out as far as possible. I'll look at this later. Stronger than a relationship, stronger than my relationships. If I had any. Including my friendships too, I guess. Oh, yeah, we're killing... Okay, that, that, that would have been fine. We're killing them within range. What's up, Chewy? How's it going, dude? What's up, Wondering Gemini? Are your walls uh, the right way or are they the wrong way? I can't figure it out. That's a good question. I have no fucking idea. I know the armor panels are in the... Uh, is the out way, uh, outward way. These generic walls, I assume flat is outwards. That's what I think. But I'm not even particularly sure of myself. Nano chip, let's fucking go. Evasion boots, we can just throw that away, I guess. Nope, all my Swiss turrets are out of bullets. Unlucky. <laughs> Alright, we do have ad break right now, guys and gals. I'm gonna have to do a be right back because I need to get some more water. I'm always running out. Stuff is armor panel, but I have no idea if I'm facing them the right way. Dark outwards. White inner. Let me double check. Actually, can I even double check? Yeah, white inner, dark outer. These are armor plates right here. Can you hear you? How's the new base design, Dark Messiah? Uh, it's looking pretty good so far. Good night, Holy Chris. Keep tight. All right, welcome back. 
Uh, did you give me wanderings, out of my dark out, white inner? This right here, white inner, dark outwards. Not free one material converter. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Did I did I even put it in? I need more materials. Why does my map look like this? Proto spam. Oh, wait, no, we're supposed to put it in the power converter. Not the material converter. I'm an idiot. Need power, damn it. Full. Is that it? Is that all the loot? All right, well, back to chopping down trees. We wood cutting. I need more material storage. Gotta change all my <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, some of the walls are relatively confusing. It doesn't make sense at how some of the walls kind of just flip. Unfortunately. I agree. I'm sorry. It's okay, at least you don't have to flip all the walls in this gigantic ass base over here. That base kind of looks ugly. I don't like the back, but I'm, I'm putting, planning on putting four auto cannons, so I don't know. How to get more storage and research faster? Uh, if you want to skip research, you have to stack efficiency points. You know those little drones that, like, flies around towers? Those little, you know, civilian drones? Yeah, those give efficiency points. There's also some items that give efficiency points. You know those mission things that you have to pick up? Those also can be traded in for efficiency points once you get the second trader. You have the first trader that sells you basic crap, and then you have the second trader that spawns after you do a couple of missions. So you always want to save your mission items. I think it was the alloy compounds that gives you the, um... That gives you what you need. I'm not too particularly sure. I just trade in everything. Some of them can be sold for more gold. What are you looking at? He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Just deforesting the earth. If I can't live here, you can't live here either. That might have killed the tank. It didn't. They're a little bit beefy. He's just standing there? Question mark? Oh, no, he's, he's blasting. He's blasting. Let him go. cool down. <laughs> you gotta wait. Easy drop the equip. Do they? Did, wait, did they bump drop rates? I probably need to go back into the inner maps. Maybe. Just maybe. I could use the hot dog right now. All right, guys, after stream, do I go to Costco and get myself a $1.50 hot dog and pop? I feel like we should go to Costco and get that $1.50 uh, $1 hot dog and pop. Nodders. What are they shooting at? This thing over here? Uh, sh sure, bye. Just get rid of them. They're, they're just in the way soaking up damage for no reason at all. Same thing for this thing right here. You just get rid of them so the tank can start coming in. Facility 
The rotisserie chicken? That's just like five dollars. That's actually a, not a bad idea. I need to go to Costco because I want to buy some Brackley's. But their hot dog is the only reason why I love going to Costco the most. It's because they're cheap ass hot dogs. We love cheap ass hot dogs. The enemies will become stronger. Summon supply drop. Sure, let them come in. Alright, so this will allow me to fight the boss. Boss is probably going to get shredded the moment I start blasting him. He's got to come in late. I need to store all this wood in the recovery device. First day, 12 hours, only get 5 equip. Uh, that sounds not bad. That's, that's a pretty fucking good RNG in my opinion, not gonna lie. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, right, we were supposed to get rid of Xenium solutions. Oh, yeah, if you want research efficiency, do outposts. Do, do the first one, they give you uh, better rewards for difficulty level. I come here for red gear. Nope, you can't put him inside. Unlucky. I don't really want these. We could stack them. I guess. Open sesame! Ammo, num, num, num. Num. Fenders. Two purples. Unlucky. Boss is not here yet. I feel like I like the other character more. I need to look for a different character that doesn't have the play. You can't unlearn trait in this game, and I feel like you should be able to unlearn trait because the fire trait is uh, it's extremely annoying. Oh, I didn't even put that there. If you want gear, do infinity mode. It gives you a lot of gear. Fuck off. Speaking of gear, tactical side. I've gotten most of my red gear from these mission or er, infinity mission. Did you get some of out? Oh yeah, jump core mag. Boss is here, gotta fight boss, I forgot about him. Good gun. Good gun. I should have grafted more ammo maker, like in the front lines. Ooh, yellow item in the front. Looking for new boots. Mechanical claw. Oh no, it's power grenade gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you farm in Swiss? You should. You should always farm in Swiss. It makes uh, most of your game easy mode. Just make sure to stack up your core power. Look at my core power top left corner. That's 4,500. Increases your damage from your turrets. She's farming red gear like 20 an hour. Now, after the buff today. Is it really? Wait, cheese farming gear? How do you cheese farm gear? Infinity mode? So wait, should I go into a loot run then to see if they what, what buffed?
There's like three meals. You ride five dollars for three meals? You ain't wrong. Oh, some of the missiles are getting through. Five missiles to kill one of them. Man. He's one tank and spank. It's a big boy. He's thick. Dummy thick. Probably need more ammo soon. Pot of red doesn't drop, just abandoned for free now. A red drops every two or three sets of skipping them all. Or I can just go to the main. Because I, I need all the res. I, I just want to, like. I want to get more resources. Okay, so you get auto red drops now. Is that what you're saying? Passive negative risk don't apply on skips for some reason. I'm gonna have to check this out. You know what? Let's call it an evac. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check this out. I, I want to know what you're talking about here. So you're telling me I can auto ruin five and just get a bunch of red items. So they bump drop rates of red. You used to not be able to farm a single red. So now you can, is what you're telling me. I think all my ammo box is completely maxed out. It is done. One out of 200 skips yesterday, now it's like one out of 30 or so skips? Is it really that? Wait, so you're telling me you can skip through and just abandon? Farming all reds? Oh my god. It's just that easy, huh? Nice suit. Well, bumping drop rates. Um, I'm not. I don't really care much about that. That, that. that that sounds solid, to be fair. The left one is the shit one. It's the shit one. I gotta make sure to send out that recovery crate. By the way, it has all my wood. Just kept chopping the left side. I don't know why I went over to the right side for. Hey, can like closer to the extract. Uh, the recovery for easy clear on zero threat. <laughs> True. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty Patini. I'm so adorable. Now she she realizes me and she runs away whenever she thinks she sees me. I don't think this hamster is that easy to tame at all. We gotta run over here. I don't care how much ammo we have left. Ah, seems like most of the ammo uh, belts are full. I have the box. Except the middle one. The only problem is the middle one. So you give her a little piece of food. I love hamsters. So fucking adorable. Now, you are completely out of shells? I see! Table with these nuts, I got him! I don't think your nuts wants to be in front of a hamster. I'm sure will bite pretty hard. What happens if I shoot those crates? Well, it blew up everything except the Promethean core. Let me go. 
Four or five to get. Grab a box back. Uh, start. The aircraft will come in and pick it up. Aircraft arriving in 15 seconds. <laughs> what if I put the back inside? You think it was going to explode? Your ride is here. Time to head home. So you can't shoot the aircraft. Oh, Austin would have been if it just, you just shoot down your own aircraft and you're just stuck here. And your character automatically goes MIA because you lose your aircraft. Didn't get a single red piece. Unlocked 13 million damage. Holy crap. I did 13 million damage. From what? How the fuck did that happen? That was whatever. Well, got all my ammo back. Might have to sell, sell some ammo. All right, storage crate, storage crate, storage crate. How many storage crates worth was that? I can make 17 storage crate. That's a, wait, is it because of polymer? It's because of polymer. Can I make polymers? I can. And it requires ore. Let's fucking go. We love ore. Everything requires ore. Uh, I want to revamp my Zen real quick. Because I don't think I want that on my uh, short build. I feel like that gun should just do more flat damage or some sort. Well, do I want an explosive build on it? We can try an explosive. Well, no. I think light's fine. Uh, so double chain is okay. We can get rid of torment. <clears throat> Yo, Fox Noir, appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. Moshi Mosh. Muller increased damage. It's not that much. Oh, it's massively increased damage. Uh, what are some hard hitting skills I can try to use here? Increases damage times one. Molly reduces fire interval. Molly increases damage. So it makes it shoot faster, but it doesn't do as much damage. You don't want to do combo strike because you have to hit the weakness though. Add the wall outposting. You're right. I, I should. That too. All right. So I'm gonna try to do it after this. Getting rid of uh, it, it's it's strong. And then I realized it's not as strong. <laughs> it's strong from melting in HP to a given point, and then it falls off. So when it says, so the thing about piercing, it's 1% of not their max HP, but their current HP. That's how Torment works. It shreds them down, but then I guess your turret can finish it off, right? I just go with massive damage increase. And then, uh, two. And it changed three times, so. This is fun. That's gonna be like my, uh, small combat. Uh, we can get rid of Hellfire cluster missiles. I think cluster missiles isn't really gonna help us much. I probably put that as, um, unlock. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Inject. We're gonna go ahead and put Heavy Shot back in. And that's gonna be my anti boss skill. Again. I think what we could do is probably go with double chain, like we normally do. Double chain, and I might go either multiply, deals more damage and gain increased efficiency the further it travels. About to increase cost, checkmate. Hmm, checkmate could also be pretty decent with uh, bosses. Scale as you do more damage. Could be decent, but it, it's going to be rough at the beginning. Maybe I just want more flat damage and just keep adding a multiply. How much damage do we get from fucking multiplier? It's strong. Wait, strong gives you more damage compared to Cascade? Huh? Oh, no, because Cascade requires 120. Sorry, that's the wrong one. I was looking at Condense. I was looking for Condense. Condense is getting really close. Condense offers just a little tad bit more damage, what I'm seeing. And then there's... Uh, what else was there? There was one more I wanted to uh, look at. 
They don't want to check, take this into Electro. I think I want Electro for the other weapon. Yeah, we want Electro for the other weapon. I forgot about that. I'm going to have to transform that into Electro. Give me a second. Uh, Motley increases damage. Not that one. Torment. We're getting rid of Torment. Combo Strike. I was thinking about Combo Strike. But it does a flat extra damage. I don't think it'll be that good. Um... Oh, I was comparing multiplier and chain. Uh, strong. Strong offers more flat damage. Maybe I should go with strong and then one multiply. Then we have two chain for even more massive damage. So we have three condense. Uh, I can remove that condense. Yo, checkmate would also work with this build. The more you shoot at it, the more. Well, it'll just die, I guess. Unless I can one tap him with the build. Increase the damage of Electro Element. Okay, so where is my uh, Electro skill? I thought I had the Electro... Wait, am I supposed to bring that in and use it in-game? To convert my weapon to electri uh, Electricity? I think that's how it works. Oh, I'd like to have Pursuit on this weapon. Those are consumable zens. Oh, devs killing it with the updates. I love the whole E ability to pick up everything they added to the last map. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I heard about that. I was like, wait a minute. You can do that? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Oh, fuck. I can't wait. I mean, we're about to do a quick looting mission right now as we speak so we can test it out. Um, I do want to test out this gun on a regular mode because we're going to try to auto through. I need polymers too, so this is great for farming a little bit of polymers. So apparently, you can skip through... Um... Do I need to do anything else? Apparently, you can skip through missions and be able to find red items now. Red items and red gear. Uh, still re relatively low chance, but they, ner they they buffed the rate drop. Apparently, there was a dr drop rate. Um, I thought you just can't get it, but yeah. All right, let's try out a quick tour mode. Of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization. Granted. I wonder if we want to give carry, uh, carry, uh, carry some ammo. Or am I too lazy? Dude, we have so much ammunition. I might as well just bring in ammo. I'll bring in carry. Probably bring a couple more ammo in for ourselves. You probably wonder where I got all the ammo from. Um, yeah. I, I, I've been... I also don't know where I got all this ammo from. I'm, I'm pretty positive, like, whatever ammo, whatever is still at your base inside one of the containers, like, for example, the ammo maker or the auto loader, will bring it towards your base uh, when you extract. Pretty positive. Commander of Outpost 11, launch confirmed. Only gear and Zen, not items? Not items? Fuck! But I'm looking for items! How do you catch a little Jones? You 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 got to make sure that you're looking directly at it. Did you research the whole E ability? Oh, you got the research, so I can just abort, right? I can abandon tour here, and I won't die. Right, right, guys. Abandon tour, and I don't die, yeah. Reset the status before the tour. Okay, uh, I hope you're right. <laughs> I died. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I didn't die. Before I actually did die, I'm gonna be really fucked. Fish. Okay, very good. Just, just to make sure. <laughs> okay, she's still there. Oh, my heart. Uh, so research the uh, auto thing. Auto pickup. Let's go. I have so much. Oh, hey, auto pickup mobility. Automatic, automatic pickup can also be activated when sliding and sprinting. Enhance team members' backpack to automatically pick up item in the vicinity. Hold E to enable automatic pickup. Interesting. When empty-handed, significantly increase the speed of automatic pickup. Enhance team members' backpack to automatically pick up. What, what does that? What does this mean? Enhance team to automatically pick up items. Does this just make it faster or some shit? Complete all research project. What the fuck? <laughs> I never had that fucking achievement till now. Commander I want to do a quick loot run. Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. 
Yeah, let's do a quick loot run where we look for red items. Outpost and nano chips. Any, anything that's just like super rare. I think if you holster your weapon is faster. I did not know that. I'm learning so many different things from you guys. Can you can you stop teaching me? I hate it. No, I'm just kidding. Keep teaching me. Teach me all the love. Oh hey, fucking lightweight stock. Let's fucking go. Thanks for teaching me the ways. I mean the enemies now. Ten enemies. Uh, the more more epic storage. I should probably go for greed, but oh hey, um, new command core weapon. Press R to command toggle infrared view. Uh, it also gives defense, which I don't want. That's kind of well. Actually, no. That oh, that boss is fucked. That boss is done fucked up. Unlucky so far. No, oh, we, we don't want to give him EMPs. peace. <gasps> Let's go! That's a poggers. <laughs> That's hella pog. It's all items. You got nano chips. Space in the container. Construction machine gun turret for free. I should have just gotten space in the container. P War Park. Pretty sure I've looted that already. It sounded like um that, that sounded like a completely new um boy that I've never really Signet Mine. Isn't that the one that I was struggling with? The one with the um the fucking crane. Hold E, move around, it just picks everything up. That's insane. Do I have to look at it or does it just pick up in a, a radius? Energy ammo can uh penetrate armor? I know it does. That's how I died. It is the same fucking mine. Alright, we're, we're looking for reds real quick. I gotta figure out how that works. It's basically dropping the red... Uh, it's dropping that red barrel on top of that little ore thing. I always forget about that. I always fucking forget about that. I'm gonna probably stop bringing in ammo. I might just sell it for more money. It's always nice to have extra ammo early on, but do we really need to? I can't wait to stop doing this the moment we start getting ammo, uh, automatic ammo crafters. Why not? Give it to me, please. Alright, so if I hold E... Okay, you have to look at it for it to work. I mean, I don't really care most about most of these items. It's picking up, like, everything I don't want. Because <laughs> we're just doing, like, a quick loot where we get more of the rare items instead. Yeah, I think I'd rather just loot it myself. Unless you can auto configure your uh, auto loot, like auto configure it to pick up purple only? Question mark devs? Great plan, right devs? Right? Right? What a great plan. Wow, Tactic, what did you think of that? I smarge. I just smarge. I, I, I know exactly what the player wants. Let's get rid of purples. We should just drop it on top of each other of some sort. Oh, gear, 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 adaptive armor. Well, I mean, we're already starting to get red armor, so we can probably just ignore it, I guess. Nano chip, son! Damn, son, where'd you find that? It's a good component. See, yeah, adaptive armor that I dropped on the ground. They should just extract it with me. What the fuck? Good idea, yeah, because I don't want to pick up all this junk. 
I don't need junk in my inventory. You have uh, limited inventory, so why, why would you want all this stuff on you? So I assume it's a decent idea, at least. Quick. Tell me if it's true. Laundry power ammo. I was using power ammo. I'm no longer using power ammo. Shells. Free shells. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so round two. I'm trying to get this to work, and especially not die. I don't think it's inside the bubble still. I, I don't think this is worth it at all. I fucking hate this place. Every time I see this mod, I'm probably just gonna skip it. Alright, so you're supposed to come up here. Oh, it's inside. Oh, nope. There's the barrel. Okay, so I bl you're not supposed to shoot the barrel, but there's a module up here that you're, you're supposed to press that button over there, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, the terminal's right there. You're supposed to drop it on this thing. It's like fucking some kind of crane game. Scanner glove gang? I actually do not use the scanner glove. I use my tower to scan. <laughs> I use mechanical. No! Why would you add in a shitty mini game that doesn't even fucking work? What's up, guys? Oh wow, he gets one tap. Wait, this fucking thing slaps. Did it just change his vo- Damage Delta Aoto's wreck. What? Wait, what? What the fuck did he just say to me? Jesus, you just screwed up big time. What? Oh, I blew it up. I, I shot it once and it blew up. This is a way for a railgun uh, acolyte to hit the core, ignoring any walls, because the outpost just went dark without turrets kicking in. Yes. Wait. For a railgun acolyte to hit the core? Uh, they probably... He should probably destroyed one of your stairs all around, too. If you lose a stair to the upper parts, then you won't get power up there. So I don't think he destroyed your core. I think he just fucking destroyed your stairs. That's why it's a smart idea to have multiple stairs. So what I would do is have covered stairs, like these stairs, and I'll just cover it up. And stack it on top of each other, upwards, right? And then, you know, platforms and stuff. Uh, this is the stair right here. So I have two stairs, one on each side of the core. To make sure power is always on every floor. So you don't go dark. You go dark, you you're dead. So, like, I tend to, like, put crafting the measure. Someone uh, decided to give me that idea. It was a solid idea. You had a rail gun and one shot your car. Wait, they can do that? That's insane, is it not? Wait, that that's kind of low key insane. For the uh, and scary. Very fucking scary. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'll post that even turrets on the ground were off. Mats and power are both on minus twenty. Suddenly, I think your core is just dead then. Because if you have minus 20, minus 20, that means your core is just dead then. Did the VVAC come in? I've never had a railgunner shoot through the fucking core before. Is this early on or is it late game? You're getting swacked! Newbie's getting swacked! Immediately went to EVAC mode. Okay, then yeah, your core is just dead. Okay, I thought you destroyed one of your stairs and you, you lost you, you went power. Lost, uh, lost power for the second floor, for example. Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I, I didn't know that your core was actually destroyed, destroyed. Um, didn't even know the railgunner could do it. 
I wonder if increasing your core power increases in your, increases your core HP. I gotta, ch I should probably check. It starts off with 2,000 HP, right? So a rail gunner can just pierce through. Huh. Well. That means kill the rail gunner as soon as possible, then. You know what they say. This thing has 2,000 HP. Wow. Uh, it's killing out the apostles. Holy crap! This is, a, this is just one taps him. But this build is actually working significantly stronger than the uh, last previous build so far. Really liking the sniper shot. I can destroy the turrets on top with a regular shot. Did that tree just block my shot? Bullet drop. Fucking bullet drop. I'm destroying turrets? Are you joking? That should aggro the rest, I think. Did not aggro the rest. Bunch of armor panels on the core after it couldn't happen again. Oh, yeah, I probably should do that. Oh, shit. I don't know. I never had that happen to me before. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe because my, 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 my uh, base is too huge. They can still shoot the top of the core. I, I don't know. Uh, you know what? That's a smart idea. I, I forgot about that. I, I, I forgot that uh, armored walls can actually boost up your core, too. Smart, smart, smart. I can't believe my chat is actually being smart for once. I thought you guys were all brain dead. You're embarrassing me. Stop it. You gotta experience it first. Fine, fine, fine. Fine. Oh, hey, got a fire score. And a repeater. Damn, that's a double whammy. We love double whammies. <laughs> Electronic component. Who gives a shit? I can just buy those now. Warning. I'm cold, guys. Oh, no. Achoo! Uh, yes, I'm about to get a little cold around here. Uh, all right, well... First things first, whenever a blizzard comes by, is I'm gonna stick my dick into the snow. I didn't mean to grab that. Whatever. Missiles, or the last, the less I go back to base, the better, I guess. Uh, any homies around? Cause I can't see shit. Free cataphract. What a deal. Wow. No. Yo, is there any uh, smart smart sight joins in this channel? Anyone like it at all? If you're doing a non weak point build, I guess. I didn't realize he was staring at me. That was a little bit creepy. Please don't ever do that again. I don't like being stared at. The blizzard has ended. Thank you. Thank you, come again. All right, this new sniper build I'm doing right now, fucking insane. I didn't expect it to be this good. Why does he walk like that? Oh, that didn't kill him. I think it's just because he got too close. Loving it too. It's one of my favorite builds. It's great for anti-boss. Repeater? Repeat after who? Is that our Envor card? Hell yeah. I'm glad. Especially if you can get like really good sense for it. I'm liking this build a lot more than the last one. Fuck! Yeah! Let's go! Getting close to my second, uh, cruiser cannon. I really want to play this tomorrow, man. Sometimes people just kind of, I don't know, it feels like people are trying to, like, 
make it where I, they don't really want to see play this game. It makes me not want to play the game, but at the same time, I want to play more of this game. But then again, I still got to move to other games. I just want to keep playing because there's just so much for me to do still before we reach endgame. Like, I want to reach infinity mode. I want to play with people. I don't fucking know, man. When I say people, I mean other streamers. <laughs> my, my stream, uh, uh, I guess I consider my own streamer friends. Maybe not. I don't know. I have a problem. With life. What is life? Can you explain what makes this build work? Uh, so I have close range for this uh, gun, which is my light. I have two chain. That's my chain weapon. Headshot. So I have two chain. Uh, it's so hard to explain it. I, I have to show you my modifications. I shoot him in the fucking face, the weak spot. It just instantly clapped those guys and those were really hard to kill. For me. Uh, with my previous build. So I have two chain for every single one of my skill except these two right here. These have one. Oh, they do have two chain. They do have two chain. They also have condense and all that other stuff to make it do more damage. And uh, so, was it clarification? Fuck. Collateral. Was it? I think it was collateral. I forgot. I forgot the name. Um, so my long shot has two strong and one multiply. So the farther the enemy is, the more damage this thing does. So the way chain works is that it hits it again. And given the fact that chain does stack, it hits it again. So basically, this sniper shot counts as three shots in one at the expense of a little bit extra ammo. Say. I wish. And so is this light. So this light has two chain. I might actually put... I don't know. I think two chain is good enough. I don't think a third chain would make a lot of sense. Because you need to multiply off of it somehow, right? You need good base damage to get multiplication in. So what chain is, is chain is increasing your base damage. Because of the amount of shot that you're, you know hitting at the same time so this is three shots at once in a condensed form think of it like that and then the multiplier multiplies uh them separately i guess or is it together that's not what i think about it. i don't know because it's shooting it's basically shooting three bullets at the same exact time you hit it once it counts the damage again and down to counts the damage again i think that's what it's doing what chain is doing and what's happening is that if I shoot them in a week, I have heavy hit for this gun. So it hits it again. So basically, my light shot counts as six shot. Maybe I should put that on my sniper rifle. That might be better than a sniper rifle. Multiplier. Yeah. I might have a build here. That actually just works. Maybe not really good against bosses. But it's great against for, like, exploring. But I do want to try it on this boss when it comes out. Like, I mean, I'm currently in the middle of experimenting builds, Smell so... that chat. It's his two brain cells burning out through that attempt at rationalizing. <laughs> thought that was Amperfell for a second. It's typically Amperfell that does those type of jokes. <laughs> yeah, it was a smart site. I think he's like a whole gear attachment that's just sitting around. Or maybe I'm just too decked out for gear. I don't know. Broken missile. I think that was a cannon blueprint. Something I don't really care much about. Or do I? Yeah, it's a broken missile. I actually do need a couple more missiles. I have no idea. Alright, alright. I gotta even pick you up. I don't care. I'm hoping I can get like a red boot. That gives me more movement speed. And that's a double burst. Not a bad run. We got some extra resources, just no nano processors. And I'm gonna probably start doing these run more often instead of like doing full loots, because I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time doing full loots instead of looting the really good spots. Two brain cells burning out. Yes, yes. When I don't eat, my brain cells actually do burn out. Feels good, man. Huh, I'm surprised that we're not getting hit. Is it because we don't stay on the map long enough? I, I feel like every time you stay on the map, uh, for too long, it just gets a little bit, uh, they, they send waves. Ooh, you're making buffer. <laughs> I'm rich! Rich! Smart border at the top. Sure. And I'm pretty sure we still have to fight the boss. Don't board all, please. Damn, uh, yeah, we do. We do still have to fight the boss, but I don't have to wait as long. Uh, what's our yield? 25, almost 25,000 gold. That's going to be big money. We can do greed runs now on the high, max difficulty. I wonder how tanky the boss would get. Also, probably Chris would join the fight. 
robot humanoid robots now job equipment or research points. That thing that was like given uh, uh added in like two to three days ago, was it not? And not to mention the uh, electro robots, uh, not the electro robot, uh, the exploding spider bots. They also drop high explosives. You want to grab those. Those are the materials, not the uh, consumable high explosives. <sighs> boss time. All right. I sure hope this weapon does a lot of damage against the boss. I know my light cannot reach the boss because it's too fucking far away. But by long range, might be able to fight him. Might be able to uh, hurt him pretty hard. Unless my cannon uh, fucking chunks his ass. I, I don't know. We're about to find out. If I want high explosives, I just visit my local Taco Bell. Let's go. If we were going to go to Taco Bell, what would you order right now? Give me some crunchy tacos and a steak burrito. Side dash and some Baja Blast. One of my friends would go to Taco Bell at night just to get free uh, Baja Blast because they're throwing it away. <laughs> steak, steak grilled steak cheese burrito. Cheese. Hell yeah, that sounds absolutely diabolical. Yes, sir. That sounds good, sir. Combat miners. I realized that my uh, guns were firing off for a bit. But at least we can have multiple combat miners now, so we can actually mine resources a little bit quicker. What a deal. Pretty small artillery. All right, you go here. You go have fun. All right, so make sure that I don't die again. <laughs> What's on our menu? Because I uh, wasn't at Taco Bell ever. You've never been to Taco Bell ever. Okay, so what, what store have you been to? McDonald's? Wendy's? Burger King? Whataburger? Wait, I don't think Whataburger is expanded to your area. Wait, no, Whataburger is U.S. classic, sorry. You're, you're not U.S., sorry. <laughs> My apologies for assuming you're in the United States. Sorry, this is the land of the brave, uh, sorry, land of the brave, land of America. I thought this was America. Freedom units? Oh. I think my CPU is actually really hot because, uh... My browser chat, I just did a little blinky blink. McDonald's and Subway. Okay, so I don't think... Okay, so you guys don't have Taco Bell. That's insane. Okay, so if you were going to go to McDonald's and Subway, what would you get right off the bat? What would be the first thing that you'd go for? I was surprised to find Whale Burger in Wisconsin. I always thought those are a Cali area thing. Whataburger or Whale Burger? Is that like two different things? There's so much fast food stuff around. Yeah, it gets a little tired just looking at fast food. I don't like eating fast food that much yet, either. So it kind of makes a little sense. Farm up my ammo, come on. I just get a sandwich. Okay, what, what would you put on the sandwich? Five dollars. Five dollar foot wall. Oh, you out of your mouth. Who? Is the Mark Burger fa uh, family burger joint? Yo, is it good? I love burgers so much. I'm always craving for burgers, no matter what, because I just love burgers. But I try not to eat too many burgers, obviously. But is it good? It probably tastes good. I think all my turrets are fucking far in Kingdom Come, sweet baby Jesus. Stop the uh, fast food in general, dude. Sam, I go occasionally for some fast food, fast food burgers, but I don't really feel like I need fast food. I'd rather just cook my pork. <laughs> if I'm gonna die to something unhealthy, I'll just cook pork instead. It's already unhealthy enough, and it it's cheaper. Yeah, Melt burger, dude. Melt burger's burger is amazing. Burger. God, that smells amazing. What about curly fries with some cheddar on top? Or was it white cheddar? I think it's white cheddar. You ever been to, have you, have you heard of Anchor? I don't know if Anchor is something that you have. Maybe it's just a local to my, uh, uh, my home, home city. I think it's the local to my own, uh, home city, so you might not have it. 
But Anchor would have the best burgers and the best fries. But that place would be extremely expensive. So when I had my job, I would go there like at least twice a month. Just to eat at the Anchor. It's just so good. It's my favorite burger joint. Why did my game stop lagging all of a sudden? It started lagging and it stopped lagging. Uh, anywho. There's also, uh, what's that place called? Red Robins? I, I think Red Robins Worldwide? Possibly? If anybody knows? No, let's go loot. There's stuff back here you don't want to loot. Bosses are coming in. But you know what? I'm going to be far away from the fray, so... I think I'll be okay. Chocolate! Chocolate! I love chocolate. Never heard of Anchor. I go to Arby's for curly fries. Fuck. You know what? Their fries myself. You know what? That sounds so good right now. I think I might go to Arby's to get some curly... You, oh, man. Why would you say that? I forgot they have curly fries. Or or I can just go to Five Guys and order their largest fry. And just get loaded with fries. Food for fuck's sake. I'm hungry. You're always making me crave for food. The same. Time. Wait, hot. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you wanted to get hot. Hello. What's up, Shiveri? Hope you're doing well. Good morning. But I love food. I love talking about food. I'm, I'm just hungry. Oh, shit. Yo, another red drop. Let's fucking go. That's a lot of weak point bonuses. Crit bonus? Damn, it's a crit damage bonus, too. Ah, oh, but it's no zoom. Oh, well. What's the zoom? Why am I holding it? What an upgrade! I don't need no zooms. Zoom is for zoomers. You stop lagging. Are we doing well, Shaveri? You lacking the lick of my bits? Uh, yes, welcome to my dreadnought. The Arby's Wagyu Burger and the Jamaica Shake is my go to there. Oh, yeah! You got chocolate? It better be dark chocolate. Dark chocolate or go home. I'm not the only one that loves dark chocolate with passion, right? Because it has low sugar and everything. Never heard of Ark Anchor? Yeah, Anchor is definitely a local down to uh, city. That gets crit chance? You can get fucking crit chance on your armor? The gloves in particular? I did not know that. I do want, you know what, tax did they change, that, that has to be an update. That has to be part of an update. That you get attack on your gloves. I think you get attack on your gloves, oh my god. That's huge. Massive. what my base feels like. Auto. <laughs> Is the best and indeed most healthy of the target stuff if you call it healthy at all? I mean, it has the least sugar, so it's a, a little bit better. Not to mention, isn't there studies that it provides better blood pressure? For sure it does. I don't know what that is. Oh, mocha. Like a mo mocha drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With more ice cream. No ice cream, though. No, 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 no ice cream. Too much sugar. There ain't no such thing as sugar-free sugar. That doesn't exist. Come out 10 minutes ago. Another new update? What's with the new update this time? What do we got? Any update notes? Or did you fail to update? Where's Bossman? I don't want to waste bullets. It's too lazy to shoot. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll... Do they break soon? Same. They need to take a break so they can keep working on the game. Right? My guy! I'm lagging! This is useless. They explode on death. This is actually useless.
You're probably wondering how the fuck I'm doing this. I have a trait that allows me to reset my cooldown if my charge kills him. So I have infinite damage by just pressing X. What a deal, right? Please don't shoot the barrel. What picture is that? Missing file privilege and now I can't load. All right, so don't update it. Fix the possible crash when creating turret squad. Fix the... Oh, hey, are they watching my stream? Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I crashed because of that bug! Either that or somebody reported the bug. But wait, Puff Knuckles says that his uh, update failed. I can see your traits uh, for this character. I can show it after this run. I don't know if I can show it now, can I? Oh, I can. Force field, power slash, expandable. Hyperactive is the one that okay, so I can't show you my traits. If you're talking about the branch out version felts, you just have to wait till the end. And you gotta remind me once it ends. Because I will forget probably. I'll try to remind myself though. That took out all the rest of my armor. It's fine, we have plenty of shit. Wait, can you try it again, Puff uh Puff Knuckle? Try updating it again. You might have a desync air issue. I think you have a desync sync issue. Oh, that, that update is low priority. I'll probably update it after stream, though. Okay, they're starting to do a lot more damage. This ain't worth it. Not here. Okay, I probably should stop bringing this character uh, for melee. Because melee is not worth it on this map. They explode on death. guys already have like oh shit my ammo my ammo oh no i forgot about my ammo oh yeah ad break again during and after the slash wait that's insane i think i have that uh kristen Roar. yeah i might have that if validation won't uh, fix it, it we'll see tomorrow after I work uh, after work again. No, Puff, I'm so sorry. I can't believe that happened to you. I'm so sorry to hear about that. So the file validation won't fix it. I wonder if you can um, uninstall and reinstall. Would that make you lose your data? I don't think it would. I hope not. Maybe not really worth uh, uninstalling and reinstalling. You can't use it. <laughs> the game knows, Puff. It just knows that you want to use it. Does it have cloud save? I'm pretty sure it does, right? It does have cloud save. Maybe you can reinstall, uninstall, reinstall. Hopefully it cloud save before you start uh, running into issues. Get out of save file, backed up just in case. Oh yeah, true. Probably should use the rest real quick. And take advantage of this one minute. I have one minute left, so be right back. Welcome back, Rice Lads! I'm gonna try another Infinity Mode after this run. 
Uh, probably with a different character. Well, actually, I might have to summon some people Go back first. And wash your hands, you filthy animal. No. You can't make me. So no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I feel like I lost a lot of damage by putting the side on instead of the far away side. I don't know. It doesn't look like I lose out on a lot of damage. This is definitely a pure upgrade here, so. We're about to find out. Is this how you're supposed to crouch? Is it because I'm resting my elbows on my knees? Is that why? All right, rice lads, let's fuck them up. God damn that recoil, holy shit. It chunk his ass. How much damage did I do? I can't tell. Uh, it kind of chunks him a little. But my turret's fucking doing most of the damage. Yeah. I don't know if the multiplier is actually worth it or not. There might be like a maximum cap of the uh, multiplier. Launching exercise, people shower, you can clean rear, then people touch clean rear with dirty hand and wash hand because they touch uh, rear. You should say wash hand before touch clean rear. Confucius, <laughs> 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 Marge. Smarge, Smarge Nodders. Smarge. Wait a minute, this leads nowhere. If people get stuck here, I think they're stuck forever. I do not think this through. God damn it, confusion. Why so smart? I, uh. Do I not have a stair that goes up? Oh, did I close it off? Or is it over here? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I spoke too soon. You want one of those big guns? Yeah, they're worth it. They're anti boss for a reason. They help me fight like Omegas and all that stuff. Uh. That, well, probably not the Omega. Omega might actually take a lot more hits. I just need more shells for the thing to kill the Omega in Infinity Mode. That's why we need more AI and batteries. I was kind of hoping for uh, Prius, or Pri oh, sorry. The Prius to show up. The Prius didn't show up. It doesn't look like we can get any loot, so we're just gonna extract. Yeah, I'm about to swap out this character specifically if I'm going to do loot runs. This character's not a loot runner. Uh, Heller's a better one. On I thought I was the only one who washed his hand before even taking a piss. Hey, That's the way to go, baby! I don't care, Shell. Make me have to remove our ability to reload it with our gun. They need to remove the fact that I need gold to make the fucking shell? I can't make the shell in an infinite mode. Because I don't have gold in infinite mode. You can't even bring gold in infinite mode. Where the hell do you get gold in infinite mode? Aircraft arriving in 15 seconds. Love my base. And after? What the fuck is that Evo? What I bought on using 17 before it shows some of the most perverted right shit. Time to head home. All right, I'm rich. I got ion battery. I got a couple red pieces of gear. I think that was the best part is that the fact that we got a couple red pieces of red gear. This run. So they definitely buffed up the drop rate. Do we want to do more tours or do we want to do some infinite world mode? Oh, I don't see it far. Oh, yeah, you should know. What the fuck is it far? Don't you what the fuck me? What the fuck yourself? You bastard. You just broke the recovery. I did. Well done. What a deal. 25,000? Okay, what, what's the red stuff? We got a suppression helmet. Can't wait to look at it. Cataphract core, ion battery, and a... I think I've got two red sights, but it was in my inventory. So I guess anything that's in your inventory will not be counted towards, um, at the end. Oh, my God. 174,000. Holy shit. Wait, that's the most money I've ever made. Let's fucking go. We love money. I'm rich as fuck, boy. So, somebody wanted to look at my trait. 
So the reason why I was able to like rotate my charges there was because of the uh, power slash refresh. Killing an enemy with power slash reduces cooldown by 10 seconds. It's already 10 seconds flat. So it's a full fucking, um, it's a full reset. I don't have the damage increase. I think that's Melissa here for the damage increase. If there's one thing I could have done for... She has three uh, charges for her skill slash. This is better for exploration. Tour seems better than Zenatos asked. The wall thing for infinite? Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that again. Power slash explodes and set the area on fire. I want to get rid of explosion, but you can't. There's no reset. Unlucky. him. Alright, well, Melissa's at the end. Let's go and do some recruit. See if I can get a better hair. It's one. You have it, but never used it. Thanks. It really depends on the trait. Oh, you have it? Okay, nice. It's good. I feel like that, that character would be good to play with other people, but not for solo. Maybe good for infinity mode, but you can die in infinity mode. Did it just give you two rocket squad? Oh, oh, oh. All right. All right. Juice. 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 Pilot. Genius. Expandable. Fuck. You need hyperactive on her. If you want to do a lot of damage with um, hair, you need hyperactive because you're always moving around with hair. Hyperactive increases the uh, damage stacks. I'll show you that trait too, but I forgot to show you that trait. I have it on my second hair, which I'm probably going to swap to as my main character. Probably have a lot more fun with her. Oh, uh, there, there's hyperactive on Owl Squad, one of the most fucking useless combo. Oh, oh no, that's without boots though. Eh. It's funny because Barefoot's is actually pretty... Barefoot's actually pretty good early on. <laughs> if you don't have Burst Boost yet. Hyperactive out again. Oh my god, the amount of trade... Okay, she might be stacked. She might be really fucking stacked here. But uh, let me let me uh, use the rest of my tickets. Auto pickup. Is he just holding E? Yes. You hold E, you gotta like... And then you just look at it. And it just gets picked up. He might be decent. I want stamina regen for him. Oh, another hair squad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stonks. Stonks. Hyperactive. I mean, that's a start. Let's take a look at her traits. I'm fine with only hyperactive, but I really like stamina traits too. The other character is a lot better for stamina traits. It's just that, um... Okay, there's bottomless long. Okay, so we were looking at Carrie. So Carrie also has hyperactive. And the reason why hyperactive is because gain a stack of melee buff every second if you keep moving. So you can one tap some of the doors. The the the, the key card doors. This one has a branch off of hyperactive, which gives you more uh agility. I like this gain of weakness bonus though, every time you jump. This one's one of my favorites. Okay, let's take a look at Randell. Randell. Oh my god. Thought he has a fourth tier for decoy and missile barrage. Decoy HP uh greatly. Oh wait, both of them in decoy. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I don't want him. Tatum. Uh, I already don't want him. I forgot. Most of the missile squad is just kind of eh. Melissa Michelle. Michelle was not hyperactive, but she has hit give you slash again after three seconds. Wait, wait, wait. You can use Power Slash again within 3 seconds of using it. If the second Power Slash kills an enemy, you can use it again within 3 seconds and deal 50% more damage. <laughs> oh my god, what? I don't want it. She, she doesn't have the skill that I wanted. Uh, I believe Melissa's the one with both Hyperactive, I think, and Bondless Lung. Oh, is that carry? Both of them don't have Bondless Lung. Eh, whatever. So this is Owl Squad with like all the... So I assume that the more traits that they have, the higher tier traits they can respond with. Because I believe tra there's like a system called Trait Points. And it can go into like some of the higher tiers. Like this thing, this guy right here has a level 4 trait for Bubble Shield. Shield duration greatly increased. That's actually kind of massive. But her mech buddy is useless. That makes her more of a support type. This is actually kind of decent. I kind of like it a lot. Gain a stack of attack damage every second if you keep moving. I like her a lot. I'm gonna keep Celine. What the shit, Coetta? So many traits. So you guys, two tiers. What about bottomless lung? Did I saw bottomless lung? No. 
Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna fire her. She's not that good. She has a lot of traits, but they're just low quality. Maybe it's like RNG. I feel like I should keep Selene, because I don't really have a good Alice squad yet. Porcellos? She is Tiger Squad. Or he is Tiger Squad. Eh, I don't want him. I already have so many cataphract drivers. <laughs> He's not gonna help much. Alright, hair squad with cat or hyper. Hyper has one branch off, double stamina regen after climbing, lasts for five seconds, stacks up to ten times. Uh expandable. Oh my god, she's horrible. Ooh. Ooh. Marcellos. Uh that was the last character. And yeah, he's a fire too. Alright, so I'm gonna swap back to Melissa. Instead of Carrie. I'm gonna move Carrie stuff over to Melissa's instead. Hopefully I remember exactly what thing I put over. Ensure the site before I forget. Anything else in the insurance? Nope. Uh, we got a suppression helmet. Gain supersonic speed. Oh, oh, another thing I forgot to tell you. If you want hair to do so much damage, you need to break through helmet. Gain supersonic speed stacks equal to movement speed divided by 20 while moving. So she slowly increases speed. Oh, sorry. So supersonic speed, if you look at the bottom, grants 1.5% increased attack. All stacks are lost when remaining still for more than one second. So the more you run, the more you build up her attack. So that this helmet in particular helps you break down doors with hair. There's two Melissa. I know which Melissa I want. I know there's a second one over here. I think I kept her because she's a catafact driver. It's just that I, I need to pick the last Melissa. That, that's, I know exactly where she's at. So, yeah. Yeah. So, supersonic speed. Keep that in mind. Um, so, let's see here. I think we're going to do an infinity mode instead. So we don't need to bring lock picks in. I do want to bring in shield. I think two stacks of shield is good enough. And of course, bring in all the ammo. I know people like people are telling me to crap all like all this ammo box into like the bigger storage container. I'm like, eh, that's gonna cost a lot of resources. I think it costs polymer or some shit. I don't remember. It's a little more expensive crap. Uh, check it out my Zen real quick here. A second. Damage number goes up. So let's take a look. I need a better core gun. That's why we're doing infin infinite mode too. Unless I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should go infinite mode or I should just go tour. Because now tour has a higher drop rate of uh, red items. It's just that the final mission is kind of boring. So this is what I'm using. Triggers hitting an enemy's weakness trigger a st combo strike. So combo strike is basically a super multiplier for all these chain. I think. But it doesn't crit, so do I want rather have combo strike or do I want chain? I don't know. Multiplier? Uh I'm gonna see if I have I'm pretty sure I have a second pursuit. We do, we have four. I think having a fourth pursuit would be nice, because we're using heavy shots specifically for killing uh long range enemies, anyways, or bosses. This is my AoE skills. So I have two chain for AoE. Yeah, let's try it out. Um, I don't think I can manufacture anything yet. We need ion batteries. So if I really want to get more cruiser cannons, we would have to farm tours. That and repeaters. But it's fine. It is what it is. I can always like I can always auto farm off stream. I just want to have a little bit more fun with infinity mode. The darkest before dawn. This is our darkest hour. I forgot to put down the walls! Well, thank god I have this thing on my bob, so we can place down walls now, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, smart steak. Alright, there you go. You guys happy now? Alrighty then. Mm. Where the hell's the engine room? Where, where did I put the last fucking thing on my bob? Alright, I need to put x ray mode. Uh, up. There's the engine room. I believe it is over here. There it is. I don't care much about Titan Spikes. 
So yeah, if you guys are wondering how I build my base, a shit ton of power bank on the first floor in a straight line, as you can see. Copy that off somebody else on my Discord. Just welcome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's all jokes. Uh, second floor, engine rooms. I ran out of utility walls, so I can't place any more engines. Engine increases your core power. And of course, uh, you know, having cargo container helps. Third room, I don't know exactly. Third floor, I have no idea what to put here. So, besides the automation belt. Um, probably should get rid of a little bit more walls. Hopefully it doesn't really fuck with the stability. I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does. So, this is kind of nice. Um. I'm going to leave this door open just in case someone gets stuck inside. Or myself in particular. Doors on the side so I can actually get in there. Otherwise, base is finished. Show me floor one. Here's floor one. There it is. It's just a bunch of power banks, and then right below the power blanks is my storage crate. Material storage crate. There it is. That gives me a lot of core power. Don't build the turret overrider. I could just look at the turret overrider and say this is the most fucking dog shit looking fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> of course I'm not gonna build it. <laughs> it's... I could just look at him like, what the fuck do I need this? It's terribly broken right now. Oh, okay. So why, why is it broken? Explain. Let me know, good sir. I must know. This is for people who need to refill up on ammo. Like myself. Jet not complete. Oh. God damn it. Turns and you manually aim them from the view of the overrider. Oh no. Ugh. Oh no, man. Oh, that's bad. That is unfortunate. Sorry, you have to deal with that. Commander, well, at least you can get rid of it. That didn't cost you your run, did it? Wait, can't you just leave? Can't you just exit out of it? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, it's just there now. You just use it as a cosmetic for your uh, build. And you have a list of all your shirts on the right screen that blocks one-fourth of you. Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, wait, do you only place one storage crate? Do you not stack them on top of each other? No, be... Oh, I guess I can put two in that room. Yeah, I can put two in that room at a time. Not three. It goes up because the third will be blocked by the power bank. You're right, Zero Zingle. Should have done that. Terribly broken. Well, you have to wait after the two days of break that they're going to take. Wait, wait, here you go. Sweet Newt's Gaming, I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome on in. Let's grab a little power. Uh, I don't know why I'm grabbing power when I need to fucking automate. Yeah, that that that's what annoys me. I can't see. I can't see whenever I use that skill for this character, but I have, like, four built-in um, charges that you can use for exploration. I don't know... Oh. Why am I stuck in crouch mode? That's another bug that I found. I think if you crouch and press X, it sticks. It, it auto locks you in crouch. Might need the old ammo. All right. Yes, sir. Um, I need to place down miners. I completely forgot about that. Need miners for resources. I wish I can defend the front line. I think you need people to defend your front line. Finding uh, influence in this game is such a chore. Stumble across your blood today and it got me motivated to push deeper. Hell yeah, brother. Hope you learned lots, man. And since I'm already here, you might as well ask some questions if you have any questions. I know a, lot, I know a couple ideas. And I'm always still learning. There's a lot of things I'm still figuring out. Like pressing shift, left click. Oh, man. 
Sorry, not shift left click. If you go to map, select all your ammo, uh, ammo producer with two, uh, your hotkey. You can shift Z and it craft all the ammo at once instead of just spamming Z. That's what I figured out. And well, the course still died. Can't hold the line anymore. Wait, what? I just did it. I just got an instant reload. Huh? I did it shoot the full capacity? Did it just give me a full instant reload? Did I, did I see that right? Excuse you. Music to my ears. Oh, this base is fucked. Falling back. You can have it. Can't tell. Is that a tank right there? Or what the fuck is that I'm looking at? What is that? That is not a tank. What is that? <laughs> what, what the fuck is that, chat? Why slats? I, I don't know what that is. Looks like a, looks like a tank, but it looks like a really dead tank. Yeah, I was able to use bomb skill at once. That's insane. All right, gonna make ammo. Control Z. Guess I destroyed one of my miners. It's a high caliber AA tank. Is it really? It's just standing there. Oh, wait, no, it's a wreck. It's the debris. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> that did not kill him. These guys are much beefier, I guess. That's armor for you, I guess. Command mode activated. Command mode activated. Protect the Promethean core. Slap down the stake wall. This is to help me block the barrels that rolls by. Oh, I should have placed that there. Oh, at least I can blow them up. This is a no barrel zone. No, no, no. Oh, there's the barrel. All right. We should only really need three this early on. Imagine next to your uh, paper file, the dev secretly enable turret friendly fire for one day. I'm down for that. What do you mean? That's the best fucking idea ever. Killing enemies outside of X boost field will not replenish your material. Well, they're inside the X boost field. So give me that shit. It's like one of the best upgrades to have. Is there a way to delete the outputs and start from scratch in design mode? Uh, yes. So before you click the edit button at the top right corner, you'll see the uh, new layout. Click on that new layout and it resets it, Jack Frost. Be interested in multi stream would be good content to cut guides from. Teach me Saifu. Um, uh, particularly. Wait, what? Are you saying, tell, like, are you, are you asking for a collab? Suke's News Gaming? <clears throat> Right now, I try to play more because I do carry runs. I do carry runs from time to time, um, but I don't really know you too well, unfortunately, because there there are some people that I do play with because I do know them quite well, typically. But no, nah, not at the moment, because I'm getting really close to finishing the game too. So, yeah, I'm not too particularly sure just yet. But typically, when I know you long enough, for example, then yes, it's possible. I mean, was watching the end game cards. Yeah, no problem. Not to mention, I might be a little bit too ahead. 
There's one person, maybe two people. One person I typically play with on their stream is like with Velatrix and all them. But I haven't really like asked anybody else because I just don't know them well. And for example, Cat on Mars is uh, another friend of mine. Um, okay, well, actually, I don't even know if they're friends or not. Still, someone I knew for a long time. So, like, he might just know you, like, for well, at least, like, maybe six months for a long time. Then, yeah, I probably would have asked. <laughs> Typically, I do set up, like, barriers. It's just in case, you know. But I'm already almost done with the game myself. So, I won't probably won't be able to stream this as long term. Uh, did that thing not... No, drop me a data relayer. Or am I almost getting full again? So I apologize. Uh oh, so the barrels are getting through. Did, did someone just join my room again? Oh my god. I showed my social thing. He found the password. I showed it I on accident. Smell you. Get the fuck out of my room, you little bastard. <laughs> I forgot about that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I forget? Speaking of, someone just joined. Steal all your loots. Well, he can't join my action run. He's stuck in that screen. You can't join when I'm in the middle of a run, I think. Unless you can join in between waves. I'm not too particularly sure. Oh, hey, we got an auto wave. Hell yeah. Yeah, occasionally I will do, like, carry runs if I really feel like it or not. But I tend to, like, playing the game a lot. I have a lot of social anxiety. That's one. That's one big reason why I don't like playing with other people. <laughs> Fuck it. Wrong button. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the miners. Well, we don't really need to destroy the miners. Left is causing a lot of issues. Tanks, for example, and this motherfucker who's just trying his best to try to hit me. Oh, alright, grab myself some ammo. Full position. Give me some goodies. Same water power, enemy attack would increase by 25%. Yeah, that's not big of a deal at all. That's free supply drops, in my opinion. Uh, you know, some of these items I can just bring out. Wait till the end of the way, just wanted to join and troll a little bit. Yeah, I was gonna kick you. <laughs> I just want to do stuff alone, you best. Well, at least you, at least you, I was like, where did you, you, oh man, it's too bad I'm on my guard. You already got me on my guard earlier, so you fucking failed the job. Oh, mother, keep doing the same exact thing. Yes. Fuck my other ass. Shells. Shells here. No Swiss this time? Support core gun? I'm getting scammed. I'm actually getting scammed. What the shit? Alright, I'll just play some some shitty turrets then, I guess. Is that EMP? Oh, that's kind of cool. 
How much HP does he have? Oh, I destroyed his armor. Oh my god, that actually shreds. Okay, so if he didn't have armor, that would shred him. Farm ammo crafter materials. I'm currently pushing snow three. Ammo crafter, you need high explosives. So the your main bottleneck for ammo crates is high explosives. The two by two. The material. There's a material consumable. You want the two by two version. Another way to do this is to grind gold and just buy the ammo crate directly from shop. You gotta just make money. High explosives are your the thing that you want to look out for the most. Because you can get them from the spiders that blows up in your face. The face helper spiders. And the uh you can just random loot. Might just build up as I go. But typically speaking, you just buy the uh, ammo crate by itself from the market. So just having a lot of gold and just refreshing the shop, consi shop consistently helps the most. Getting your your market to level 5 and your research center to level 5 is your main priority. Peter. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see that there. It's kind of funny. Uh, I'm not losing as much frames as I'm used to. I feel like my game is running quite smoothly now. It's kind of nice. No, we buy gold today? Yeah, you gotta try to figure out how to fight them. Typically speaking, the hair would probably be really, really good, or just getting a decent weapon. You do mess around with your Zen more. As a new player, you should always be stacking power and material crates. Material crate requires polymer trees for lumber. You should be chopping down wood for uh, lumber if possible. I don't really feel like doing it right now. I can just always do get more lumber off stream. Because I play this game a lot off stream. Hell, like even tomorrow if I'm going to be playing like other games on stream. Uh, I'll be playing this game off stream after my stream. Or end with it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, zero, zero, you bastard. Plus, you already got yourself a fucking... What's that thing called? That fire turret. Go away. You don't need my carry anymore. Shoot. Mm. You can just sell this. No, I'm just bringing it out and sell it for insurance points. Nah, I don't think I really need to. When you auto, you get equipment to free anyways. And you get new characters and you sell the shitty weapons. Oh, right. I don't know if I need a fourth. I don't think I need him. I'm trying to shoot this fucking miner over here. Man, he's dead. All right. Obtained extra chance and preparation time plus 16 seconds. Is it because I finished early? Hold that position. I think boss wave is next. During the next wave, killing enemies outside the X-Boost field would not replenish your material. And there's a stand sword. So basically, we're going to lag. Woo! Another auto loader. What a deal. That I'm not going to use. I'm gonna slap it down. Portable MG turret. What the deal? What the fuck is that? I can't tell. I wonder if it's actually reload the uh, turrets in front of it. It should have far enough range. It does. Is that it? Fucking no slurs. I, uh. What's up, Total Matter? How's it going, bro? Mr. Rice Lad, sorry. What the? Oh, I thought my inventory was like bowed down. I was like, oh. Uh, looking kind of a bit sketch there, friend. Where nano chips can be more common? Ruins. It's still rare, but ruins. Late snow or ruins? Let's go. Wait a minute. What? I can't... Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, so I just can't see the UI, but I can still use it. Oh, thank God. I was, I was worried for a second there. To win a battle, you must have fine logistics. If you don't have a logistics, you won't win the war or battle. That's the first rule of war. 
They, 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 they turn off my fucking uh, screen to make more ammo? I think we're fucked, lads. <laughs> I would've been terrified. No, 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 no. All right, well, here you go. Have some more shells on the ground. She's gonna stay there for a bit. Ammo box, yuppers, ammo box, yuppers. Wait a minute. Ah, he's already dead. Uh, Do I just lose something? Wait a minute, huh? Oh, hell no! I can't build like this. Hell, I can't even build at all. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait. Ooh, rocket gloves. Now I'm gonna probably put it into the vending machine. We gotta craft that ammo somehow. No, 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 that's not repeater. Don't talk away to repeater. Boss is here. Probably a miner. All right, it seems like most of my ammo production is full. I can probably add these guys into the ammo production. So, how do we want to do this then? I guess we can put down more platform if I could. Can't even place down platform even if we wanted to. That means I don't have access to the map. Wait, do I? Yeah, I don't have access to the map because it's super sandstorm. So there's artillery. Probably sitting about somewhere and I can't find him. But this is highly unfortunate. Guess we'll go out to hunt. Oh, two yellow dudes over there. I don't see any tanks on this side. Couldn't see shit. We'll take it. Full position. We hold the line. Uh, enemies will become stronger. Attack and turns increase by 5%. I don't think this is worth it. Plus, we're fighting the boss next. Refill the walls. Refill the walls. Should I upgrade these two? Uh, probably twin barrels or mortars. Probably mortars. Convert turns into mortars. Yeah, we can go with mortars here. They're gonna eat up so much bullets. Okay, large artillery is just gonna be all the way in the back. I'm lucky. Looks badass as fuck, though. Can I upgrade it? 
105 mil. Uh, okay. He's just consumed power to make it bigger. Assault mode defense module deploys additional defense around your perimeter. Turns around perimeter. That's it. All right. That, that's actually kind of cool. That's badass as fuck. Well, boss man's coming in this round. All artillery's ready to go. Another one. You have artillery in the back, too. I'm pretty sure it'll turn around. I hope. Seems like all my ammunition facility is full. Just need sacrifice for more power then. So Bossman's coming in. Badass as fuck. This doesn't really do as much damage to the Omega. I think the other gun is just significantly better. Easy way? Wait out of shells? I need shells? It needs even more shells? Do these guys even fire? Okay, to be fair, I think these guys are definitely not their correct in the correct direction. I uh, what about you guys? They need fucking fire! What the shit? And they didn't fire! They didn't bother to fire, what the hell? Okay, so these motors are gonna help out take out the heavy units. Uh, oh god, I'm losing a lot of resources. Direct fire command mode for them to work. They fix it for me at least. Direct fire. Are they indirect right now? They should be direct fire. Normal shot. Switch to direct fire. What does that even do? I don't know what indirect and direct fire mean. Oh. Indirect fire is just making it go up. I see. So this allows them to actually shoot towards the enemy. I think that might be what prohibits the range. Indirect fire is making it go up and arcing over. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Wow. I'm still learning new stuff, man. Great mechanics, great mechanics. Four. One. This is full. Oh. Someone's stuck again. What else is fucking new? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I was in the wrong. I'm sorry for being in the wrong. 
HP will increase by 25%. Uh, I don't think it's that bad. We have plenty of ammo. We're still holding the front line because I smarge. I want for goodies. Give me goodies. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me them shells. Shells are more important. Uh, what are the two items that we get? Straight grip and munition armor. What is this gear? What am I getting right now? What do I feel like I'm getting scammed? Loading, okay. Uh, I just get more power. I might as well just get more power. Don't know why the inventory for this game is like this reduced. I also need to get more ammo. Black style anti tank, yeah, it's just arcing it. They try to arc it so you don't. So you're telling me that okay, so do you know what the very first mistake that I did in the snow biome? Oh, hey, red gear, let's go! Woo! The gloves! It's recovery gloves. Feels good, man. All right, never mind. I want mechanical claws. I'm a chooser, all right? I'm a beggar, and I'm a chooser. You better, you best be giving me a fucking mechanical claws, you son of a bitch. Uh, so... <laughs> so the thing is that, uh... Dude, what the hell were we talking about? I forgot. I completely forgot. I was gonna tell you something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the very first time in a snow map, I decided to use artillery. If it, it, so, it starts off and everybody knows that it starts off in direct fire mode, right? Yeah, I blew myself up with it once. It was awesome. I know you blow yourself up with it. Because it didn't have enough range to see where I was trying to, like, uh, blast the enemy with. The they, uh, 88 millimeters and 128 versions? There was, there's pre-war and then 105. I think this is pre-war version. This is the 105. And then you have a twin barrel that shoots two artillery shells at what the fuck. What the hell just happened there? Wait, why don't we just lose the front line again? What happened to my front line? Why did I spot? I just got rid of the other two spikes. Son of a bitch. I think I might need to put more fucking walls in the front. Might have been one of the shells landing. Oh, these fuckers. Alright, I'm bringing out the boys. We gotta bring out the boys now. Goodies? No goodies. Right, I can just build this boat. It's not the blizzard, or it's not sandstorm right now. My poor walls and frontline walls. Those jumpers are bullshit. Those jumpers are fucking pure bullshit. I didn't need to put an all loader back here. Oh, 
I got problems. That's a dead problem, right? That's a dead tank. Yep, that's why I put the borders in the front line. To take care of those uh, tanks. You definitely use more material storage if possible. This only weighs six. This shouldn't be really this difficult. That's the problem. That's where most of the bullets, they do like no damage to those artillery enemies. Ay, ay, ay. So this is why dropping the club team reward. Attack and turrets increase by 5%. Uh, oh, let's press Y, not E. And you replace some of the portable spikes in the front. I think I'm gonna use him as a buffer. I might just turn him into a buffing type. Oh, we lost the turret that was right here. Lots of mortar. What the hell? It's gone! What the shit? So these guys are going to go with enhanced circuits that increase double damage capacity and attack speed. And now provides elimination. Is... Wait, elimination. Oh, God, I'm blind. Oh, God, I'm blind. All right. Uh, sad that we can't really use that as a tactical... What's that thing my bomb called? Oh, hello. I don't know what that was. I just picked up yellow sight. Okay. Uh, so, kind of sad that it doesn't really... Um, that you can't really make... Wait, can you make portable spikes as part of your base? That could be a really nice buffer. Or is that a deceiver only? Decipher only, sorry. That'd be a decipher only game. Did we not get a free crate? Did I not press Y? Why? Done. I don't think I got a free fucking grade. Why well, skipped it on me? Was that just buffs? Oh, it's holding you soon. Wait, no, that's not it. It should have been unopened. Actually, I need to check the fucking tower. It's a yellow item right there. It's the most random ass yellow item. Might have dropped it there, sorry. Engineering helmet. 2,300 power. Fodder! We'll save it for now, just in case I do need to sacrifice it for the greater good. It seems like my ammunition is actually kind of running out. What were we at? Wave 7? I thought we were higher. What was the highest wave that we got to? 12? Oh, this is empty. Oh, it's really fucking empty. Oh, that's not, that's not good at all. I have to camp the ammo button. Or I have to sacrifice the entire front line. Well, not necessarily. I guess we have ammo boxes here.
fucked up as a titan. Hey! Hey for what? Mr. Material Storage is hurting me. Ah, uh, yes, we got shielders. Still looking at front lines. But we can still keep building walls. I gotta take problem. I don't know if I can see him from here. getting empty we do have bad breaks so we'll have to pause that one for a bit here go ahead and just watch the ammo go really slow do that really fucking slow slow mo matrix mo we'll be right back also suit nukes gaming we appreciate the follow thank you much Welcome back. Well, it's not welcome back yet. Give me a second. All right, I got to be stretched for a bit. Mm. Uh. Trying to figure out what I want to eat after the stream. I didn't really eat a lot of calories today. So I'm getting like a little bit of brain fog. I didn't sleep that much either. All right, welcome back, Rice Lads. You're having a little tad bit of an ammunition problem. I might need to craft a little bit more ammo maker because I don't think we have enough. 
Our resource is always fucking overflowing, and that's not good. It seems like there's an enemy that's not dying, unless we just won. Nobody's blasting me right now, it's just nebulous. Really slow nebulous drops. Okay, hold the line, hold the line. Good position. I'm gonna try to get level 10. Enemy damage attack will increase by 25%. Sure! Grenade gloves, nice. What about Swiss? About time he gave me a Swiss. What was that Swiss? Oh, another command core gun. That Swiss was so late. Oh, my entire front line is dead. Hell yeah. Ain't that wonderful. Might need to put the walls a little bit further up. I don't need materials at the moment, so we don't really need to put down any more portable miners unless I want to use it as a wall. Oh, hello. Don't tell me these guns are all out of juice. <laughs> oh, all the defense turrets are just out of juice. Unlucky. Man, if only there was a system where you use a drone to put ammo anywhere to any turret on the map. Catch my drift? Kind of, kind of uh, treated like a little bit of factorial satisfactory. Wait, well, satisfactory doesn't do that. Factorial or a uh, Dyson Spear program. Just have a, an actual automatic drone. Make it take in one full square slot. I, I don't know how to get ammo to it. I guess I don't. I don't fucking know. But it goes towards any of the. Um, Outside areas, I guess, to try to refill ammo on the outside, so I don't have to put down an auto loader. But at the same time, I guess you still need to put down an auto loader. Do we get a loot drop rate? Why do I have one bar of loot left? What does that mean? Reward of one red bar. Also, what else my drop rate? I think it stops giving me rewards. Where's that head over there? I think that's it. Never mind, I found it. I'm just an idiot. Wait, no. I thought I saw gold over here. Did I get scammed? Again? Is it because we get no reward shipments? It is what it is. How in the fuck do we lose all the walls over here? Okay, we need to spread out the walls. Treat this as D-Day all over again. Don't need to worry about my side. We made it to wave almost nine. It's getting close. Probably should take care of that tank. Enjoy my game again. I just heard somebody say fucking something. Seriously, was that you? I'm pretty sure I just heard voice acting. Or uh, uh, voice activation. No fucking shot that I did not just hear him.
I'm farming Rune 4. <laughs> Wait, Rune 4. Huh. I think someone else joined. Probably someone. No. Unless they clipped the. No, you couldn't clip the password. Or maybe you could have clipped the password. What are you doing? I don't know. I hope level 10's another boss. Did an indirect fire? Was it indirect fire? No, no, do you want to swap to lose direct fire? Alright, next wave. This is wave 9, that means the complete next wave. Oh, this is easy. Alright, good. Alright, let's see if the airdrop actually drops. It did. It did drop. So I think I might have missed out on loot for not picking up or opening up the crate. What was the other one? <gasps> Another red armor base! Let's go! Ooh. How can armor piece be so sweet? What's that doing? Okay. Having more than 50% armor grants 20% increased attack. It is a little bit worse than the one I have. It gives me more armor value, while the other one gives me defense. So, this is the storage type, just in case I do miss up on something. Unless I want to gear on the second character, I guess. An idiot. Oh, well, we completely f filled out the barrel, but I don't think we have enough shells for the next wave. This might be a one on one situation. If it's Krius, we could be fucked. I may need to save the rest of our ammo here to fight against Krius, just in case I need to manually auto the autoloader. So I don't think we want to load the autoloaders on this side. I want these motors to kind of just stop firing. I think this was completely out of bullet of too. I think you're fine to have some ammo, sure. But just you, no one else. No, Kreath? Uh, no. I don't want to play solo. I don't want to play with others right now. On stream. <laughs> That hamster just took all of the food and ran. Fucking joint the food and ran. Oh, perfect! Came in just in time. That is one tanky bunch of motherfuckers. I'm out of bullets. But that ain't good. These guys are extremely tanky. Okay, so we're gonna need to try to take him out by getting closer. Real good apostle? Oh shit, it's real good apostle. They're overrunning our front line! I forgot to grab the guns! Oh shit! Yeet. Yeet. I'm lagging so hard. Yeet. 
What the fuck? Did the auto loader take ammo from just three or all six boxes? Uh, wait, what? Are you talking about? Are you talking about my advanced auto loaders? Only four. I only have four. Oh yeah, yeah, all six. Yes. Are you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, I'm getting teleported. If we're talking about like the three slot, all of them, yeah. They take it from all slots. The entire box. But I only have four boxes. It's a two by two slot. I don't know if we can survive the next wave. We're kind of running out of ammo. How many fucking apostles are there? Have you tried it with six? No, but I don't think it works that way. I don't feel like it works that way. Oh shit, okay, we lost the middle uh, tower. That means we need to call the evac. I do want to spoil myself what's going to be the last boss here. Let's go, Ranger. Ranger love, we love Ranger. Woo, we love Ranger, woo. Fucking Ranger, woo. Congratulations, Zero, on your ranger. Uh, I mean, do I really care about this? You know what, I'm just gonna keep this in mind, whatever. Command mode activated. That motherfucker's still standing over here menacingly. Fuck you, in particular, bitch. That didn't even kill him. Oh my god, I didn't think he would be that, exp like, Tanky. I hope he's the last one. Was he the last one? No, he wasn't. There's somebody over to the right. Enemies remaining. I don't see him in the map. I don't see him around me. There should be an exclamation mark on him somewhere. But, oh. He's attacking him back. Interesting. I was expecting the Mexican to just straight up die out. You know what? Go be, go be a tank. Go. There you go. Alright, uh, I'm gonna call the evac. But we will get to see exactly what this boss looks like. out of ammo this does this side doesn't really get hit as much 
I assume all the ammo that I'm losing is primarily because of the fact that my uh, twin barrels are helping out with the smaller mobs. So we're losing quite a bit of damage effect on this. I, mean, I might just need more core power. Basically, need to grab more off stream stuff to get small generators and shit. And there is the boss. Okay. We have 130 seconds to survive. The boss will show up. Another corner of the Omega? Huh? Is it just the same fucking boss over and over again? Hey, he's having a lot of fun. My turret is already fucking him up. I could have stayed. Well, actually, I would have gotten any loot. Missile launch is taking quite some time to take care of. I don't think I'm doing any damage to him. He has missile launches in the back. He has missile launches in the back. All right, what about this weapon? I don't know how far he can reach. Oh, apparently he can hit him. He doesn't do a lot of damage compared to my far range weapon, though. It's not a heavy hitter after all. I might have missed all those shots. Oh, so he got both his missile launchers. Please don't try to grab hook the boss. Idiot. Suck at the ATOS observation mission. My base refused to shoot at the boss. Did this mission work for you? Uh, you're, is, if you're talking about the Kronos boss, eh, it's not close enough for you to shoot the boss. The only thing that can shoot at him is the artilleries, which are these guns right here. They have the farthest range. So what you want to do is to make sure that you double click these guys, press C to configure, max out their range, Lock only on massive unit and then turn on auto fire and probably either indirect or direct. I think you want direct for them to be able to fire. I think these guys are empty now. Yep. So yeah, that's what you want to do. And he's gone. If you have artillery, that is. If you don't, well, uh, you probably died. You're, you're, you're probably done. I don't know. Unless you want, unless you can kill him with your guns. But your, your base is not supposed to be, it's too far away. It's more than 10,000 meters. Or kill him with a cataphract like this guy, for example. Yeah, they have far range too. How spicy is the rice today? Actually, pretty fucking spicy. I do have spicy noodles I can cook and eat after stream. I want to cook spicy noodles. 17 mil. Oh my god. No! Ah! Two Kronos and I didn't really think I have that much of a damage upgrade. Alright, uh, we streamed long enough. I think I'm done for today. Uh, I don't even know if I want to come back to this game in terms of streaming. Maybe when there's like really good new updates and new content. But right now I feel like I experienced everything. So I may play more off stream because I want to build off my base. But honestly, I don't think this game has much for content for showing on stream. So we're probably going to move on to other games now, finally. Finally got rid of this unless uh, like some of the people, the close, uh, the group uh, that I normally play with uh, decides to invite me while I'm streaming at the same time. But yeah, I'm going to catch you guys another time um, tomorrow. We're streaming Soulstone Survivor tomorrow and possibly some other games. Uh, but don't really expect much more streams of 
Siege Infinity Siege. I think this. <laughs> I honestly think the genre for this. No, not the genre. I think this game is really just, you know, I don't know. There's there's not a lot of people trying out this game. And I like this. Well, too fucking bad, dude. I I need, I, I need, uh, unfortunately, I need stream apps. And this ads, and this is not going to help me. I have to move on. We have, I always have to move on to keep things interesting. Because obviously, every fucking game I play, except some of the other games, this one is the failing ones, not the rising ones. It's just. Unfortunately, I can't really stay here, especially if I can utilize ad breaks in other fucking genres. So we're playing Survivor games. Players seem to like it, and that's why we're moving on. If people don't like it, I move on. I make better content when I can, you know, when I have more stuff to show. Obviously, there's nothing else to fucking show in this game. I gotta move on. But yeah, so just because, you know, the, like, and this, every streamer does this, all right? They don't see anything that works for them. We move on. This genre is not going to fucking grow itself again unless you have a really fucking massive amount of streamers playing this. Alright, but this is actually one of my favorite games out there that I probably play off stream at the same time. But uh, but I don't see this game uh, having any growth potential until more people stream it. I'll probably come back when there's more people streaming the game. Yeah, for in-between stuff anyways, yeah, it's great because I had nothing else to play. But... Again, I'm already maxed out. There's nothing else interesting to show. My character's all maxed out. I know good builds. I know good outpost build. I'm moving on. I'm sorry. But I really do appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far. But other games have been reaching out. I got, I'm got. i probably either going to play uh, Soulstone Survivor tomorrow or From Glory to Goo. I don't particularly know yet. Uh, so tomorrow is going to be a jack of all trade. But there's no Siege. Um, there's no more Infinity Siege. I'm nowhere near maxed out myself. I'm maxed out, not you. But yeah, so unfortunately, because, you know, if number goes down, I go out. That's typically just how it works. And it doesn't really help that people call me, like, stuff I don't want to hear in the same category. I don't give a shit, but it just really doesn't help. So yeah. But yeah, I'll catch you guys another time. Um... Do expect new games in the future. Um, I don't... If I play Infinity Siege again, it'll probably be with, like, some other people that I do know again. Calling you, what, a view botter? Someone, someone asked if I was view botting earlier today because uh, the chat was dead for, like, a good, maybe, like, 20 minutes. I just... Like, I, I it's fine. Like, it's fine because... What? It, it happens. When you have a slow chat, people will actually ask, okay, where the fuck is everyone? Why the fuck do you have 120 viewers and no one's talking? It just happens. I just tell them, well, if you're going to call me a view botter, do some more research. A little bit more research. I let them try to, I let them, I let people cook and call me view botters. Because it, it, it's what the stats matter the most. And obviously, view botters don't really go straight back down. They don't go up and down like this. They don't do that. They don't do, the, the, the Switch chat doesn't do that, right? The way view botters work is they have a full, they, they the moment they start stream they immediately hit their average view and they flatline. That those are view botters. Some of some of the higher ones are harder because when you're view botting that hard people actually try to cycle through and see if your content's interesting or not. I know this because I researched another view botter who actually obviously view bots. It's so fucking blatantly obvious. No one view bots with that. Uh, sometimes you can view bot up to a hundred. It really depends. So like it's 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 so it's a kind of it, it really depends, right? I know I'm not a view botter because sometimes when I open up my stream, uh, numbers comes in really slowly compared to most other stream. So like people are actually starting to come in, they trend to come in, and that's because they're looking at the follows thing. The 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 flat line that goes up can sometimes be from Discord or t uh, Twitter, for example. Uh, but from Discord itself, uh, maybe like 10 to 20 active people from Discord, so I would probably immediately hit up to 20, and then slowly rise over because people are like, oh shit, tactical fried rice is on. So yeah, typically speaking, so again, view botters don't ever increasingly go up slowly and then down. View botters always go straight up and then flatline. If you, if you would think that was... So I, another thing that normally happens is that you can also get front page too. And then the front page pushes your numbers to a thing. 
You know, just because people are always looking at the front page of Twitch, I don't know how front page stuff works. I've been in front page once. People call me viewed water when I while I was doing front page. Well, while I was on front page, so um, that that's understandable because front page dead chat it happens. Like the three K viewers, for example, with slowly uh, slow chats, they could be front page or they could just be I don't know. There's just other people out there that just have slow chat. I'm not a VTuber or anything, so I typically don't have like a super active chat compared to a VTuber. It's something I'm used to, so like, it's fine when people call me viewbot. I just tell them, okay, this is the situation, this is why you might think this is that way. But you gotta actually provide access proof somehow that someone's viewbotting. And it's really, and I would actually look at my own channel to see if there's any inconsistent, weird looking numbers. Uh, because somebody else can actually provide malicious intent to my channel, so they would viewbot my channel instead, right? But yeah, in the end of the day, I'm done with Infinity Siege. We have to move on. If I stay here, I'm going nowhere. So that's typically the way it goes. All right. Normally, I don't really have this type of conversation because I really don't care and I still don't care. It's not going to affect my ability to make content. It's not going to affect my mental health. Everything just stays the same. It's just that we need to move on. But yeah, I just want people to know why. Because people are just going to come back and say, hey, when are you going to play Infinity Siege? When are you going to play Infinity Siege? Or when are you going to play the Air Bills? I just tell them, we just got to keep moving on. Done. We can only wait. This is a this is co-op game. It's just that I mean, I'll come, I'll come, I'll probably stream this game again, again, if I do collabs with other streamers. If I um right, typically when when I do collabs, I my main goal is to always do collabs with similar viewership. That's it. But I am typically just done with the fucking game. So like it's too late. It would be nice to do the collabs when you're like playing together in the same fucking level. But I am so far ahead of almost everybody else out there uh streamer wise so yeah uh anyways i'll catch you guys later i'm just gonna go ahead and end the stream for today no raid um tomorrow it's gonna be a wild card i already have multiple games it's just i'm waiting for emails because i want i need to know if i have a giveaway tomorrow or not yeah sure done that yet by the way uh, i need to sign up for the closed beta uh can you send me a pm on steam uh, Phoenix, I need I need to talk to you about the once human stuff. I need to know exactly how to sign up for that, because I don't know how to sign up for um once human. See you later, Zenatos. Thanks for chilling on YouTube. Yeah, I'll probably send you a PM. See if I can try to like figure out how to sign up. But anyways, bye. It's screaming something else too. Yeah, I can't play it. this game in low graphic. Doesn't look beautiful. It hurts my eyes a lot, so it doesn't really.